American Comics, Psychiatrist, Cut Who Wonder Gwen, Author, Simple One, 126. Grab the space gem again. Let Hala decide for herself. Seeing that Tesseract is finally here, Thanos' expression finally calmed down a little, but also a little more confident. Until now, both the power gem and the reality gem have passed him by. But now the space gem is finally coming into his hands. Ebony Moore stood aside. No injuries at all. He congratulated first. Congratulations to Master Thanos for harvesting infinite gems. Ebony Moore just finished speaking. Loki backhanded the dagger and stabbed Thanos directly in the throat. Crack Tilda. But Thanos' backhand grabs, pinches again. Jingle. The dagger was wrenched from Loki's hand. Then Thanos grabs Loki by the throat and pinches him. Loki, Thor yelped in despair. And Loki's face turned red and he grabbed Mii's minister tightly with both hands. Get the infinite gems out. Loki smiles uncomfortably. He pulls out the Tesseract. Then throw it out with the last of your mana. The Tesseract was thrown to the door of the transport hatch in an instant. The meaning of Loki is very simple. Even if you want, gotta get it back too. Thanos looked back at the Tesseract rolling on the ground. Then he looked back at Loki and said harshly. You're looking for. Boom tilde. Thanos hadn't finished speaking. Violent vibrations came from outside the Asgard transport ship. Everyone turned their heads to look. First. A beam of energy beam of unknown thickness flashed across from right to left, so the huge amounts of energy fluctuations pushed all the left and right battleships out. All of a sudden, the transport ship shook like an earthquake. Many of Thanos' warriors were slammed against walls, and the Tesseract is flying around. But the laser came and went quickly. But after one second, the thick beam of energy light disappeared. But with it disappears Thanos' flagship. Ebony Moore's eyes widened instantly. Where is our flagship? How about a big flagship? Why is it gone again? Ebony Moore immediately looked at Thanos. And Thanos, livid, drops Loki and goes to the front window to look down, as expected. At least a hundred warships are rushing down. At the same time, there is also a shapeshift in King Kong in the form of a space fighter in 2009. A 100 meter long space battleship. They suddenly bombarded the donut battleship. And those hulking donut battleships just turned around. Boom tilde. Instantly a laser shot down. Donut battleship explodes in place. And how many donut battleships are there outside? Dozens of ships. But it was all resolved instantly in less than three minutes. Immediately afterwards. The fighter planes of the descendants of shapeshifting King Kong began to encircle the battlefield. Then fly around as good drop ships. Bang tilde. Thanos face was livid. He punched the transport ship's wall. Cough 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 tilde. Loki kept coughing in the corner. But there was a crazy smile on his face. Thanos. Ha ha ha. The shapeshifting King Kong is really here. Thor. Have you seen it? You still said the plot sucks. But it really happened. Thanos looks at Loki. He really wants to kill Loki now. It's because of Loki's delay. Led to what is happening now. If only he had gotten the Tesseract a few minutes earlier. This kind of thing will not happen. Ebony Moore see here. Master Thanos. I'm going to kill. Get the Tesseract quickly. Thanos doesn't care who's dead or not now. He hurried over to get the Tesseract at the door. Just get Tesseract. With the power of infinite gems, Thanos can defeat the shapeshifting King Kong outside. No matter how bad it is, you can kill a bunch of shapeshifting King Kong and escape. But at this moment, bang tilde, the gate of the transport ship was violently attacked. This made everyone inside fall backwards in an instant. And the Tesseract crashes toward the door again. Clang tilde. Next moment, a giant axe cut open the door of the transport ship. Suddenly, a terrifying pressure relieving air gushes out towards the outside. Also just flew the Tesseract with it. It just flew through the crack of the door in Thanos' astonishment. The shapeshifting King Kong outside grabs the Tesseract. Then I scanned it looked at it and threw it to the person next to me and said, this is infinite gems, give it to the elders, I'll go. A shapeshifting King Kong took the Tesseract, and left immediately, then the shapeshifting King Kong looked in, and then after discovering Thanos, the shapeshifting King Kong with the axe was taken aback for a moment, and finally laughed, yes, it's you, that purple sweet potato essence, come to fight again and I will double the strength of the axe when I go back. It turned out that the person who slammed the door was the shapeshifting King Kong who fought Thanos first that day. Isn't this pure enemy's narrow road? Then shapeshifting King Kong began to tear the hatch, and Thanos turned purple. Now Tesseract is gone. Then he has no chance. Who knows how many shapeshifting King Kong out there? No chance at all. It's the same as the last time I saw shapeshifting King Kong for the first time. Then Thanos will go up and hit him twice. But now he knows. Stop talking about this. The shapeshifting King Kong in the back is at least a few hundred. But for trying, Thanos holds a great double-edged sword. He threatened the shapeshifting King Kong who had just broken through. Hand over the Tesseract, or everyone here will die. Bang tilde, shapeshifting King Kong kicked down the hatch. Then he raised the heavy cannon in his hand and was about to fire without hesitation. Yes, it's not the shapeshifting King Kong that's dead. Are you taking aliens to threaten shapeshifting King Kong? Are they half-time related to shapeshifting King Kong? Otherwise you think the shapeshifting King Kong is the virgin? Thanos looked at the muzzle. Just know that there is only yourself in the order of shapeshifting King Kong. So Thanos said nothing. Grab Ebony Moore. 
then crush a sapphire and go. The shapeshifting King Kong outside the door frowned when he saw this. How many gems does he have? Then it uploaded this video to the elders for analysis. As for the Asgard refugees inside, the shapeshifting King Kong didn't plan to control it, etc. But Collector noticed it when he came over. Isn't this Asgardian? Why is it like this now? Collector knows them? Asks the shapeshifting King Kong. They are from Asgard. Collector could tell when he saw the clothes but Asgard is a resident of the Nine Realms. Why did they come here? Now that all have been discovered, that's for clarity. Collector enters the transport ship, then go across the hall. Come to the depressed area of the transport ship. Because of the broken hull in the hall area, there is no oxygen and atmospheric pressure there, so they have to go back to the full rest area. Once Collector is here, watchful Thor picks up Mjolnir when he sees it. But Loki, who had just recovered, said hastily after seeing it, Thor. He's the collector. He knows most things in this universe. After Thor heard this sentence, love to drop the hammer. Then he frowned and looked at the soundproofed place. Collector gestured with his hand that he wanted to go in and chat. Thor understood. He looks back at Loki. Loki nods. So Thor stepped forward and tapped the button to open the hatch. Then Collector came in and said, Are you from Asgard? Thor nodded. What's the problem? Loki looked at Collector and explained. The continent of Asgard is broken and we are looking for a new home. Loki, Thor looks at Loki. How can you speak out about your own predicament in such a direct way? But Loki explained it to him. The Collector knows a lot. It's useless if you don't tell him clearly. Even if he sells your materials, the other side can afford the price. You're right. Collector nodded. But I don't do those things now. Act. Loki froze for a moment. He couldn't believe that Collector would call what he did before a scam. What an ugly word. But that's what Collector means. Loki still can't believe it. Then you now. Collector looks out for shapeshift in King Kong. I'm only working with the shapeshift in King Kong civilization right now. Common name. Strategic partner. Loki gets it. Thor probably understood. But he asked suspiciously. You want to see us? There should be some reason and something you want to ask. Collector nodded. He thought back to the day when he met the Creator. There are three women beside the Creator, and one of the women was from Asgard. Collector will not admit mistakes. He is one of the elders of the universe. He has lived for an unknown number of years, and he can still tell at a glance. But Collector is not stupid. It is impossible for him to directly say that there are Asgardians beside the Creator. Collector said so. There are not many people here. Do you have an Aster outside? Besides, Thor froze. When the spaceship fled, obviously only these Asgardians. Where are the Asgardians out there? Suddenly, Thor reacted suddenly. Some time before his death, Odin seemed to have said that he had a sister Hela, and it was mentioned in Ragnarok. At the same time Loki reacted. He frowned. I remembered that I peeked at the Forbidden Book. Finally, the two said in unison, question mark. Although the name sounded like a woman, Collector confirmed it just to be on the safe side. Female, Thor and Loki look at each other and nod. But Thor asked eagerly right away, where is Hela? Now the continent of Asgard is broken, and only these people are left. We have to find all the Asgardians outside. There is no enmity between Thor and Hela now, including everyone in Asgard now. So it's normal for Thor to want to meet when he knows there are Asgardians out there, and after learning that it is a woman, Collector knows that this matter is almost inseparable. The smallest woman beside the Creator must have been an Asgardian. Then both parties are Asgardians. Take people back to dedicate themselves to the Creator. Must be useful right? Collector thinks so. So after careful consideration, Collector said suddenly, I can prepare a battleship for you to live in temporarily, and food will be provided. But you have to stay inside for a few days and wait for a big shot reply before you can leave. Here here, Thor looks at their dropship now, dilapidated and broken everywhere. I don't know if it can be opened, if they can't drive. What will they do after the shapeshift in King Kong leaves? Starve to death in the universe? While Thor was thinking, Loki asked proactively, is it something to do with the Asgardians out there? Collector looked at Loki calculate half, but you are not entitled to know. Loki's A's light up. His mind turned quickly, and he immediately thought of something. Then he immediately gestures to Thor with his eyes. Quickly promise. Quickly promise. Thor is a little puzzled, but for the sake of Loki getting better, Thor nods. I promise you, better to say yes than to starve. If they don't agree, the Asgardians on board will starve to death. Very good. Collector nodded after hearing that. Then he left. There will be a battleship to pick you up later. You just need to go in and stay there. After speaking, Collector left, and after watching Collector leave, Thor asked Loki puzzled, why should we say yes? Loki shook his head in disappointment when he heard that. He looks at Thor and asks, didn't you realize that Collector's question was about our sister? I definitely know. Thor asked again, but what does that have to do with it? You pig brain. 113 Loki sighs. Let the Collector treat it like this. That explains two things about our sister. 1. Our sister has a strong influence outside, so let Collector be cautious. 2. Our sister is attached to a powerful force. 
which can also be treated with caution by collector. In other words, our sister is much better outside than us. Do you understand now? Loki had figured it out just now. It's definitely not easy for their sister to be outside. Otherwise, the collector will not be allowed to do so. You must know that collector will definitely do valuable things, and that's proof enough. Here, here. It dawned on Thor, but also a little bit of a shame. He didn't know how to tell his sister about it. After a while, shapeshifting King Kong's battleship is coming. Picked up the few dozen Asgard's left here. And on the way back, the Collector has sent a message to Cybertron. To whom? That definitely is the twin dancers sent by the Creator a few days ago. They are Cybertron's new stewards. Creator's twin messenger. So after a while, this message was received by the twin dancers. Earth at the moment. It's time to close. So Yi took the twin dancers out on time, and then closed the door with his backhand. At this time, Ling said suddenly, Master. The shapeshifting King Kong army once again encountered the Thanos army in the deep space of the universe. After destroying the opponent's army, Thanos and a general used the space gem to warp and evacuate. This time the shapeshifting King Kong Corps harvested a space gem and a transport ship with only more than 30 Asgards left. The Collector is asking what the Asgardians should do about it. Asgardians? Isn't this the time period when Loki was strangled? No. That's not the point. Is the shapeshifting King Kong Corps really grabbing another infinite gems? Wonderful. Then the fun just keeps getting bigger and bigger. According to the sacred timeline, Thanos has not even had a single gem. Wouldn't that push him back into submission to the Goddess of Death? Oh by the way, the Goddess of Death here is not Hela. She is the Goddess of Death among the five gods. Interesting. Hold the mentality of seeing new things. So ye can only say that it was a good grab. As for the rest of us good, who cares? Um dot 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 he's talking about Hela. Hela has something to do with Asgard. It seems that it really has something to do with it, but not big. After all, Hela has feelings for the Asgard continent, but not for the Asgardians, who has been imprisoned for thousands of people and still has feelings for others. The continent of iron, the people of flowing water. So Su Yi waved his hand carelessly. You go and tell Hela, let Hela decide for herself, and then come and tell me the result. Does he still need to deal with this kind of hanging matter? Think beautifully. He went to play with Gwentilda. Don't you feel good about being a hands-off shopkeeper? 127. Almost killed relatives righteously. Punish Hala hard, so Su Yi didn't deal with this matter at all. No, strictly speaking, not to the point where he needs to deal with it. Hala has been with her for so long, she will know what to do. So Ling came to Hala and told about it. As good refugee, Hala at the moment is playing the whirring game. After hearing that it was the only remaining refugee in Asgard, Hala thought about it. Are there many people? Ling replied. More than 30 people. Heard from just over 30 people. Hala immediately let out a merciful sigh of relief. It's good if there are few people but it's troublesome if there are too many people. People of Asgard. This result really made Su Yi guess right. Hela has no affection, either for the people of Asgard or for either Thor or Loki. She had never even met the two younger brothers. You say she has feelings? None of the thirty or so people knew her and had feelings for her. She has been imprisoned for thousands of years and can she still have feelings? Have feelings for her. Only when she saw the Asgard continent shattered, she hugged Su Yi and shed tears. Those tears were emotional, but only to the continent of Asgard. Nothing else. So there is a relationship is a little relationship. But don't rub it hard. It's like those blood relatives you meet when you go home during the Chinese New Year but you don't know any of them. Don't come up and say that I hugged you when you were a child. Related, but not familiar. But Ling doesn't care about that. She's here to deliver a message. So she went on. The master said that you can handle this matter yourself. If you handle it well, it's fine. If you don't handle it well. You don't have to say anything about the consequences. Hala, Hala was taken aback. But she knew that this could not be a matter of no punishment or reward. Just wanted to see how she was doing. Think here. Hala paused the game first to think about it. But Ling is Su Yi's secretary. How about asking Ling? Ling, how about I kill my relatives righteously? People of Asgard. The first option is to kill relatives righteously. Are you still from Asgard? But Ling still replied neutrally. Dei kills relatives refers to people who don't care about feelings and family affection, and treat their relatives with cruelty. Ling didn't say anything. I just translated the word righteousness and killing relatives. Then Hala will know. She can kill her relatives and compatriots righteously today, tomorrow. So Yi's feelings can be ignored. So righteousness and family pass. Hala thinks again. Send them to live in seclusion. Anyway, there are only more than 30 people, and the Asgard continent is gone, and their descendants will not have supernatural power. At that time, except for better physical fitness, I will be no different from people on earth. Ling still didn't answer, just translated it. Seclusion refers to a practice of ignoring world affairs and recuperating, a relatively quiet and honest way of life. Hala heard this. It's better to live in seclusion. At least it's better than killing relatives righteously. And most of the good of the people of Asgard is because of the God King. The continent of Asgard is continuously nourishing the people of Asgard. So now the continent of Asgard is gone, after the people survived in the Nine Realms again. That's except for people like Thor who already have supernatural powers. Other ordinary people just get weak from generation to generation. It's just that the physical fitness is a little stronger than normal people. Since it is so decided, Hale asked Ling, when will those
those 30 people arrive on Cybertron. Ling first manipulated the duplication and took a look. Only then did the body answer. Tomorrow around noon. Hala nodded, then got up from the carpet and said. Then I'll go to Su and tell him about the plan. Then little Hala went to look for Su Yi. Su Yi from at the moment is still waiting for Gwen to come back. She just finished Naiu. Su told her. At this time, little Hala ran over. Tell Su Yi what you think. After hearing about Hermitage, Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. Okay, this method is good. Norway or Europe has many remote towns that look similar to them. When the time comes, prepare something for them, and then just throw it there and settle down. As for the teleportation, you can go to Wanda, I won't go. So Yi just finished speaking, but the thought of troublesome Wanda's words. What else does he play? And Thor isn't an Avengers guy. Just throw it to the Avengers for him. So Su Yi threw a small teleportation device to Hala. Stop looking for Wanda. When the time comes to meet people, you can use this to teleport them to the Avengers base. People from the Avengers Alliance will take them there. If you want to know something, you can also find people from the Avengers Alliance. Awesome. Another throw away. Instead of explaining more when the time comes, might as well leave it to the people from the Avengers Alliance to explain. Perfect. Good Tilda. Hala happily took the transmitter. This was the first time Su Yi arranged things for her. Then Hala will be very happy if he can do well. After doing this, Hala ran back to make a plan. Then it's up to her to contact Natasha Romanoff or someone else from the Avengers Alliance to take it on. Not after a while. Gwen finally went to the building and came to Su Yi. He jumped into Su Yi's arms and said happily. That's great, Carpenter. I've already decided on college with George. She's in New York anyway. Probably Naiu. Once determined, Gwen was totally half liberated. When you go to college, you will really be completely liberated. Clap clap Tilda. Su Yi clapped his hands. Then call Wanda. Let's go out for a stroll. Good. So the two called Wanda. Then the twin dancers also came over to keep up. Then Su Yi snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda. Next moment, the five disappeared in place. Then appeared on top of the yacht. See the yacht. Wanda couldn't help pinching her legs slightly. She's had a pretty wild experience here. It was because of Su Yi's hands that he almost collapsed. Yes, only hands. And Gwen pursed her lips. Because she also thought that Su Yi would talk to her about the company in broad daylight. Her mind was shut down at that moment. I can't remember what Su Yi said at all. Do you have to make it up again now? Cough, cough. But Su Yi's main purpose is not to do this. Instead, go out to sea for a stroll. This yacht has been buffed by time and space by Su Yi, and it is extremely easy to go to all parts of the country. No matter where you want to go, it's all in one go. Yacht, set sail. Following Su Yi's order, the surface of the yacht immediately glowed with dazzling light. Cyber Yacht. The appearance is not fancy and it is still called a Cyber Yacht. Don't mess with me. Please enter your destination. So you looked at the two women. Is there somewhere you want to go? Wanda thought about the sky that was about to turn into night. So she said, go to a place where there is day. After she finished speaking, she looked at Gwen. Gwen understood and nodded in agreement. Go and see the daytime in other places. Well then, yacht, go find the sun. It's easy to want daytime. Fixed star is always motionless. But the earth is orbiting. So just steer the boat to the side with the sun. Next moment, the yacht starts and starts chasing the sun. Let's go. Buy a boat and enjoy the change of day and night. The three went to the bow, then lie down on a recliner and rest. The twin dancers went to the bar to take out wine and glasses, and then poured wine for Su Yi and the others. See here, Su Yi asked Wanda. How about the grooming skills of the dancers in the morning? Wanda was taken aback for a moment, then looked at Su Yi in disbelief. Can't you see that? Cough cough cough. Su Yi took a careful look for a moment. Mainly women have less body hair, and Wanda originally is beautiful, so the difference is really not that big. But Su Yi could still tell from the small differences. How come, your eyebrows and eyelashes are perfectly trimmed? HMPH Wanda laughed. What grooming? Gwen asked curiously. This is better said than done. Su Yi looked at the dancer. Take Gwen to the bathroom to experience it. Gwen immediately followed the dancer out of curiosity. Wanda took the champagne just now and drank it. Did he tilde? At this moment, Su Yi's cell phone rang. He took it out to have a look. Two messages came at the same time. Natasha Romanoff, there is news from Circe that the Eternal Race has split internally at the activation location, and the Celestial Seed will be activated soon. Hala, where have you been? Are you coming back at night? After reading the news, so you went back to Natasha Romanoff's first. So ye, you tell Circe, before the Seed of the God is born, let her activate the energy I prepared for her. Natasha Romanoff, okay, I've told her. Then so ye replied to Hala's message. So ye, on the yacht, you don't have to go back at night. You can play games by yourself. Hala, yacht, are you calling me when you drive silver? So ye, partying is just partying. What money? I'm doing it now. Hala, it's not a matter of time. Can I teleport there? So ye, pass it to other places to play by yourself. I don't care about you. If you want to get stuck in passing it, don't blame me for being cruel. Hala, then I'll either go ahead or go afterwards. Seeing this, so ye knew that Hala was determined to commit such a scumbag. So ye, okay. You'll know when the time comes. Hala. 
understood. After sending the message, Tzu Yi put away the phone. Little things, you wait for me. Just come if you dare. Just let you eat it and walk away. See how much you can fit. Wow Tilda, Tzu. The dancer's makeup is amazing too. At this moment, Wen came bouncing up. Then he came to Su Yi's side and showed him his face. Su Yi took a look. Wu Tilda. Wen not only got her face shaved this time, but also let the dancers put on light makeup. And it obviously didn't draw anything. But it is beautiful. Wen's lips are naturally moist. So the dancer put on something that would brighten it. This makes it look as if the freshly washed fruit wants a bite, and overall grooming. In this way, Gwen's already 100 point face can actually increase by an extra 10 points, become 110 points. It's beautiful. So Yi praised it, then squeezed Gwen's lower bala and came over and took a light bite. I hate you. Gwen patted Su Yi, then quickly dodged. Wanda was a little envious when she saw it, but he also got up curiously and said, Come dance with me. I want to try too. So the dancer went again. Su Yi was very curious about how the dancers put on makeup. So he got up and said, I'll go see how it's drawn. Su Yi walked towards the inside of the yacht. Then I saw Wanda sitting on the chair, raising her face. Ling was on the side holding a beauty tool and using it. Wu at the side handed over tools tacitly, took them down and so on. The two of them are like heart to heart. It is clear to each other who wants to do next. Just like that after a while, Wanda's face is finished cough cough. After it was over. Wanda looked directly at Su Yi without looking in the mirror. Apostrophe vertical bar does it look good? Su Yi didn't even need to say anything. Direct thumbs plus nod. Wanda then looked into the mirror. Oh Tilda, she couldn't help covering her mouth. Really nice. Much better than makeup. Wanda was born in the small country of Sokovia. Where did she have the conditions to wear makeup before? Later, even if there is a plan to make up, Wanda doesn't need makeup either. So she has no makeup skills. But now the dancer has a stroke. Let Wanda see a different self. She was already pretty, like Gwen. Her appearance has also broken through the upper limit. Great Tilda. Wanda is very happy. Then go out and see Gwen. In the end, the two boasted to each other there. So Yi wanted to go back and lie down. But after seeing the sun popping out of the distant skyline, he went to the top floor to see the scenery. The twin dancers also came. The skyline in the distance is beautiful. Wanda and Gwen found out too. But they suddenly remembered something. Then he greeted the twin dancers and said, We want to practice yoga. So, let Wu or Ling teach us Tilda. Hearing these words. Su Yi's eyes lit up. Then he looked at Ling. Go ahead and take care of them. Ling nodded, then gracefully walked over and began to teach the two of them. Same. To learn yoga, you have to change into stretchy yoga clothes. So after the two women changed into their yoga clothes, Su Yi saw his index finger moving on the top floor of the third floor. This leg, this waist, this crotch, this fierceness. This face, especially when Ling led the two girls to warm up first to activate their muscles. The three women form a triangle facing each other, and when they act together, it looks so good. Lift your legs, press your legs, bend over, stretch. These moves look so good on Gwen and Wanda with perfect bodies. Even for beginners, the action is not accurate. But if you look good, you can look good in everything you do. It made Su Yi's head look big when he looked at it from the top of the building. This is too much fun. Wu looked behind, okay, then she came over. Squatted under Su Yi's body and asked, Master, do you need Wu to help? Hiss. Su Yi thought about it. Seriously, if you really want to do this, it seems a bit exciting. But not so good? Wow. At this time, with a flash of blue light, little halo appeared behind Su Yi. She forwarded it based on Su Yi's coordinates. Then he looked at Su Yi and Wu and asked, What are you doing? Not here. The corners of Su Yi's mouth curled up. But you're here. It's okay now. R. A hammer. Su Yi turned and walked towards Hala. Wu stood up and followed Su Yi. The figures of the three disappeared by the fence, but they were only approaching the center. Wu, help me set her up. Master, is that so? Yes. Hold her like this. Hala watched the movement. Immediately, the panic stricken calves climbed the road. No, no, no. Little Hala is going to die. I can't die. Don't worry. Next, Wanda and Gwen are doing yoga with Ling on the first deck. So Yi, Wu and Hala played poker on the third floor. Ling is teaching and teaching below. I feel that Wu is very happy now. But she looked slightly towards the third floor from the corner of her eye. There was no trace of the two of them. Ling, Wu went to play with the master alone? No way. Or was Wu brought up by the master to play? It is possible. But Ling didn't feel any abnormality in the upper and lower sides. So even if the owner is playing, he is not playing with certain aspects. Or in other words, Without dancing, that's all. The yacht chases the sun. The sun is also growing at sea level. The speed of the yacht is too fast. They chased yesterday like they were going back in time. Gwen and Wanda Yoga on the splints from dark to morning. At the same time, the poker on the third floor is also a minister. Su Yi is Wu's next family, and Wu is Hala's upper family. So Wu specifically intercepted the cards played by Hala. Then let Su Yi double king and 4-2 bombard indiscriminately. 128. Yoga workout. Gwen sword slays mutants. Next day. Wrong. The time hasn't changed much, it's just that less than an hour has passed. But on the yacht, 
It went from night to day against time. Wait until the yacht is fully chased past the sun. They're already on the other side of the ball, so here it is daytime. And found out after dawn. Su Yi also stopped rushing towards his stomach, and took a few steps back. Cough 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 Tilda. So Hala was hugged by Wu with her head down and coughed for a while. Su Yi waved his hand. Let her go. He ordered. Wu let go of Hala, slapped Tilda. Hala fell to the ground perfectly explaining what it means to walk around without eating. Now she only needs to be where she can pretend. So Yi filled her up. Are you satisfied now? Okay, go back and digest yourself. So Yi raised his hand and snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda. Next moment, Hala disappeared with her private goods. She went back to the North Mansion to digest it slowly. Now she has enough divine power in stock. Didn't she say that those of Su Yi have supernatural powers? Then there must be time to digest divine power, right? Without Hala. The digestion will be faster and the recovery will be slower. If there is too much Hala, the digestion will be slow, but the recovery will be fast. So it is better to give more. More on this later. One place is definitely not enough. It has to be installed in two places. Wait until the time comes later. Try again with all three places full. In this way, you can carry the private goods to the greatest extent. After all, later on, Su Yi heard that he could pretend a lot. So he looked at Wu and asked, What is the limit of what a normal person can pretend behind? Wu Kuezu analyzed it and replied, Normal people are 200-400cc, and after getting used to it, it is 800-100c and the limit is 2000cc. What about Hala? Miss Hala's limit is estimated at 1500cc. Then set this goal. Anyway, Hala has supernatural powers. Strictly speaking, her physical fitness was no worse than Gwen's. Definitely, worse than the Gwen of the symbiote battlesuit state but it is much stronger than Gwen in normal state. Immediately afterwards, Wu I saw the marks on Su Yi's gun. She came to squat in front of Su Yi, then clean it up with 100 and 1010 a few times. Hiss. Never mind. Su Yi snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda. After one sound, the venue has become extremely clean and tidy. Clothes and floors have also become very clean. Su Yi led Wu back to the edge of the fence. And Wanda and Gwen are also sitting for the final training. Ling is helping them stretch. The foundation of yoga is stretching. If your ligaments are not working and your muscles are not elastic, then you will not be able to do yoga very well 333, let alone ballet then. That one was more torturous. So at the end of the yoga practice class, it must be stretched. After a while, with the final stretch completed, Miss Gwen, Miss Wanda, the basic yoga class is over, you can rest now. Ling told the two to rest. Wu Tilda. It's over Tilda. Gwen jumped to her feet, happy as if nothing had happened. And Wanda supported her shoulders, slowly put away her two plump long legs and frowned. It's so sour and it hurts. R. Does it hurt? Gwen jumped on the spot. I feel very comfortable warming up. Wanda wanted to cry when she heard this. Miss Gwen's physical condition is very good. Maybe Wu can teach you advanced yoga. Ling said. Really? Gwen was happy at first, but looked at Wanda and said, Forget it, I'd better be with Wanda, otherwise it will be boring. Hiss. Then Wanda folded her legs, looked at Gwen and smiled. You don't have to wait for me. It's okay. Gwen said indifferently. I don't think it's difficult to do other yoga movements. I guess I can do it now. So Yi saw this upstairs. He also had to marvel at Gwen's flexibility. This physical condition. No wonder when I was in Xijing town before. You can stretch directly across your shoulders. Ah yes. At that time, I said to try this action. Haven't tried it yet. Don't forget it next time. After seeing the two of them finished exercising, Su Yi walked down with Wu. Seeing Su Yi coming, Wanda sat on the yoga mat and opened her hands and said, My legs are so sore. I can't stand up. Su Yi knew that she was really sour. So I went forward and picked up Wanda, went to the bow and put it on the deck chair. Ling explained from the side. This is normal, Miss Wanda. The extension of the ligament needs to constantly break through the limit, and then rely on the body's recovery ability to constantly recover. In this way, after the precipitation of time, the goal can be reached. The truth is this, but Wanda still touched her belly with her hands. Although the ligament is not there, but it goes down. Su Yi smiled when he saw it. Would you like me to rub it for you? Wanda rolled her eyes instantly. If you need it for Su Yi, it will not only be sour. When Wanda heard it, she quickly folded her legs and hugged her. Su Yi smiled when he saw it. In fact, exercise is the investment with the most stable rate of return and the highest investment for normal people. As long as they persevere, every drop of sweat they shed is an investment of funds, and if they add up to more, adjt they will get rich returns. Wanda thought about it and agreed. The best investment the average person can make is investing in themselves. Although Wanda doesn't know ordinary people well, she also knows what to say. I'll stick to it, me. That's good. So Yi smiled happily. Wait till Wanda Yoga comes to fruition. She's happy. He's even happier. At this time, suddenly a wave came from afar. So Yi, Wanda, 
and Gwen looked into the distance. A big black fin that is hundreds of meters long is swimming towards here. It's the little guy. Gwen recognized the black fin instantly. Wanda also said in surprise after realizing it. The little one is here. So you looked at it, nodded and confirmed. Yes. After a while, Godzilla swam to the side of the yacht and poked his head out. Wow Tilda. Immediately, a large amount of seawater began to stay from its head. The seawater was pushed into the air by it. The results also take a long time to stay. But the difference is, Godzilla has changed a lot. Wow. Why did you change your color, little guy? Gwen was surprised to see Godzilla's color. The original Godzilla's appearance was black and gray. Kind of looks like some kind of metal or stone. But now the gray is removed. Turned into pure black. Looks like a different skin. From marble skin to Darth Vader skin. It's so handsome. Gwen praised. Su Yi also nodded and said, not bad. Quite handsome. Get the praise of the master and mistress. Godzilla cracked a big smile. It suddenly looks a bit like venom. Gwen stopped boasting immediately. It doesn't look good now Tilda. That Godzilla immediately became serious again. There is no expression. Still dead fish eye. Gwen nodded. Still so handsome. It took a long time. It turns out that Godzilla is the most handsome when he is ruthless. So Yi took a look. Such blackens appearance. It represents that Godzilla is growing rapidly. So Yi mentally scanned Godzilla's appearance. Good guy. I haven't seen you for a few days. It has grown from 300 meters to 370 meters. Now there are only 130 meters left before the 500 meters to Cybertron. I guess two weeks will be enough. So Yi took a look, pointing to the sea in the distance. He said, look at the atomic breath for a second. Don't spit too much. Spit into the sea. Here, Su Yi's words. Godzilla turned towards where Su Yi pointed. Atomic breath. Gwen froze at the word. What ability is this? Just look at it. Su Yi withdrew his hand. Godzilla's nuclear fusion energy is not absorbed for nothing. Here, here. Wanda sensed something was wrong. She took out the book of Vishandi from the void. Then a buff was added to the yacht on the spot. Specifically, it is the buff that is not affected. Next moment, Wanda just added the buff and took back the book of Emperor Waishan. Beep tilde beep tilde. It turned out to be a bit weird after hearing the silent beep. Where's the sound? At this moment, beep tilde beep beep. The beeps got faster and faster. Wait until the two women find out. It turns out that Godzilla's dorsal fin is emitting a dazzling blue light and increasing upwards. Just beep. Godzilla shines a dorsal fin. Then the beeps got faster and faster. Beep, beep, beep. Finally after the location of Godzilla's throat, Godzilla opened his mouth wide. Then in Gwen and Wanda's shocked A's, a cloud of blinding blue light emanated from his mouth, and spit towards the sea that Suyi pointed at. Raw Tilda, immediately. There was a roar that resounded through the sky. The blue light shot through the sea in an instant, then shoot on the continent on the seabed. Hiss hiss Tilda. The sea water instantly vaporizes. Finally Godzilla flips upwards. A laser followed suit. Then it's over. So Yi said that one second is one second. Godzilla stops his atomic breath after a second. But even after the breath is over, it takes a while for the sea water to gather together. And before gathering, both Gwen and Wanda can see what the riverbed looks like under the sea. Wait until the sea converges. In addition to the bubbling of the sea caused by the riverbed being too hot, it's as if nothing happened. This is too strong. Gwen was shocked. Gwen felt that he couldn't bear such an attack like Godzilla's. Wanda thought about it and shook her head. Her magic may be able to withstand it, but it may not be able to. This atomic breath is too fierce, the dancer said after watching. Atomic breath. The strength cannot be predicted, and the breath core temperature exceeds the normal fixed star temperature. As long as the breathing time is long enough, it can penetrate some planets without the Earth's core. What does a planet without a core mean? A large planet like the Earth has a lava core because of its own gravity, but a small planet like the Moon doesn't have a core. Therefore, if Godzilla's breath takes a long time, it is estimated that the strength can penetrate the Moon, but can't penetrate the Earth. That's the reason. So Yi nodded in satisfaction after seeing it. The attack strength has reached the level Godfather of Extinct Star. As long as the little guy grows to 500 meters, most level Godfathers won't be able to hold this atomic breath. Level Godfather, with the strength of destroying stars, is almost the strongest in a fixed star system. The sub-parent, in a planet, is an Earth. He is the strongest group. So the difference between your father and Heavenly Father. It is the difference between gods and mortals. So strong, little guy. Gwen looked at Godzilla's appearance and then took out the Black Death Sword to look at it. Then will this little guy have any effect? Godzilla originally wanted to have fun. As a result, Gwen took out the Black Death Sword. A threat of death came from that sword. Roar. This directly shocked Godzilla. Don't stab, you'll be killed after a few hits. So Yi was startled when he saw it. Let alone the Black Death Sword. Level Godfather. Level Single Universe has a chance to kill. Back then, Na beheaded the God Team with the Black Death Sword. This is not. That end is still being dug up on Cybertron. It turns out that you want to stab Godzilla with the Black Death Sword. Those two hits would just burp. Isn't this kid playing with cannons? Scared to see Godzilla. Gwen also knew that the Black Death Sword was awesome, so she immediately put it away and laughed. I'm just asking, ha ha Tilda. So Gwen take that thing back. Godzilla breathed a sigh of relief. Even if that thing doesn't poke it, Godzilla felt terrified looking at it. No way. 
The effect of the Black Death Sword is specifically to restrain creatures. The creatures it kills can absorb the essence to strengthen themselves. Then this kind of ability is a great threat to all creatures. No one is an exception. Boom Tilda. At this time, the seabed of the continent suddenly shook. So even the sea water and the yacht are shaking. An earthquake. Wonder called to Sue Yi's arm. Gwen looked at Godzilla. Godzilla shook his head immediately after noticing Gwen's eyes. Said it didn't do it. That is how the matter. Sue Yi felt it, and then laughed. It's not an earthquake. Not an earthquake. Wonder wondered. What is that? Now the whole world is shaking, because someone wants to break out of the shell. Out of shell? Su Yi said so. After both Gwen and Wanda reacted, the Tendon group is about to be born? Yes. Su Yi just confirmed. A wave of energy feedback came over. It was Sirs who used the ability he had bestowed. Let's go. Su Yi raised his hand and snapped his fingers. Let's go and have a look. Snap Tilda. Snap your fingers. Next moment, not just five people, and the yacht is gone along with Godzilla. Yes. It couldn't be easier for Su Yi to move these behemoths. He moves things without looking at the file size. Then five people, a Godzilla, and a yacht appeared on the Spanish island of it adventure at the same time. This is where the seeds of the gods were planted. As soon as Suyi and the others came here, yachting is stealth, but not Godzilla. It lands right on the shore in shallow water, not far away. It's like there are a few Eternals fighting. There are also many mutant races chasing and killing them. Suyi first looked for Circe, as expected. In the distance five huge amounts of fingers just broke through the ground. Even if only a little bit of each finger is exposed. But at a shallow glance, they are only a thousand meters high. And Circe of at the moment is using ability on the palm to petrify the palm. The current celestial seed only hatches in the palm. If only after a while. That is the arms, head, body and even the entire celestial group were born. Artilda, at the moment Circe seems to have exploded into a microcosm. She radiates fiery red flames all over her body. The clothes on the arms were burned. The two phoenix tattoos are crazily releasing energy and transforming it into petrochemical power to permanently immobilize the celestial group below. The former Circe relied on half of the Eternals to help, but now Circe is about to reach the Eternal God group only by relying on this phoenix tattoo. It's broken. So Yi took a look. It seems that there are many blessings. Circe won't be directly killed by the gods. So what's wrong with Gwen? But just when Su Yi was about to let Gwen go directly, what are you doing Circe? Bang Tilda. The bootleg Superman Icarus flew over and kicked Circe away. And Petrochemical also will be interrupted. Dot. 129. Gwen sword slashes the god group. The eternal race collapsed. After Circe was kicked away, she hurriedly continued to press her hands on the ground to petrify the Damshan group. Because as long as her hands leave the god group, then the petrification effect will fade away quickly. That is, as long as she doesn't completely petrify this celestial group, then this celestial group can recover quickly. This is still the Tengen group that hasn't been born yet. No. As soon as Circe saw the petrification retreat, she continued to press the earth inside. What are you doing? Icarus yelled at Circe. You're betraying the Eternals, but the Earth will be destroyed when it is born. Circe retorted, putting his hand on the Earth, when the time comes, all life, will die. But this is our task. Icarus steps up to continue interrupting, Circe, he is the most loyal warrior of the Tengen group, so he won't let Circe do it. And Circe would definitely keep interrupting himself when he saw Icarus, so she can only stand up and change hands. Then he changed two weapons and said to Icarus, either divide into winners or losers, or go away quickly. Icarus watched Circe want to fight him. He shook his head in disbelief. Just you? Icarus rushed towards Circe fiercely, and Circe looked at the petrification effect that quickly reversed again. She just wants a quick fix right now. So Circe uses all his strength as soon as he comes up. The two get together. Circe slashed at Icarus' metal bracer. Originally, Icarus felt that Circe's knife was not very powerful. But as the two touch, chirp Tilda. The phoenix tattoo on Circe's wrist is red. Suddenly, a huge force came from his wristband. You, Icarus didn't finish his sentence. Fly away in an instant. Boom Tilda. After a loud bang, Icarus fell on the rubble. Cough 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 Tilda. He coughed twice. Then he stared at Circe's phoenix tattoo and said, That's not something from the Eternals. You're reaching out to outsiders for this. And Circe looked at the tattoo on his wrist in surprise. She didn't expect this thing to be so strong. Just a random light. You can easily beat the strongest warrior of the Eternal race. But I saw that the petrification of the tension group retreated too quickly. Circe could only immediately put away his weapon and continue to petrify. Circe, Icarus yelled angrily, you betrayed the Eternals. Circe pretended not to hear. All she wanted now was to end it all quickly. I don't want to explain anything to Icarus, because it's useless. Everyone thinks differently. And Circe has noticed that the phoenix tattoos on her hands are fading away. Still a bright fiery red to begin with. It's as if the phoenix is about to come alive. But it's faded now. She has to speed up. And the other side. After seeing that Circe's solo kill of the gods over there was useless. So Yi turned around. I looked at the rest of the Eternals who were fighting fiercely with the mutants on the beach. At the moment, the two sides are fighting back and forth. 
but the number of mutants can be normal and much more, and each end must have at least several meters of file size. It is much bigger than what Gwen cut some time ago. Gwen looked at the battlefield, then he suddenly pointed to a mutant race in the distance and said, Sue, that mutant in human form is the one that ran away last time, finished. Gwen transforms and kills it. The last time it got away was by accident. But this time it's impossible. Why did you kill it? So Yi patted Gwen on the shoulder. Then he pointed to the five big fingers in the distance and said, You're going to kill the one under that finger. Gwen turned to look. The fingers seen from this distance are all so big. Then how big is its body? It doesn't matter. So Yi pointed to the position of the head under his hand and said, It's just a core right now. You just need to aim at the top of the head and stab it down. As long as the Black Death Sword stabs at its core, which is the seed of the god, it will die. Gwen understood immediately. That's easy. But how do I stab at the same speed? Isn't it easier? So you looked at Wanda. You will open a door at an altitude of 1000 meters. And then control the temperature to enter. Gwen's eyes lit up. Yes. Cut. Players who have played the portal game should not be too proficient in this thing. Even a teleportation error caused the universe to collapse and collapse. So you looked at Godzilla beside the yacht and said, Little guy, you take Gwen first. Those mutant races are slaughtered. Two appetites. Raw Tilda. Godzilla agreed. Then it lowered its head for Gwen to come on top of it. Then go to the mainland. Bang Tilda. Bang Tilda. Bang Tilda. Godzilla's massive tonnage is a nightmare on the ground. Every step it takes is hundreds of meters away. And it will leave a deep pit several meters on the ground. And the ground trembles when the big feet hit the ground. At the moment, the rest of the Eternals are fighting with a large number of mutants. But the main force is only the pirated One Punch Superman and the pirated Wonder Woman. The two of them killed several mutants, but there are still a series of constantly mutant races encircling and suppressing them. F.K. A certain pirated version punched Superman and cursed. Then facing the leopard mutants rushing over, it was a hard punch. Xeba. Boom tilde. After a loud bang, Xeba Superman knocked this mutant race away with one punch. Then this mutant race also knocked several mutant races into the air. Ha. Huh. However. The pirated version of One Punch Superman also consumed a lot of stamina. He has been going all over the place. The shouting mouth is tired. Not to mention physical strength. Bang tilde. But the sudden tremor shook him all over. Even the flesh on my body is shaking. One Punch. Superman looked back to see the source of the earthquake. As a result, I saw a mountain like Godzilla walking towards me. Xeba. Godzilla walked towards the mutant race step by step. The earth trembled as it walked. At the moment mutants also found Godzilla. Look at the size of such a behemoth. Instincts derived from living things began to make them flee. As for bootleg one punch Superman. Then let's run first. And the direction of the sea is Godzilla. So they can only run in the opposite direction. Just pass directly on either side of one punch Superman. One punch Superman watched himself surrounded and unable to run. He fought his way out to find the bootleg Wonder Woman and stayed with her to ask, looks like we're done, and the pirated version of Wonder Woman looked at the top of Godzilla's head and said, there's a man on top of that monster, um, the pirated punch made Superman stunned, he squinted to see the top of Godzilla's head, turns out there are people, Xeba, this Godzilla can still be controlled by humans, at this time, seeing the mutants want to run, Godzilla opened his mouth directly and started accumulating energy, beep tilde beep beep, beep, is to die for, instead, Road closures. Beep. Immediately, a thick blue laser instantly flew over the heads of the two pirated copies, then shoot towards the mutant race. Boom tilde. The ground was instantly shot. Godzilla swiped to the right again. PSSD tilde. The earth was instantly separated like a hot knife slipping butter. Then Godzilla withdrew his breath. Its mission accomplished tilde. His his tilde. And the mutant race definitely can't make it through. Then the earth has turned into pitch black so in the past, wouldn't it be steamed if you jumped in? Two people not far away saw this. After seeing the air in the sky being distorted by the temperature. Both of them couldn't help but widen their eyes. If it is shot at a person, shouldn't this be one piece less and that one piece less? At this time, Gwen has already swung past Godzilla after jumping off it. Wait until you get close to the mutant race. She is exploding her physical strength, holding the Black Death Sword. He rushed into the mutant group in an instant. PSSD tilde, PSSD tilde, PSSD tilde. Immediately afterwards, there was a loud sound of flesh and blood coming from the beast pile. Xeba's faces twisted when they saw it. Who is this person? It took him several hits to kill one. People go in and kill a bunch. Just for a while, Xeba Superman watched with his own eyes that all these mutants were beheaded. Yes, beheadings. Every knife is hacked. It's all surgical precision. Even the humanoid mutant finally fell to the ground with his head flying out. It could have grown back. But after being discovered by Gwen, Gwen sliced it into 1000 pieces in an instant. Long? Gwen at the moment was absorbing a large amount of flesh and blood purification, 
I see if there is a bug that can keep devouring you. That is obviously impossible. After being cut into 1000 pieces, the humanoid mutants died on the spot for Gwen to see. None with hesitation. That's all. In this short period of time, the mutant race was resolved quickly. All the flesh and blood essence that was present immediately left their bodies, then float in the air and be swallowed by Gwen's symbiote battle suit together. Finally, feed it back to Gwen herself. Just look at it from a distance. Gwen looks like a Mephisto now. Xeba Superman didn't dare to say what he saw. He could only stammer and speak. Dot. He looked back at the bootleg Wonder Woman. Then he said hastily, Let's go, because are there Eternals? The bootleg Wonder Woman nods. The two immediately began to evacuate. Gwen didn't care when she saw it. After all, the two had nothing to do with her. After absorbing all the essence of flesh and blood, Gwen once again felt that her physical fitness has improved by leaps and bounds, and the corpses of the mutants drifted away with the wind. Gwen looked back at Godzilla. She jumped after a few runs. The earth split in an instant. Then Gwen jumped hundreds of meters to Godzilla. Body. Finally, he clapped his hands straight back to Godzilla's head. Wonder on the yacht exclaimed when she saw this. Gwen has become so strong Tilda. So Yi nodded in satisfaction after seeing it, then looked at Wonder and smiled. That's why you're so good. The reason why Gwen can persist for a long time. After Wonder heard it, immediately, he gave Su Yi a hammer. Bullying her magician crispy skin is amazing. Low stamina is low. Wait until the time when her mana is fast enough to restore her body countless times. And thereafter solving. Su Yi waved at Gwen and said, Tangent group, Gwen. You can go. Superior. Poke it in the back. Gwen nodded over Godzilla's head. Then waved to Wanda to indicate that the portal can be opened. Wanda understood. She reached out and drew on the yacht. Then a portal opened just two meters above Gwen's head. At the same time, another exit is above the thousand meter altitude of the big hand. Gwen made an okay gesture. Then put on the symbiote battle suit in an instant and pull out the black death sword from the body. Finally jumped right in. So ye saw this. Ask the dancer to pour two glasses of wine. Then the two wonder each had a drink and touched each other against the fence. So ye took a sip. Then he looked at the big hand in the distance and smiled, watching a show. Wonder watched Gwen's position. She wanted to see clearly how Gwen instantly killed the celestial group, and the other side. Cersei's petrification will definitely not proceed steadily, as long as this bootleg Superman isn't dead. He's gonna stop Cersei. Once Icarus recovered, he stepped forward and charged Cerse again, and Cerse had no choice but to let go and fight Icarus again. After a few strokes, with red light flashing, Icarus flew out again. But he quickly stabilized his figure and smiled. You are getting weaker and weaker, is your extra bonus going to be used up? Heard the words. Cerse looked at his arms, as expected. The Phoenix tattoo is getting lighter and lighter. If it comes a few more times, the energy in it may be used up. Those energies don't look like much either. But it was Su Yi's intention, with more energy. Cerse can directly petrify the god seed. Then what is he planning to do? Isn't this a waste of money? So Su Yi gave her energy. Probably the energy gathered by everyone in the original movie. Now she's going to use up that energy. That was just right. At this time, the petrification of the Tengen group faded quickly again. Cerse wanted to petrify again when he saw it. But Icarus rushed straight up. The two wrestled together again. It took several hits before Icarus was sent flying. But he looked at Cerse and shook his head after he paused in the air. You've run out of extra energy, finished. He turned his head to look at the celestial group, whose petrification was about to fade away. He looked back at Cerse and said, The birth of the gods is unstoppable. Don't forget the mission the gods entrusted to us. If we fail, we will all be punished. Cerse gasped. Then he shook his head and said, The birth of a god requires the death of billions of lives. Is it really worth it? No. This is a mistake. Cerse yelled. Then continue to pat the ground and start petrification. But this operation also made Icarus angry. He flew up slowly. Then get ready to give Cerse a hard time. Just let Cerse fall unconscious. Boom Tilda. At this moment, Cerse's petrification can no longer suppress the birth of the celestial group. His fingers continue to stick out from the ground. Icarus smiled when he saw it. But at this moment, Icarus, Cerse, look over there. Suddenly, there was a shout not far away. Icarus and Cerse looked over their shoulders. Xeba Superman and Tino are running towards them, then point to somewhere high in the sky together. So Icarus and Cerse turned their heads to look at the sky they were pointing at again. At the moment's thousand meter altitude, a big scarlet portal opens, and a black figure also jumped out from inside. Icarus shook his head and said after seeing it, it's useless, the god has already been born. How can she stop it alone? Boom Tilda. The ground continued to tremble. The broken shell is about to burst. Gwen rushed down with the black death sword in hand. Boom Tilda. And the big hands of the tangent group seemed to feel the threat of death. It stretched out its big hand and grabbed Gwen. But no use. Gwen clenched the black death sword and slashed across the sword. P.S.S.T. Those giant hands of unknown size were instantly broken from it. Then Gwen flew out of the middle, continued to cut towards the core of the god group. This is impossible. Icarus holding his head in both hands is stupid. That's a god. Its hand was cut off like this. The door. 130. 
Gwen strength soars. New abilities. Godzilla is on the news. Acres couldn't believe what he saw. He believed in the existence of gods, but the outstretched hand was cut in half by a sword. How can you calm him down? But it's not over yet. The Tengen group felt the threat of death, so it was still slapping Gwen with its severed palm. But this kind of half-palm Gwen tube that can't even block the road doesn't care. Instead, her feet collapsed on it. Bang tilde. For a moment, Gwen's body suddenly accelerated and turned into a black shadow and disappeared in place. Wait until everyone in Icarus reacts again. A black light flashed. Boom tilde. Gwen directly held the black death sword and stabbed at the seed core of the god group in the earth. Boom tilde. In this instant, the earth trembled. The land that centered on Gwen's piercing found a collapse. Circle after circle of shattered lines collapsed. The aftermath roars. Directly blow away the nearby eternals. When Suyi on the yacht saw this. He shook his wine glass and said, it's done. So soon, Wanda didn't even see the follow-up. She waited until Si Yi said it was resolved. She stepped up to see better. But the next moment, Gwen slowly floated up like devouring the starry sky. She is slowly floating in the air. Then countless silk threads flew out from the center of the earth. Then they all poured into Gwen's body. That is to say, Tengen group has been sent. It really worked. Wanda let out a voice of surprise. This kind of absorption means that Gwen has already killed the god group. A sword hits the core. The seeds of the celestial group that haven't had time to hatch yet. Straight to the west. Gwen at the moment is absorbing the terrifying energy boost brought by killing the celestial group. Although this group of gods has not yet fully hatched. But its energy is still comparable to a level godfather. Or far more than a level godfather. 030 So Gwen is in for a treat. As the celestial group is swallowed by Gwen. Boom tilde. The protruding parts of the Tengen group also began to collapse. Their energy has been absorbed. Just wait for Gwen to devour it all. They will dissipate with the wind, like being snapped by Thanos. It seems that it never existed, and the nearby Icarus couldn't accept this fact after getting up. This is impossible Tilda. He yelled and fell to his knees. At first I still held my head. Now he's scratching his head. Why? This is the consequence of the collapse of faith. There was no hope. There is no chance of meritorious deeds, and the Eternals here will all be punished. This is simply unacceptable to Icarus. But Xeba Superman just looked up at Gwen in shock. Xeba. He didn't expect Gwen to be so strong. Lian Shen Shen Du can kill. This is a person, this is God too, right? But strictly speaking, Gwen said there was nothing wrong with it. Wait until the seed is devoured. Gwen's strength will be greatly improved. Before the holy place battle, Gwen just had a chance to kill the level Godfather. The premise is to be able to approach and cut to level Godfather. But it's different now. Although Gwen can't reach the level single universe, killing the level Godfather should be as easy as killing a chicken. So speak with strength, that's all. Gradually, after a while, Gwen who devoured the celestial group in large quantities, finally absorbed all the energy of the celestial group. She opened her eyes, held the black death sword, and was directly suspended in the air. Um, Gwen was taken aback when she found out. Can I fly? She tried to fly a few times and found that it did work. Immediately, Gwen happily flew towards Su Yi. Su, I can fly. And people on the ground couldn't hear Gwen's voice. Too far. But after seeing Gwen leave, they think so. Is this finished? That's gone. Next. Sirs breathed a sigh of relief when he saw this. She looked at the phoenix tattoos on her hands that had disappeared. Then he bowed his head and said silently, Thanks for your help. At the same time, with Gwen's absorption completed, the body of the Tangent group began to drift away in the wind like Thanos snapped his fingers. Na killed the celestial group. Gwen has the symbiote battle suit and the black death sword and also killed the god group. This belongs to the inheritance and belongs to the yes. You have to kill a god to make a profit. F. And Icarus was extremely devastated. His eyes were slack and his pupils were out of focus. The whole mentality is already in the collapse stage. Circe stood up, looked at Icarus and said softly, I won, Icarus. This sentence is like a whistle for death. After Icarus heard it, he turned to look at the sun in the sky, then head straight to fixed star and fly. Circe was dumbfounded. Now it was her turn to ask, Icarus. What do you want? Icarus said nothing. Just fly towards fixed star. It's like moths to a flame. The other side. Gwen didn't know how to break after flying onto the yacht. Then the flight's ability was cut off, and it slid into an arc in the sky and fell straight down. Wanda was taken aback. She immediately put down her wine glass and stretched out her hands to reach Gwen with magic, and Su Yi stretched out his hand to stop Wanda. Um? Don't answer. Give her a chance to be handsome. Finished. Su Yi said to the dancer again. Pour another glass of champagne. So while the dancer was pouring wine, Gwen landed. She descended from great heights. The whole person turned into a black shadow and fell instantly. But while touching the ground, Gwen touched the ground with one knee and toe, and stepped on the ground with the other leg sideways. At the same time, press the right hand on the deck in front of you. Raise your left hand slightly. Only a slight sound came out. So handsome Tilda. Wanda's eyes lit up. Clap clap Tilda. Su Yi also applauded, but handsome is only three seconds. Sure Tilda. Then Gwen put away the symbiote battle suit in an instant, looked at Su Yi in surprise and said, Su, I can fly. I don't know why I can fly. 
But anyway, I just fly. Why? Gwen jumped in front of Su Yi in surprise. Su Yi first stretched out his hand to keep her away from him. Then he took the champagne that the dancer had just poured and handed it to Gwen and said, Cheers. The three clinked glasses first. Gwen down the champagne in one gulp. Then he hurriedly took Su Yi's hand and said, Say it quickly. It's biological energy. You idiot. Su Yi stretched out his hand and flicked Gwen's forehead. Bioenergy, bioenergy. Gwen and Wanda are curious together. Seeing the appearance of the two women, Su Yi helplessly explained together. Biological energy is the necessary energy for the operation of biological organisms. If the biological energy is strong, the biological energy will be strong. And if the biological energy is weak, the biological energy will be weak. But it's just the most basic standard. And you, Gwen, are different. Me? Gwen was taken aback looking down just in front of her toes. Then look back at Ink Yao's back. I haven't changed. What I'm talking about is that your biological energy has changed. So Yi sighed, finished drinking the champagne and said, the bioenergy in your body has changed from quantitative to qualitative. You can now unleash the enormous bioenergy in yourself, thanks to jet fighters. And the biological energy you release in one second is equivalent to the energy that a normal person can release after working hard for an unknown number of years. But it's nothing to you, because you can't run out of biological energy in your body. Also you should have an additional new ability. But you didn't find it. Gwen had just finished absorbing the knowledge of bioenergy. It turns out that his physical strength has become so strong. But Gwen was taken aback when she heard that she still had a new ability. Then Gwen asked expectantly. What new ability? Bioelectricity. So Yi said. Gwen stopped asking now. She will draw inferences from one instance. Is it because the bioelectricity in my body is particularly large and powerful? So I can use this electricity? So Yi nodded after listening. Almost, but the effect of bioelectricity is stronger. It can increase your overall combat power for a short time, it has special effects for attacking people, and it can also attack with a long range H range. It's kind of like an electric eel, but it's much more powerful than the electric eel, and it has a lot more tricks. Upon hearing this, Gwen immediately looked at Godzilla who had just walked up and said with great interest, Then I'll give it a try, Godzilla. So Yi thought about it, it should be no problem. So nodded and said, Just lighten it up. Just shock its feet. Good. Gwen nodded. Then jumped tens of meters to Godzilla's feet. Then she began to feel the use of bioelectricity. So Yi and Wanda lay on the edge of the fence and watched. After a while, Gwen snorted. Then there was a flash of gold. Zilla Tilda. For a moment, this golden light turns on Godzilla's body. Raw Tilda. Then Godzilla let out a roar that wasn't painful, but very enjoyable. Gwen jumped back. Godzilla, who looked a bit like howling a wolf, asked. I'm on. But what's the little guy doing? So Yi analyzed. Dot. It is your bioelectricity that charges it, and it is excited. Oh, Su Yi also remembered. Godzilla has a black hole-like reactor in his body. So Gwen called. It's like charging Godzilla. Feed belongs to yes. Su Yi looked at Godzilla's excited appearance. He waved his hand and said, Go back, I will come to you after you are 500 meters away. Godzilla nodded after listening. Then step by step into the sea and disappeared. And Gwen raised her hand. Try using the bioelectric ability again. Crackling tilde. Immediate gold. The colored electric current is crackling. The power looks great. Definitely. It is definitely not as powerful as the Black Death Sword. But this is normal. Bioelectricity is also just an auxiliary attack. It is not the main attack method. Watching Gwen have a great time playing. So Yi asked. How does it feel? How much strength has been improved? Gwen put away the bioelectricity and thought about it. Then he shook his head and said. It feels strong. But I don't know how strong yet. It's okay. You'll get used to it as you get more proficient. At this time, Wanda checked the time. Suddenly said in surprise, it's already 11 p.m. Exclamation mark Gwen was taken aback. She just wanted to say that it was still daytime. Then she reacted. This is the other hemisphere. Quick, Wanda, I'll teleport back. Gwen immediately took Wanda's hand and said. I agreed with my mother today that we will have a chat. And if we don't go back, she will fall asleep. Then I'll see you off. So Yi raised his hand. Snap your fingers. Snap Tilda. Gwen was in the vicinity of home in an instant. Then Su Yi also stretched and said, Come on, let's go home too. So he snapped his fingers again. Next moment, the boat returned to its place and hid itself. Su Yi, Wanda, and the dancers returned home. After arriving home, Su Yi first felt what Hala was doing. Perception. She slept soundly in her room. Um dot 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 in every sense of the word. Wanda originally wanted to water the flowers in the small universe before going to sleep. But she suddenly remembered that she asked the dancer to make up for herself today. So I went to the bathroom to wash my face first. So you looked at the direction Wanda left. Then tell the dancers to move freely. Then he followed. Wait until Wanda washes her face and starts to take a shower. I heard the sound of splashing water Tilda. So ye opened the door, walked in with a gun in hand. Ah Tilda. You sneak attack again Tilda. This is called a trick that is eaten all over the world. You dot 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 will write these crooked ways. HMPH. Look at my spear like a dragon. Hiss. Too deep Tilda. At last. After the dancer looked at the bathroom that hadn't been opened for a long time. They looked at each other. So I took the shower to the small universe to help wander water. By the way, I also watered Gwen's saplings. 
The next day, when Su Yi woke up, because of the many battles yesterday, Su Yi woke up very happy this morning, didn't hold back. After washing up, he went to the kitchen to order food. Su Yi, who was lazy and wanted to eat something, waved his hand and said directly, Nora, take a ride with yesterday. Same? Is it yesterday's style again? I like it so much. I'm willing to do this with my master every day. Shut up and talk less. I just like how the master treats me like this. Please scold me a few more times. Question mark. Number. This is really sick. This refrigerator is too succubus. It is estimated that the authentic succubus does not have this refrigerator succubus. So you rubbed his forehead, reluctantly called Lei Ai Ling and said, You take it and give it to me later. I will take the dance down first. OK 1.5 flat. After going down to the office, Su Yi went to the chair, who tilled her. It was as if the breath that had been hanging was finally let go. Turn on the TV to watch the news. At 8.49 last night in New York time, an earthquake occurred all over the world. At the same time, what is the reason for this global earthquake? Is there a new civilization under our feet? Sky satellite photographed a huge monster swimming in the ocean. What kind of creature is it? As expected, everything from last night is posted today. And Godzilla seems to have been discovered a little bit, because after it left the ocean, the reminder was too big, so it was normal to be found. But that's all right. Sooner or later, he will go to Cybertron to work hard, and if he is discovered, he will be discovered. Correct. So Yi suddenly remembered something. He asked Wu. In other words, the shape-shifting King Kong has a total of two infinite gems in his hands, right? Wu looked at Su Yi and replied, It's three, master? Three? Su Yi thought about it. Isn't it just strength and space? Wu explained. Collector took the initiative to hand over his collection of reality gem to study with the veterans of shapeshifting King Kong. So now the shapeshifting King Kong civilization holds a total of three infinite gems. Good guy. Normally, there are only six stars in a universe. Shapeshifting King Kong raised three pieces. Now one is in front of Steven, one is in Vision's head, and one is in the observation place. If nothing else, Thanos will go to the place of sacrifice first. Then I will play the last two ideas. As long as Thanos can get an infinite gems, then there is still a glimmer of hope. Know that Thanos has a stubborn temper throughout the multi-universe to fight to the end. He always finds a way to come up with new tricks. At this time, we reminded, Master, refugees from Asgard have arrived on Bothin. 131. Galactus Store to Ganata. Question mark banners are back. The refugees from Asgard have arrived. But Su Yi's finger cakes haven't arrived yet. So Su Yi waved his hand and asked Wu to find Hala. You let Hala pick it up and arrange it yourself. Okay. Wu nodded, and went to find Hala. After she went upstairs, she found Hala's bedroom and opened the door. At the moment Hala has woken up, Zheng winked Tsai played the game console with a small blanket covering his body. She saw Wu Yi coming. The body can't help coughing twice. It seems to recall something. Then he immediately grabbed the blanket and shrank in and asked, I'm full today. I can't hold it anymore. Wu has no expression. She just put her hands behind her back gracefully and said, The Asgard transport ship has arrived on Cybertron, and the owner asked me to notify Miss Hala to deal with it. Why? Here it comes. Hala was taken aback for a moment, then put down the game console and said, OK then, I'll go the later. When Wu heard this, he closed the door and left. And little Hala got up to take a shower, and then changed clothes. She had already put on a skirt. She used to think skirts were too childish. But now she likes it very much and it is convenient, as long as it is a day. But now if you want to meet the people of Asgard. Also came to open the closet immediately. She changed into the pants and clothes she had bought for a long time. That is leather. Then come to the mirror. Let down the tied light green hair. Just spread it behind you. Wait until all are replaced. Hala looks a little girlier. Much colder. Hala nodded. Then go downstairs to find Su Yi. When she went downstairs, Su Yi just got his own pancake and was eating it. But Su Yi's eyes lit up when he saw Hala's new outfit, immediately praised her. That's right, the hair looks good with it down. Hala smiled happily when she heard that. Then he still asked. Then I'm leaving, and I'll take them to Avengers when the time comes. Go, the dancer duplication is also there. Su Yi waved his hand. Thor is originally a member of the Avengers Alliance. Let them solve it themselves. New. After confirming the plan, Hala took out the teleporter Su Yi gave her. Then one click and away. Next moment, she appeared on Cybertron. At the same time, the dancers here also flew over after knowing that Hala was coming at 11. Where's the battleship? Over there. The dancer takes Hala to the battleship with the Asgards. At the moment the battleship is docked in an ecological zone. Then the battleship opens. Let the Asgardians inside come out and wait for Hala's arrival. Collector came out first and said, My lord is coming soon. You are waiting here. You cannot leave this area. With the Asgard people leaving the battleship, then move out all your stuff. Thor and Loki looked at the vegetation and ecology nearby. Then Thor exclaims, The beauty here is not worse than Asgard. Where is this? When it comes to where, Thor is looking at the Collector. But Collector didn't show any expression and didn't answer. Loki nods to Thor. Wait until Thor looks over. Loki gestured to the metal city beyond the forest with his eyes. From their point of view, 
The entire metal city can only be seen from the top, but so many traps come together, they can already imagine what the decentralized steel forest is like. Thor thought about shapeshifting King Kong. He also realizes that this is the home of the shapeshifting King Kong. But he doesn't know where this home is in the universe. At this time, Loki quietly reminded Thor, when someone comes, don't be too proactive, don't go forward and hug when your brain gets hot. Thor was taken aback after hearing this. Why, are you a stupid pig? Loki looked at Thor. The adult the collector said is our sister. What? Thor glanced at the steel city around him. Could it be? It's not. Loki whispered, but it must have something to do with her. So don't be too enthusiastic and see how people treat you. Why? She's from Asgard too. Thor was still puzzled. Hear Thor's words like a pig. Loki took a deep breath, not wanting to explain further. Just a final reminder Thor said. Anyway, don't get excited. Watch me move. Okay? Thor thought for a while, then nodded. Okay. After a while, the twin dancers flew over with Hela. The three fell to the ground. Collector bowed when he saw the three of them. It's not a big gift, just a nod to express respect. If it's about Su Yi, then he has to bend over. And Hala fell to the ground. She looked at all the people of Asgard. More than thirty people. Men in their early tens. The others are either women or old and weak. The only fighting forces are Thor and Loki. That's okay. After all, Thor is a member of the Avengers Alliance. At that time, Loki will also join and accept management. Just right. After Hela looked at everyone, she looked at Thor and Loki and said, Are you my brother? Thor and Loki looked at each other. Although they didn't know why Hela looked so small, they still nodded and said, Yes. Trash. Hela cursed mercilessly, even as Radar can't protect it. In the end, they can only be reduced to wandering and become refugees. Thor and Loki immediately lowered their heads when they heard this. The eldest sister is still the eldest sister, even if he is small now. But when he scolded, he still felt a great coercion. Thor and Loki couldn't help but bow their heads. But Hela wasn't here to scold them either. Lesson after playing Thor and Loki, Hela walks with arms crossed. Then he looked at the people of Asgard and said, For the sake of us being Asgardians, I will arrange for you to live in Fang Yin, a remote place in Midgard. The continent of Asgard no longer exists, and the divine power has also been cut off, so you have to adapt to being ordinary people from now on. You can continue to call yourselves Asgard blood but your descendants will no longer come from the Asgard continent. Hela made it very clear. Let go of your position and understand your current situation. I will give you a place to survive. Then you will survive honestly. Thor was very excited when he heard this. He thought this was enough. My sister, that's enough. Asgard is where there are Asgardians. W. Oh? Hela looked at Thor after hearing this. It's not like you could say that, Thor. Thor's face stiffened. Loki stood up and said, The continent of Asgard no longer exists, and now the remaining Asgards can live safely. Safe life. This one is very simple. At this time, Hela noticed Hulk crouching in a corner. She looked at Hulk, then at Thor. After all, it doesn't look like an Asgard. Thor quickly explained when he saw it. This is my friend, Hulk, who helped us all the way. But now, Thor thinks about it. He also didn't know why Hulk became like this. So he could only say, maybe I'm in a bad mood. Hela nodded. That's it. I'll take you to Midgard. Midgard. After hearing Midgard, Thor and Loki realized that Hela had just told them that they had arranged to live in seclusion in Midgard. Yes, among all the nine realms, only Midgard is safer, and the living conditions will be much better than other realms, let alone other planets in the universe. Seeing that everyone has no opinion, Hela nodded, and pressed the transmitter. Cack. Next moment, everyone teleported to the base of Avengers. That is, on the large lawn outside the base. Also included other sundries that the Asgardians themselves carry, including Hulk. After bringing people here, Hela pulled out her phone and called Natasha Romanoff. After a while, Natasha Romanoff came out with the rest of the superheroes. Other superhero is okay, but Hawkeye and Natasha Romanoff were kinder after seeing Thor. Hawkeye came to Thor. He looks at Thor's face and Loki. Why are you so disheartened? Thor sighed, speaking in a low voice. Asgard was destroyed by Ragnarok. Now only these people are left behind me. After speaking, he looked at Hela and said, This is my sister. She saved us. As soon as Hawkeye heard it, he knew that this matter was tragic. He sighed and nodded. Sorry. Thor shook his head. It's okay. And Natasha Romanoff came to Hela. Hela said directly, Put them in any backwards town. Except for Thor and Loki. Everyone else is reclusive and not as good anymore. Natasha Romanoff nodded after listening. Thor and Loki certainly can't live in seclusion. They are better off working in the Avengers Alliance than living in seclusion. After all, it takes resources to arrange people for you. So Natasha Romanoff called the staff. Then let them arrange for Asgard's people to rest first, and wait for the bus to come and take them all away. Wait until the people of Asgard are gone. Natasha Romanoff just saw a Hulk hiding behind the crowd. Banner? Natasha Romanoff froze for a moment. Hawkeye was taken aback when he saw it. They're all from the first Avengers. So it's all good. Once drove off the Chaitori army together, and now seeing what Hulk looks like, they all rushed over to see what was going on. Banner? Banner? Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye came next to Hulk. The rest of the people also came to see. Thor came to the side and said in embarrassment, We met Thanos during the space escape. We had a fight. A lot of people died. And then Hulk became like this. 
The current Hulk just curled up like this. I don't care who calls. Natasha Romanoff couldn't help it. Directly approached and shouted. Banner? Hawkeye also wants Hulk to listen. So close and patted it on the shoulder. Banner, the Hulk who was photographed was suddenly shocked. Raw Tilda, it stood up in shock and roared. Then get smaller fast. Turned into a comatose Banner. Banner, Thor is worried when he sees it. He exchanged glances with the others. Immediately picked up Banner and ran to the medical station in the base. Hela looked at it and realized that it was nothing to do with her. So waved to Natasha Romanoff and said. Then I'm leaving. Bye. Natasha Romanoff nodded, then suddenly remembered Cersei's thanks yesterday. She hurriedly said to Hala who was about to leave. By the way, thanks Sue for me. Cersei said he saved the world. Hala, that's all. Hala disappeared with doubts. Wait until she returns to the North Mansion. Save the world, last night? Wasn't he pouring himself yesterday? How to save the world? Can this also take time to save the world? Hala was confused. She came to Su Yi's office. At the moment Su Yi was playing a game. Saw Hala coming. Su Yi just moved his eyes and said. Nailed it. Hala nodded. Then asked curiously. Natasha Romanoff said you saved the world. Did you save the world last night? Su Yi is playing games. The regiment is fighting fiercely. However. He also responded easily while operating. Technically not me. Gwen butchered that thing last night. Definitely. In a few days, I will have to come. That's when I was really going to save the world. Who is the father of the God Seed? That definitely is the Tengen group. The God Seed is gone. The Tengen group will definitely be convicted. And no matter how it is convicted, it must have something to do with itself. So there will definitely be a fight. That's what happened these days. But what Hale doesn't understand is... 050. You do things while you're having fun? Correct. So ye finished the operation at this time? turned his head and said, I am serious and happy, and then I do things by the way, aren't you happy yesterday, I think you are very happy, is that enough, have you heard enough, Hala was startled suddenly, enough is enough, yesterday's quantity was too much, she won't be hungry if she doesn't eat today, who knows how many days it will take to digest it, then Hala took out the teleporter, prepare to tell Su Yi back, here, here you go, everything is settled, Su Yi didn't even look at the transmitter, trash, Take it and play with it yourself. Heard it to myself. Halo's A's lit up. Then when I have nothing to do, can I play with the big guys? The big guy is Godzilla. She was still thinking about Godzilla. So Yi nodded indifferently. But reminded. You can find it to play with. But you can't take it ashore to cause damage. You can kill bad people when you meet them. But don't destroy the boat, car, or house you loan to normal people. Or your family will be destroyed for the rest of your life. Hala nodded quickly. I know. I know. I heard that I can find big geese to play with. Hala put away the teleporter flatteredly. This is already a reward for her. Rewards for completing tasks. Then she can go out and play. You know this thing can teleport in the universe. Although Hala does not go to the universe, she means that it is much more convenient to have this. Finally Hala left happily. At the same time, the location of last night's battle. Today came a person wearing a purple top hat, and her clothes were also purple. Her whole body was white, beautiful and slender. But even the girl with purple eyes, very hungry. She was hungry when she got here. But suddenly she sniffed her nose, and then disappeared in an instant. Next moment, she came to the place where Godzilla breathed out. It was the arc that blocked the escape of the mutant race. As soon as she got here, immediately, he stood on the edge of the laser cutting line and sniffed in surprise. Smells so good Tilda. She looked down. Such a long and thick laser shot on the ground. How nice it would be to come on her belly. How delicious is this? Think here. One of the five gods of the universe, the daughter of the devourer of the planet. Ganata. Yes, the daughter of Galactus stretched out her hand and twitched. Immediately, all the remaining blue energy in this deep ditch was drawn out. Then it was swallowed by Ganata, Artilda. After swallowing this energy, Nata let out a happy cry. But this little energy is for her. It's like eating a leaf in the manhand banquet. Not enough. Dot dot dot. Nata still wants to eat. She sighed. Then when I turned my head, I saw Godzilla's footprints. Immediately, Ganata had a flash of inspiration. That's right. Let's borrow some from this big guy. After saying that, she chased in the direction Godzilla left. 132. Aftermarket Hulk. Tan went to find Godzilla. The energy that Ganata needs is different from what normal people understand. He and Galactus wanted the same energy. But at the same time, the energy they need is the same as the energy needed for the birth of the celestial group. That is, life energy. Yes, if you just want ordinary energy, why don't you swallow fixed star no matter if it's Galactus, Ganata, or celestial group. A solar system has a sun. But there are 400 billion solar systems in one galaxy. If only ordinary energy is needed, isn't that enough to swallow? So all they need is life energy. This is why the Celestials sent the Eternals to help humans develop. Raise first, kill later, and the planet that Galactus wants to eat. That also needs to have life energy. Life energy must come from the living body, whether active or passive. Anyway, I have to go through my body again. That's why Ganata keeps shouting hungry. If her further Galactus, then start swallowing immediately. But Ganata will control her hunger. In addition, he turns into an adult and lives secretly on the earth, 
and eats alien biochemical weapons and viruses from time to time. But it develops over time. Nata is the same as her father, Galactus. She will get hungrier. Eating some before can slow down for a while. But the eating in the back will get bigger and bigger. It is too big to be satisfied without eating. Definitely. This is also impossible. And one side. After another day of fishing. Su Yi is already happily off work Tilda. But he just got off work. I got a call from Natasha Romanoff. Hello, Su. Are you off work? You checked the time to call me, right? Well, it's just the right time. Then talk quickly. Okay, Banner seems to have a mental problem. I need you to take a look. Banner is back? Ah yes, Banner is following Thor. Su Yi nodded. Then he snapped his fingers with the dancer. Snap Tilda. Next moment. The three figures disappeared and appeared behind Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff of at the moment is still on the phone. Su, what about this? Su Yi patted Natasha Romanoff's shoulder. Exclamation mark. Natasha Romanoff was taken aback. She took the agent's mobile phone, looked at Su Yi, and then at the dancer behind him. This is. The appearance of the dancer surprised her. No face like a robot but like a real person. It looks like metal and skin. You also don't know she's metal. And there's still a guy in a holster inside. This is my forehead. So ye thought for a while, you can think what you want. They are not only secretaries, butlers, and maids. A man without a vest is called an actress, and a man with a vest is called a dancer. After the introduction, Natasha Romanoff looked at the dancer. The dancer also nodded to Natasha Romanoff. Hello, Miss Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff nodded. You dancers and singers. After speaking, she looked at Su Yi helplessly. Isn't there no hope for a job after I retire from the Avengers Alliance? Forehead. Su Yi thought about it. If you want a competent secretary, I will have more or less. Natasha Romanoff rolled her eyes. Pat Pat Tilda. At this time, someone came nearby. Natasha Romanoff immediately withdrew her expression and said coolly, the situation with Banner is a bit strange, you need to take a look. Su Yi nodded. Lead the way. Natasha Romanoff turned and began to lead the way. Then when passing the corner, the person they saw coming was Falcon. Falcon was a little dazed when he saw Su Yi. Then he was even more stunned when he saw the dancer. But Natasha Romanoff simply said something to him. Go and see Banner. Then he just left. Principal laughed to Falcon. Su Yi walked beside Natasha Romanoff and smiled. You look so cool at the base. Natasha Romanoff gave a small look. That's right. After a while. The two and the dancer walked through the interior of the Avengers Alliance space. Then came to the place where Banner was resting. But Banner isn't resting in the house. Instead. He was basking in the sun in a corner outside, silent without saying a word. So you looked at Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff explains. He came back with Thor in Hulk form, but he was so scared and curled up. When Hawkeye and I went to call him, Hulk let out a yell and turned into a comatose Banner. Now when Banner wakes up, he's kind of autistic. We checked while he was unconscious. There is no physical problem at all. It seems that there is a mental problem. Mentally, that was indeed Su Yi's strength as a normal person. But abnormality is also one of its strengths. Su Yi nodded and walked forward. After seeing it, Natasha Romanoff quickly pulled Su Yi and said, Be careful, now Banner is more prone to anger than before, and it is inexplicably uncontrollable. Okay, I see. Su Yi pushed Natasha Romanoff's hand, then walked towards Banner. Haven't reached Banner yet. Su Yi said from afar, Banner. To be honest, Natasha Romanoff thought Su Yi's Banner was unreasonable at first, because they called before. It just doesn't make sense. But after Su Yi finished calling, Banner was taken aback when he heard this voice, then turned his head abruptly. For a moment, the expression on Banner's own face came out alongside Hulk's. There was also a touch of green in his pupils. Natasha Romanoff watched nervously from a distance. The dancer said after seeing Natasha Romanoff's state, Don't worry, Miss Natasha Romanoff, trust our master. Natasha Romanoff nodded first. Only then did he react. Owner, playing so much, and the other side. So he has already come to Banner's side. He looked at Banner's uncontrollable look. He reached out and snapped his fingers in front of Banner. Snap Tilda. After one sound, Banner gasped out of nowhere. Who dot dot who? So he found a chair and sat down, leaned his back and raised his legs, then wait for Banner to calm down. His operation just now was very simple. The first step, a mental scan. Oh, Banner and Hulk's confusion of will affects each other, mainly because Banner is at a loss, and Hulk is afraid of being confused. Step 2, precisely and forcibly separate the two copies of Soul Will, and calm down for a while. The third step, directly use his huge spirit to calm the spirits of both parties, which is simple and efficient, and does not even need words. What an era, still using talk to heal the spirit, it should be spicy with magic. After a while, Banner recovered, looked at Su Yi and thanked him, thank you, long time no see. It's been a long time, seeing this long time ago client. Su Yi smiled helplessly. Banner met when he came to the Marvel Universe not long ago. I really want to say something. Banner is also his first superhero. Hatilda. Banner let out a long breath. Then he explained to Su Yi. I don't know what's wrong with Hulk. He affected me like crazy some time ago. It's like there are two people living in my brain. It wasn't that I didn't want to talk to Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye during that time. It's just that whenever I want to communicate, 
Hulk will be in my head in rage, it's finally all right now. But what's the situation? Will it recur in the future? Su, Su Yi nodded, will do. Oh no, Banner scratched his hair speechlessly. It's really hard. Obviously I have solved this problem. Hear this sentence. Su Yi still shook his head and said, No, you didn't solve it. You're dealing with the will of the immature Hulk. And now the Hulk will grow up, especially during your time away from Earth. DM. The Hulk must be leading your actions, right? He's fully developed his sense of self during this time, so he's not really your second personality now. Now, Hulk is Hulk, and you are you. Banner was stunned by Su Yi's words. He was a little confused. You mean, these two people are the only ones I have on my mind right now? One is me. One is Hulk, Su Yi nodded, yes, this dot 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 then, what should I do, Banner was stunned, before, he just thought it was a second personality or something, just like the Moonlight Knight, but the reality is that there are only two people living in his mind, what else can I do, Su Yi shrugged, let's live in a two bedroom house, as long as you get more and more tacit understanding, your soul origin is the same, so you can reintegrate, as for how long it will take, it's up to you, Banner became even more speechless when he heard this sentence, he rubbed his face with his hands, but there is no way, both wills originate from one soul, you can't separate these two souls, so we can only get along, it's like a couple who can't divorce but have to live together, let's go on and on, if you can't go on, you have to go on, after all, we have to live together, what do you say this can be done, the best way is to take a step back, it's best to live together, I, Banner now knows this too, he also knew there was no other way, but it's better than not knowing how, okay, okay, no problem, I'll try. Banner took a deep breath. I try to get along with Hulk. When Banner finished speaking this sentence, the Hulk's will in him reacted as well. Indicates that you can try it. That's it. Papa Tilda. So Yi clapped his hands twice and stood up. After sales is done, go home. Cough cough. Major Banner and Hulk can become like this. Wanda must have taken some of the credit too. So Yi regarded it as after sales service and ask leaning. Solve together decided better. After solving the Banner matter, Su Yi returned to Natasha Romanoff's side. Natasha Romanoff looked surprised at Banner who had calmed down. So fast? A. Eh? Su Yi hesitated and smiled. I usually go fast when I should be fast, and slow when I shouldn't. Natasha Romanoff turned around, looked at Su Yi and smiled. So you have a yacht? It's really there. But Su Yi thought about it. It's just relatively big, not an ordinary yacht. Natasha Romanoff blinked. She looked at Su Yi, then at the people who were already coming and said immediately, Then when I'm free, we'll go up and have fun, just you and me. Su Yi stretched out his hand and made an okay gesture. At the moment, the rest of the Avengers Alliance personnel came over after hearing that Su Yi was treating Banner, including Falcon, Hawkeye, Thor, Loki, Vision and many more. And on the way here, they turned the corner. Loki's pupils shrink. He hastily and furtively patted Thor's arm. Thor was still in a daze. After being slapped a few times by Loki, he looks at Loki suspiciously, and Loki frantically gestured behind Su Yi with his eyes. That is, a dancer standing gracefully. Thor looks over his shoulder. His eyes widened in an instant, but Loki immediately reminds Thor. Dot dot no, be quiet. He leaned into Thor's ear and said, Just pretend that you don't know, nothing happened, and we'll talk about it later. Thor thought for a moment, then nodded. Fortunately, he walked behind. After a while, both teams came together. Thor and Loki act like they don't know anything. But Thor's acting skills are average. He touched his nose a little out of habit. Hawkeye looked at Banner first. Then he found the choir Diane and asked. Banner ready? Natasha Romanoff nodded. Yes. After learning the news, Hawkeye stretched out his hand towards Su Yi and said, Thank you, Dr. Su, for your help. You're welcome. Su Yi shook hands with him. Strictly speaking, this is after sales service. After sales? Hawkeye was taken aback. Natasha Romanoff took the initiative to explain. In fact, as early as one or two years ago, Banner was Sue's client. Really? That's a coincidence. Hawkeye also smiled. This is not a derogatory term. It means fate. And Thor is the first generation member of the Avengers Alliance. He should also thank Su Yi for his teammates, but just said don't take the initiative. Now it's a bit embarrassing for him with his egg. What should I do? Loki cocked his eyes aside. Move over. Thor stepped forward when he saw it. Then he stretched out his hand towards Su Yi and said, Me too. Thank you for your help with Banner. Su Yi also shook hands with Thor. You're welcome. That's all. After greeting someone you know, Su Yi said to Natasha Romanoff. Then I'll go back first. You geese talk to Banner slowly and enlighten him. Natasha Romanoff nodded, then turned around and said, Then I'll take you to the door. The two left first with the dancer. Others go check out Banner. And after Natasha Romanoff and Su Yi came to the door, Su Yi squeezed his fingers. Okay, don't send it off, 
I'll go first. Natasha Romanoff points to vote. Then he made a gesture of six with his hand and shook it by his ear. This means a phone call. If you add the previous text, that's what it means to wait for my phone call. Or get in touch again. So Yi nodded. Then snap your fingers. Snap Tilda. He left in an instant. Natasha Romanoff rolled her eyes before regaining her composure. She also just knew that Su Yi could do it instantly. And just snap your fingers. Natasha Romanoff went back silently. And just now, Everyone was still chatting with Banner. Banner dragged his hands empty. I'm fine, I'm fine now. Don't worry, it's all over. No, how about we go have dinner? Ended up having dinner with unanimous approval. Everyone is on the way to the restaurant. Thor quietly approached Natasha Romanoff, and asked in a low voice. Ah, uh, are you really curious about the blonde hair dot 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 doll behind Dr. Sue? Yes, what is a doll? Natasha Romanoff looks at Thor. Thor immediately babbled and explained. Our previous Asgard had a similar doll, it was covered with a layer of iron. So I was curious. Natasha Romanoff nodded, speaking bluntly. I don't know, or it's the first time I saw it today. Sue is a psychiatrist, that's why I invited him to treat Banner's situation, and those two puppets may be assistants. Hear this sentence. Thor looks at Loki. Loki immediately clapped his head weakly, expressing dizziness. Thor's eyes lit up. He immediately came to Loki County. My brother's brain was shattered during the fight and he just needed to see a psychiatrist. Do you have a phone number, or an address? It's fine. Hearing this, Loki started to roll one eye and kept rolling it away. Dot. 133. Desperate to miss Shu, Tanmai and Hala are fighting. Natasha Romanoff could only respond with a kind smile when she saw the appearance of the two. If she can't see the purpose of the two, she will be an agent for nothing. Thor what rubbish acting. What an exaggerated act by Loki. Definitely. Loki didn't want to lie to him directly. He also wanted to find a reason so that he could express his brother's meaning. I want to see Su Yi. Natasha Romanoff knew what he was thinking. So she shook her head and said, Sorry, I can't volunteer someone else's address. Hear this sentence. Thor suddenly went limp. Even Loki's brain suddenly improved. Thor wondered what else to do. Loki was about to say something more. Turns out Natasha Romanoff was gone. Wait until after dinner. Thor and Loki sigh as they sit on the bench outside the base. The two brothers thought about it. Thor thought of the people of Asgard first. Have our people made arrangements? Loki nods. A small town that relies on farming, wine making and fishing. It's beautiful and not bad. Thor nodded, relieved. The Asgards are still there. At least they still have a bit of atmosphere when they go back every year during the festival. Otherwise, when you are alone. When you see other people's thousands of lights and family reunion, you feel really uncomfortable. But that's not the point. Loki smoothed his long hair. Then watch Thor discuss. The puppet behind that person is the same as the one we met before, is it the same pair? Thor confirms, it must be the same. Blonde hair, perfect figure, one without a vest, one with a golden horse. Who can't remember such an obvious appearance? Is it true that the blood of God is full of cheese? But there is the problem. When on Cybertron, the two female puppets and Hela came together. Then Collector has homage to both the female doll and Hela. And when the two female puppets brought Hela over again, they all stood together, so on location, Hala female doll, and the female puppet just now stood behind the man gracefully and respectfully, so in order it is, collector Hala female doll x2, so that man is the man at the top of the pyramids, maybe it's the man who runs Cybertron, and that man must have had something to do with Hala too, so it is very necessary to find out who that man is, it's not bad to get acquainted with it, you can also get to know your sister by the way, that's what they think, so something has to be done, Thor said, Loki nods, correct, but with Thor 653's mind, he couldn't figure out what to do. Then how do we know? Loki thought about it. Do you know Banner? Thor thinks for a moment. I have a good relationship with Hulk, maybe Banner. That's fine. Loki smiled, and suddenly said mysteriously. Remember the conversation we had when we first met? Thor? Watching Thor frown, Loki shook his head and said directly. Banner and he met a year or two ago. Agent Natasha Romanoff is very vigilant. She has been an agent before, so don't try to ask anything. But Banner, let's do it again. This time, it's real. Thor thought for a moment. His eyes lit up. Can. So half an hour later, Loki and Thor come out of Banner's room. Once out, Loki's paralyzed face returned to normal. Then he smoothed his hair and raised an eyebrow at Thor, looking at the address of the North Building. Snap Tilda. The two clapped hands and the plan was agreed. Thor asked looking at the address. What are we going to find this man? Definitely not tomorrow. Loki shook the paper in his hand and Thor prepared to turn a corner. The purpose of going tomorrow is too clear. At least we have to go the day after tomorrow, or find a reason. You, snapped. Loki wasn't finished yet. He and Thor just turned the corner. The note was grabbed by Natasha Romanoff standing at the corner. She looked at the address on the note. Then he looked at the two with a blank face and said, I knew you guys were going to lie to Banner. You, Loki. The two looked at each other. I knew it was broken. Isn't this exposed? But when Natasha Romanoff saw the address, she also knew that if the address was exposed, there would be no redemption. So she simply asked, reason. Ah, uh, Thor hesitated. Can this reason really be said? Loki recalled the relationship he saw between Su Yi and Natasha Romanoff. Then an analysis. Finally, 
He nodded to Thor to say yes, all right, see Loki for hints. Thor said simply, we were rescued by shapeshifting King Kong, then went to the mother planet of shapeshifting King Kong, and finally met our sister Hela, and next to Hela stood the two dolls behind the man just now. So we wanted to know about Hela's relationship with that man and what the hell it was all about. No, that's it, Thor said is straight away, and the amount of information is too large and Natasha Romanoff only reacted after digesting it, shapeshifting King Kong dot 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 civilization? Mother planet, Hala picked you up, I know, she told me in advance, but did she go to an alien planet to pick you up? Thor and Loki nod together, meaning is right, Natasha Romanoff doesn't quite understand shapeshifting King Kong civilization, but she's blown away, shapeshifting King Kong has civilization, and the mother star, so smart, so he actually didn't tell anyone at all, Natasha Romanoff suddenly felt that Suyi was a little too lazy, say nothing, nothing was said, but it's doing great things every time, inexplicably, I did something that no one else could ever achieve, Natasha Romanoff was lost in thought for a moment, then he came back and said, okay, then you can go to him, heard Natasha Romanoff is fine, Thor and Loki beamed, Natasha Romanoff, but, Thor and Loki smile back, you have to tell me the result, Thor and Loki beam again, no pay blonty tilde, no problem, at the same time, Suyi who came home was playing games on Wanda, Wanda sat in Suyi's arms, and the two of them stacked up and played games with the controller, Gwen wasn't here today, she said that the family was celebrating the success of the university in advance, so Suyi took Wanda out for a walk and then came back, after all, Wanda still misses her garden, but do you know what game Suyi and Wanda are playing now, two people are playing Minecraft, my world. So he shot the ender dragon to death with the enchanted bow, and also got the dragon egg. Then put down the controller and look at Wanda. Wanda, why don't you plant flowers in reality? But you have to play games like this. What's the difference between that and coming home from get off work to play overtime games? And Wanda is working on a ranch. She not only farms, but also raises chickens, calves, coyotes and so on. Anyway, she said happily. Kanunu is so beautiful. How about we raise a few cows? Think about it. It's possible, but Nunu pulls a lot of shit and thieves. Forget it. Behold, shallow woman. You just love cute animals, but you don't like it when you think about it slamming shit. Shallow and wonder after feeding the animals in the game. She put the handle down. Then she ran to the small universe to see how the crops in her reality looked like. Impressed, so Yi covered his head. Wonder has changed from a gardener who knows nothing to a grower who knows how to plant. If there are grades for planting flowers, Wonder is an entry-level player to say the least. The next step is to play grafting. After a while, Wanda finished watching the flowers and plants. He came back and curled up in Su Yi's arms and continued to collect her wheat in the game. At the same time for their own sitting comfort, she was still shaking in the socket of Su Yi's leg. His tilde, Su Yi's hair got a little big. She buried herself in Wanda's hair and took a breath, smelling the shampoo and Wang Da's deodorant. Wanda shrank her neck. Itch. These words were more like urging in Su Yi's heart. He puts down the handle. One hand is facing upwards. One hand to adjust trajectory. And Wanda also reacted at this time. She blushed and looked around. Neither the dancer nor Hela was there, so she acquiesced. That's all. The two still stacked together to play games. But only Wanda is playing, and Su Yi is manipulating a real character. Although Wanda is controlling the character, she always controls and doesn't know what to do. BBBC, then leaned against Su Yi tremblingly, but it can't be used here, so Su Yi and Wanda return to the bedroom in an instant, then start riding Wang to take office. The next day, with Su Yi waking up, he took a shower, Wu and Ling helped him wash his hair first, and then each of them took a bath ball, and asked the back helper to rub his back, chest, and thighs. Finally dried the body. During this period, Su Yi also thought about whether he was too depraved. Is it too luxurious? Are you too happy to miss leaving? Is this happy? This is very happy. Forget it. Go ahead and enjoy. Then wash up. Still the same as before. Except that he brushes his teeth by himself. The rest is done by Wu and Ling. And finally, a comfortable hot towel is applied to the face for three seconds as the final process. Then there is dressing. It doesn't matter what Su Yi wears today. Wu and Lin Yi analyzed today's weather. After a rough analysis. They will find two sets for Su Yi to choose from. Su Yi chose one of them. The other set will be put back and wait until tomorrow. And finally breakfast. Ah. They don't need to do this, but Su Yi doesn't need to do it himself either. He comes to the kitchen. Nora greeted right away. Dear Master Tilda, you finally. Here you go Tilda. I miss you so much Tilda. Su Yi sighed, looked at the ingredients, and then said. How much do you think? Nora froze. She didn't expect Su Yi to respond like this today. So she immediately replied excitedly. Definitely miss you. Master Tilda, thinking of me leaking lube at night. Yes, then I think you are broken. That's right. I want Master to fix me severely Tilda. So Yi pinched his ears. He finished the ingredients and finally finalized what he should eat. Get a bowl of noodle soup. I haven't eaten noodles for a long time. Okay Master Tilda, I will. Hey Master, why are you leaving? Ling, help me take it down when it's done. Ling, okay, Master. Went downstairs. So Yi waited for a while. Finally, I waited for my face. 
but he hasn't eaten two bites yet. Hela changed her clothes and jumped down and said, I'm going to play with the big guys, bye. Su Yi sucked his face and waved her to go. After obtaining Su Yi's consent, Hela pressed the transmitter directly, then came to the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Definitely. To prevent drowning, Hela summoned the cloak she hadn't used for a long time to flight, then start unleashing a little divine power to summon Godzilla. Godzilla is also familiar with Hela's divine power, so after a while, Godzilla emerged from the sea near Hela. Wow Tilda. Godzilla poked his head out and looked. It turned out that only Hela passed by. It eyes suddenly raised doubts. It's like talking again. What are you doing alone? Wow Tilda. And Hala was shocked when he saw the big guy's skin. You're handsome again, big guy. She flew forward and touched Godzilla's skin. Then he patted and said, it's black. It looks so strong and big. Pfft Tilda. Godzilla snorted. Kudos to Hala. It's kind of happy, but not much. More importantly for it, why didn't Su Yi tie up? Godzilla looked around. Hala flew to it and explained. Su is very busy. He has to work, so I will play with you. How about we go to create a ship? Create a ship? Godzilla looked disdainful. It has created dozens of whaling ships in the small days. All of them are tens of meters long whalers. As long as there is a whaling ship, it will always be there. Don't say anything else. Offshore parts are larger than two square meters, even if it is a business a mission. See Godzilla dismissively. After thinking about it, Hala doesn't know what it likes to play. So say it. Then you choose. I'll go play with you. It's better to have me than not to have me, Godzilla thought, too. Playing with two should be better than playing with one. And this person is also the wife of the master, so it is worth playing together. Thinking of this, Godzilla roared softly. Roar. Hala probably understood what it meant. So on Godzilla's head, immediately, Godzilla started to swim far away. Hala was taken aback. She quickly wrapped herself with divine power. That's all. Brother always took Hala to play all morning. Until afternoon. They just came to rest on an island in the high seas. Hala stands on the reef of the island. Godzilla dives into the water, only showing his head. How? Hala smiled slightly. You are familiar with playing with me. When the time comes, so you will Tam will ask you to play too. Godzilla nodded saying it was fine. Hala smiled. She just wanted to be proud. As a result, a purple girl flew over in an instant from afar. After she got here, she immediately changed her purple battle suit into a normal denim jacket and put on brown sunglasses. Both Hala and Godzilla looked at her immediately. Godzilla's eyes became fiercer, and he opened his mouth slightly. Who are you? Hala saw that the other party could fly so fast. She knew that the other party was definitely not a simple person. And Ganata's eyes lit up after seeing Godzilla. I finally found you. She was about to say something. As a result, a strange fragrance, a fragrance that normal people can't smell, passed into her nasal cavity. It's also because of her weird nose. Can directly smell the huge flavor of life energy. Sniffed Tilda. Nata sniffed. Then he immediately looked at Hala and asked, why is there such a huge amount of energy in your body? Energy? Hala was taken aback. Then he came back to his senses. Tell me who you are first. Seeing Hala didn't answer himself. Nata was a little impatient. She directly took a picture of Hala with a mobile phone-like device. Kaka Tilda. Hala wants to attack herself because of Kanata. Night Sky Sword. She flicked the Night Sky Sword directly. Ping Ping Tilda. As a result, the Night Sky Sword bounced off Nata's skin immediately. Huh? Hala was stunned. And Ganata took the mobile phone and went to Hala in an instant. Then pointing to a perspective view of her stomach and abdomen. Quickly tell me. Where did the enormous energy here come from? Hala took a look. R? Dot. 134. Two girls are going to fight. I immediately recognize Tunmai. Nata is extremely intelligent. You can say she is little Tony. Or Tony is little Tunmai. So the phone she took out can directly see through Hala's body. And scan the data. Hala didn't choose divine power body protection at that time. Therefore, with her current sub-parent strength, she was swept away by Ganata. And the reason why Hala's sword of the night's guy is useless to Ganata. That's normal too. This is Tunmai. Daughter of Galactus. Her father is multi-level. So Tunmai was born as a level single universe. There is a heavenly further between the sub-father and the monomer. How do you let Hala break Nata's defense? Seeing that his Night Sky Sword is useless. Hala knew that the girl in front of her might be very bad. Sure Tilda. Hala slapped the phone away. Then the figure flashed over Godzilla's head and said loudly. Big guy. Spray her. Godzilla also felt that this woman was unusual. So it opens mouth without any hesitation. Atomic breath. Beep tilde beep beep. Charge fast with Godzilla. The blue laser energy column with a diameter of tens of meters was shot at Nata in an instant. Nata can obviously avoid it. She can dodge at will. But she just stood there and took the shot. Boom tilde. Terrifying energy poured on Ganata. Because Hala is too close between the two. The temperature of the pouring energy is too high. So she quickly flew far away to observe. But Nata, that is, Tanmai just changed her clothes to prevent the normal clothes from breaking. Then just stood there looking comfortable. Delicious. This is delicious. Listen to Tunmai's voice. Hala was taken aback. Eat Godzilla's breath. What kind of monster is this? After half a sound, Godzilla also stopped breathing with smoke coming from his throat. Kai Tilda. Suddenly, 
a large amount of temperature sprayed out from the corners of the mouth and nasal cavity on the road. It's like steam from a pressure cooker. But it looked at Queen Tanmai. Godzilla's A's were also stunned. Tan not only has nothing to do, he raised his head with joy and let out a long breath. I felt Godzilla's breath stop. Tanmai opened her eyes. He also looked at Godzilla with a strange face and asked, Big guy, why did you stop? You ask me? Godzilla too. His atomic breath sprayed on Tanmai and nothing happened. Hala was also dumbfounded from the sidelines. The big guy's breath is so fierce. How can the opponent not hurt at all? How can this be? But Godzilla's current breath level can only reach level Godfather's attack at most. That is, around me crossing. But still that sentence, Tanmai's level is too high. There is absolutely no level between the two. One level single universe can kill too many level Godfathers. What kind of monster are you? Hala looked at Tanmai and asked. To be honest, she was a little scared. This can't break the defense at all. How to fight? Fortunately, the other side did not intend to attack. Otherwise, she and Godzilla are already going to fight. After Tanmai heard this sentence, she changed back to the Windbreaker and brown sunglasses. Then he came to Hala in an instant. Take out the scanned instrument and say to Hala, You tell me where these come from first, and I'll tell you who I am. Hala didn't believe it. You speak first. Tanmai didn't believe it either. Say it first. You, you. The two were deadlocked, and Hala turned her head, but didn't say this. HMPH. I won't tell you. Sister Tan narrowed her eyes. He raised his fist and said, If you don't tell me, I'll beat you Tilda. Why do you still move your hands and feet? Hala looked at Tanmai's fist. She has a hunch. The opposite punch came down. She will die. So Hala thought about it, and said belatedly, Then how about we each say a part? Tanmai nodded and put away her fists. Okay, then you go first. Hala nodded, pointing to the distant relief and said, Then let's go there and talk. The two flew to the top of the reef. Then they all sat down, and Hala started talking. The extremely huge energy you mentioned was given to me by someone else. Question mark Tanmai was taken aback when she heard this. Why is it that someone else gave you something in your stomach? Oh, don't worry about it. Hala stretched out her hand and said, Anyway, it's your turn to talk. That's right. Say one sentence per person. Nat Tanmai thought for a while and said, I'm from an alien. I definitely know this. Hala shook his hand. One more sentence. This sentence counts as half. Nat Tanmai thought about it again. I am not human either. Hala is actually not even human. But Hala stepped forward curiously and pinched Tanmai's arms and cheeks. You are not a human being, but you are exactly the same as a human being. Tanmai explained, my human appearance is like this, and it will not change. That's okay. Now it's Hala's turn. Think about it, Hala. Then I can't give you the energy you want. It's not mine. I ask others for it. Ask someone for it? Tanmai suddenly became interested. Who? Tell me. That's another matter. You say your own. Hala folded her arms. It's Tanmai's turn. Tanmai thought for a while and said again. It's not long since I came to Earth, but I seem to have been born a long time ago. My father is very powerful. He travels in various universes. Hala saw that Tanmai was so powerful. Then her father has no reason and is not powerful. But she still said dissatisfied. You gotta say this about energy. Why do you want energy? When Tanmai heard it, it didn't matter. It could be said. So she explained. Because of my physique, it's like a family genetic disease of the Earth. I will be hungry very quickly and I need a lot of energy. Hala's ears perked up when she heard that. Very hungry. She doesn't want to rob me. Does she? Then you can just eat other energy. Why are you greedy for me? Hala pointed to the sun in the sky. The sun is so big, you can eat it. No. Tanmai shook her head. I want to do the same. But I have to eat energy that has the breath of life. A few days ago, the Damshan group was about to be born. I wanted to stop it, but it was solved by others. And the birth of the Damshan group is to require the life energy of the entire earth which is more than I thought. Tanmai said so. Hala knew the premise of what world Suyi saved. It turned out to save all mankind. He didn't take Gwen to stop it. The earth is gone. But if Tanmai wants this energy, that would be troublesome. Hala was thinking. Tanmai said, it's up to you to say, where does your energy come from? I need it too. I can't feel it if you want it. Besides, she doesn't want to give it. Hala hesitated for a long time, and didn't know what to say. Quickly tell me. Tanmai said, I have told you my reasons. So you should at least tell me the reasons. Hala thought for a long time and sighed. I got this from a man. Give what? His dot 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 his. Essence. Hala had a flash of inspiration. Guessing that she is an alien must not know this. The result is as expected. Tanmai tilted her head. With so much essence released, won't he be weak or uncomfortable? No. Hala smiled. I will still be very happy. I have two good sisters who are also asking for her essence. His tilde. Tanmai's eyes lit up when she heard this. Her plus two more. That's three more people. So extravagant and magnanimous. Such a huge amount of energy just give it. Then I. Then can I have it? Tanmai asked impatiently. I can't decide. Hala shook her head. It's up to him if he wants to, and I don't care. Then take me to see him. Tan said again. That's not okay. Hala continued to shake her head. He can't bring anyone to meet her without his consent. Tanmai, then you call him now. Make a video call. 
Is there any way? This is even worse. Hala shook her head when she heard that she was going to call now, and said, he is at work, so we can't disturb him during working hours, we can only talk about it after get off work. Is he still working? Question mark. Everyone who Tanmai listened to was dumbfounded. People who can casually give such a huge amount of energy still need to go to work? Number. Why is the earth? Does this ball fit it? It doesn't deserve it. Ah, this is his normal job as a normal person. Hala waved his hand and explained, ability is ability, and every day is every day. Didn't you also say that you live as a normal person on earth? Hear this sentence. Tanmai thought for a while, yes. At the same time, she is also eye-catching. She also wants to live peacefully on the earth. What joy to live this way. As long as she has access to this energy all the time. Then you can live a normal life forever. So Tanmai said with great anticipation. Okay, how about you make a video call after he gets off work? This. Hala was still a little reluctant. But when she turned her head and looked at Godzilla, neither of them could beat Tanmai. Hala nodded after thinking about it. Fine. So the two slowly chatted in a normal conversation. What's your name? What's my name? Where do you live? What do you do in reality? Etc etc. And the other side, after Si Yi fished for a whole day, in the afternoon there was someone whom he hadn't expected to show up, ancient one magician in holy spirit state, at the moment she walked in with her whole body illusory. At the same time nothing changed in her dress or appearance, it was still the way Si Yi saw her before. After seeing ancient one, Si Yi smiled. It seems that you have stabilized your holy spirit state. Yes, ancient one magician nodded. But it also means that I have to leave. Su Yi understood. After Ancient One became this status. Ask for flowers. To follow the path of an abstract god of time. That is eternity. Eternity represents all time in the multi-universe, which can dominate any time at will, create, modify, and so on. Just like a high-speed rail is a universe, and eternity represents the global high-speed rail lines. It can move however it wants. And Ancient One is following this path. But Ancient One is not just saying goodbye. She looked at Su Yi and thanked him. Earth's crisis has been resolved and I feel that an extremely dangerous disaster has disappeared. So I am here to thank you for your protection, and at the same time I'm leaving. Su Yi nodded, then shook his head and said, Go ahead, what needs to be said has already been said. Ancient One smiled happily. She nodded and really flew away, drilled straight into the ceiling and disappeared. But Su Yi didn't say anything. The threat that Ancient One perceived, it's just because the Tanjin group is still a seed. But she doesn't feel any more threats after the seeds are gone because that's a level single universe, beyond her perception, even Ancient One follows eternity. But no matter how powerful eternity can control time, it cannot control Su Yi's timeline. Silver Superman's karma has been locked. Eternal can't move no matter how much he wants to. No matter which time node it goes to. The Su Yi it encounters is the Su Yi in the strongest state of at the moment. This is Su Yi's peace of mind after checking into Silver Superman. Because Phoenix Force even reaches the multi-level. It may not be able to defeat the five gods, no. Galactus does not count, it may not be able to defeat the four gods, because the four gods have the power of rules of the universe, for example, what if you want to kill yourself three years ago forever, then he really didn't move, unless you use Phoenix Force to restore yourself from three years ago, but this is of little use, a weakness is still a weakness, but with Silver Superman, he can rest assured, you come, if you come, I will kill you in the previous timeline, till noon, Su Yi lay comfortably on the armchair, Wu walked over, came behind Su Yi's chair and stretched out his index finger into his hair to massage his scalp, Artilda, Su Yi let out a comfortable breath, massage yourself with this metal, the strength and landing point are actually grasped with incomparable precision and comfort, Su Yi closed his eyes and hummed, Wu, your fingers are very resilient and tactile, Wu kept his hands, and then replied, the whole body of the dancer is made of nanometal-like materials, and our metal body can also simulate any material, human skin, organs, viscera, organic bark, leaves, or plastic, steel, stockings, do stockings feel okay, then Su Yi wanted to try wearing stockings on his head, but even if it feels too beaty, this is already very comfortable, following Wu's head, shoulder and neck massage, Su Yi almost fell asleep, she presses you from behind, and it is really pleasant when her hands press the shoulder and clavicle ligament muscles for you. It is more difficult to massage than anything I read online, and it is even more comfortable in Taigo. By the way, it is difficult for the dancer to have a full body if he rests another day. How comfortable that is. That's all. Press the time, and it's time to get off work. Arrive at 5 p.m. So Yi opened his eyes on time, and brought the dancers to the door. Then the door was locked with a click. Beep 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 tilde. But just as he clocked in, the cell phone rang. It's still Hala calling. Line connected. Hey. Didn't you go to play with Godzilla? Why don't you call me, Hala? Ah. Now it's not just me. There's also a friend of mine. Friend. So Yi was taken aback. Can Hala still have friends? You match? Wait. It's not just her now? That is, Godzilla is also exposed to others? You showed her the little one? When Su Yi said this, 
Taylor immediately felt aggrieved, it's not what I want to give, she flew over suddenly and threatened me, fly over, it seems that there is still a bit of ability, then she's next to you now, ah, uh, then what are you calling me for, Taylor was silent for a while, she didn't want to fight either, but Tunmai's fist was big, and they were already friends just now, so Taylor handed the phone to Tunmai, you tell me, Tunmai took the phone, hi, hello, I'm Nata, well, you are, so you wanted to be perfunctory, but the name, wait, what's your name, Ganata, Tanmai had just finished speaking before realizing that this was her real name, wait, I made a mistake, my name is Lee, but what use is this to Su Yi, whether it's Kanata or Jiali, he knows that this is Tanmai, Su Yi was silent for a while, you turn on the video call and let me see, he almost asked if your father's name is Galactus, that is, the planet devourer, or Uncle Tan, Galactus grew up, dot, 135, Take Tanmai to the small universe. Why do you share the deluxe? Facing Su Yi's request, Tanmai looked at Hala first. Hala nodded, gave a thumbs up, and said, Sure, Su is super handsome, Tilda. Anyway, in terms of Hala's aesthetics, this kind of Su Yi, who is good looking on the outside, charming on the inside, and has a strong body, completely rubs her G spot. Otherwise, Hala wouldn't have said that when they met for the first time that day. And Tanmai knows that she is in casual clothes now, so she adjusted the brown sunglasses, and then clicked on the video call. As soon as the video opens, both parties appear on the phone. Tanmai's eyes really lit up when she saw Su Yi. In terms of human aesthetics, Su Yi's appearance has come to an end. But Su Yi let out a sigh of relief when he saw Tanmai. Cool. Isn't this Tanmai? The eyes are purple. It's strange if it's not Tanmai. This face, this name, these eyes, bows on Tanmai. But Tanmai was taken aback when she saw Su Yi let out a sigh of relief. Then he said angrily, Why? Do you despise me? No. Su Yi bowed his hand and said directly and helplessly, Your name is Ganata. So your father's name is Galactus, Planet Devourer. He just so hasn't met Tanmai now. Just meet up. Tanmai could immediately perceive Su Yi's strength and strength. Whether it's a Planet Devourer or a Swallow Girl, they both have a strong perception of energy. So whenever she sees Su Yi, Tanmai must know how strong he is. Then what else to play? Just speak plainly. Tanmai stared at this sentence. She suddenly pushed the brown glasses in a panic. Then he looked around and whispered again. Who are you? Why do you know so clearly? You won't tell my dad that I'm here? No. If my father knows the existence of the earth, he will come and swallow the earth. 627 Tanmai can call Uncle Tan directly in her mind. But she came to live on earth secretly, because she doesn't want to gobble up the creatures on the planet. But her father is different. Her father not only swallowed, he even hired a few people to find him a planet with living creatures. So Tanmai knows, the earth must not be known by her father, otherwise the ball is not spicy. But when Su Yi heard these words, he couldn't help laughing. I cover the earth and I let you swallow it? Your father swallowed me to work there? Are you unemployed and looking for a job again? When I think of myself as an unemployed person, I have no place to check in. Then Su Yi definitely doesn't want to. He doesn't care if the parallel world explodes, but the earth cannot die. He is still working here. R. And Tanmai was stunned when she heard that. A master like you is still looking for a stable job? Still afraid of losing your job? Again. This ball matches? Okay. So you looked at Hala who was behind Tanmai, who was looking up and then said to Tanmai, you answer the phone as Hala, then come and talk to me, Tanmai nodded, then returned the phone to Hala, Hala asked as soon as she got the phone, what's up, who is she, what does the planet eat to do, why didn't she let her father know the location, did she run away from home, forehead, strictly speaking, it's a bit of a run away from home, but Tanmai is peace loving, so strictly speaking, it was a conspiracy with her father, and then they got married, don't ask so many children, let's talk together when the time comes, so you looked at Hala who put her face on the camera in the video and said, you two know each other so well that you can get together, Hala thought about it and shook her head, I do not know, I came to play with a big guy, and she flew to me in an instant while playing, my knight sky sword and the big guy's atomic breath didn't work for her, and then she asked me where the energy came from, if I don't tell her, she will beat me, so ye, then did you say that, said, no, I just said half of it, Hala quickly explained, I said everything about you, that's why I made this call, fine, in fact, it doesn't matter if Hala says it or not, take this ability of Tanmai, her technological invention is also very powerful, if Hala doesn't say it, Tanmai went back to study a Hala locator, then the pictures inside the northern building could not be scanned, in the end she blocked the door of the northern building, in the end we will meet again, so it's all the same in the end, as long as Tanmai sees her, she can't hide unless she leaves the earth, so Yi nodded, all right, you bring her to the small universe, okay, Hala nodded, Su Yi also hung up the phone, then go to the small universe and wait for the two of them, after Hala hung up the phone, she looked at Godzilla and said, big guy, I have to go back first, Godzilla nodded when he heard it, then turn around and swim to the sea, Tanmai came to stand beside Hala, she is quite a bit taller than Hala, and falls between girly and teenage girly, if it is proportional, Hala stood up under Su Yi's bear, Gwen stood up under Su Yi's chin, Wanda stood up under Su Yi's nose, so when Tanmai stood up, 
She was probably at Su Yi's shoulder. Definitely. Gwen will still grow. She is now in teenage form. But as time goes by, she will continue to grow. Maybe it will reach Su Yi's nose. Taller than Wanda. At that time, Gwen will be in the form of Yuji. Then Su Yi used divine power to keep Gwen in youth and form forever. Um, just like that. Just keep the best years. Just like Wanda. Su Yi has already prevented her from aging anymore. Always ripe peaches. Plump and juicy. Heck. Back to reality, Tan Mai asked curiously looking at the back of Godzilla leaving. What kind of creature is it? I haven't seen it in the universe. Its breath not long ago killed most of the creatures in this universe. I heard Tan Mai praise Godzilla. Hala said with a little pride. It's called Godzilla. I call it the big guy. Su likes to call it the little guy. Wait for a while. Su intends to throw it into the universe for training and growth. Tan Mai nodded when she heard it. This Godzilla should be quite strong in the universe. But this doesn't matter to Tan. Definitely. If you count Godzilla as food, Tan Mai still thinks it is very fragrant. Definitely she couldn't swallow it. Because it has an owner. If it is an alien creature without a master, she will definitely swallow it. This is the principle of Tan Mai. After the two watched Godzilla leave, Hala took out the teleporter and said, Let's go. I'll take you to Su's small universe. Su is still waiting for us. Well, good. Galactus nodded first. And then realized. Small universe? That's right. Hala was stunned. Isn't your father very powerful? Doesn't he have a small universe? No. Tanmai scratched her head in embarrassment. Her father really didn't. Although her father is one of the five great gods, he is usually used as the background board and the standard of combat power. The strength to beat Galactus is strong. If you can't beat Galactus, you're weak. And her father is still a big bastard. To fight is to use its own huge energy to call around and shoot around. Skill? No. I'm going to blow you up. And after Hala learned that Tanmai was gone. She smiled smugly, then take out the transmitter and press it. Cack. Next moment, both disappeared in an instant. Then one appeared at the gate of the small universe, and the other appeared inside the small universe. At the door is Tanmai. Inside the door is Hala. Huh? Hala was taken aback. She looked down at the transmitter and thought it was broken. So Yi waved his hand after seeing it. Then Tanmai can come in. I only gave you five access rights to the small universe, so she didn't come. Oh Tilda Hala understood. After Tanmai came in, she took off her brown glasses. She looked at the thousands of mountains and rivers in the small universe and almost salivated, leaving only 3,000 feet. Suck Tilda. Then she sighed with a long breath. It smells so good Tilda. It's not a good thing to be considered very fragrant by creatures like Tanmai. But Hala didn't understand. It's a little fragrant, but not as exaggerated as yours. No, you don't understand. Tanmai shook her head and asked greedily about the breath of the small universe. So you looked at her and explained with a smile. Because the energy she needs is life energy or the energy base that can give birth to a life. So the climate, temperature, environment, and style of the microcosm are suitable for the birth of life in the microcosm, which is a huge energy that can give birth to souls. Hala was shocked when she heard it. She's on target now. No wonder Tanmai is so greedy for the things in her stomach. Because Su Yi's is not only the energy of life, but also the energy that can give birth to life. And it's multi-universe level energy. But for Su Yi's explanation, Tanmai nodded in agreement. The energy of this small universe is many times greater than the life energy of the earth. If my father comes, after he swallows this small universe, he won't need to swallow energy for at least many, many years. Hale asked curiously after hearing this. Then how often does your father swallow? It's about a month now, but it's going to get faster. So fast? Hale marvels. Once a month. Isn't that like eating a living planet in a month? The key is that Galactus can only eat but not make. The Tengen group is still being created while being born. Strictly speaking. Energy is conserved, but Galactus just eats it. Alas, hearing this, Tanmai couldn't help it, that's why I left my father, I don't want to be like that, being controlled by hunger, and even going crazy. After hearing this, Halo agreed with regret, but you will be like this in the future, so what will you do in the future? Future? Isn't the future just around the corner? Tanmai immediately came to Su Yi. Then he took out his mobile phone and showed it to Su Yi. What are these energies you give Hala? I can. Want it? Or I'll go crazy with hunger. Give it to Hala yourself? Su Yi looked at the phone screen, and it turned out to be a perspective view of Hala. But the two balls in Hala's belly dot 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 the energy is highlighted, and then it says super high energy. D. When Su Yi saw this thing, he suddenly took a breath in his heart. He looked at Hala. Hala explained with a guilty conscience. I didn't take the initiative to show it to her. She took that thing and clicked it to show it. I also had a fight with her, and I called the big guy, but I didn't fight. Su Yi. Su Yi folded his hands in his arms. His expression was very nonsense. How can this thing be targeted? Anyone else beating themselves up? Wo said, facing Su Yi's silence. Tan Mai looked at Su Yi, 
and then looked back at Hala. What's wrong? Hala said that there are two sisters who can share this energy. Why can't I share? Is there a condition, or do you want to exchange? Su Yi touched his chin helplessly after hearing this. He pursed his lips. Then he sighed and looked at Tan Mai and asked. Then can you smell what this smells like inside Hala? It's very fragrant. Tan Mai replied. Definitely. How about describing a flower fragrance? Su Yi asked again. Now Tan Mai fell into thinking. She immediately ran to Hala and smelled it again. Then he took out his phone and checked. After a while, she came back excitedly and said, Heather smells right. By the way, you still ask? Su Yi understood now. It turns out that Tan Mai doesn't know anything about it. Su Yi clicked his tongue. Then you go and find out what the scent of Heather smells like, and how humans were born. Here here, Tan Mai immediately went to check again. D.A. She didn't get shy the more she checked, but the more excited she got. After a while, she came to Su Yi excitedly, then asked in surprise. You still have this magical function? I checked my dad's database. Why don't others have it? No wonder Hala said that she doesn't know what other people are like. But she only knows that you have this ability, so it's this. Swallow sister thief excited. But Su Yi and Hala couldn't fix it. Aren't you shy? Are you not shy? Are you a girl? Etc. Oh Tilda. Su Yi understood again. Tan Mai is not a human being at all. Before she came to the earth, she was in the form of energy more often. She became human after coming to earth. So Tan Mai will not have the shame of human beings. Instead, there will only be infinite curiosity and anticipation. Gan. Su Yi understood, so it is. 5.4 Su Yi pinched his fingers helplessly. He didn't know what to say or explain. Could it be that he told you to try it? As a result, Tan Mai really asked. Can you give me a little to taste and study? Please, don't say such things so innocently. Okay? Su Yi almost nodded his head. Gan Arta's human form is beautiful. Silver grey hair, purple eyes, bright red lips, and a graceful figure. Simply put, it is the girl version of Yuji. Just by looking at her now. You can predict Tan Mai's proud figure in the future. But now she is saying such explosive words to you with pure, innocent, flawless eyes and tone. Do you think you have a big head? Su Yi tells you. Big. Su Yi held back for a long time. Finally spit out three words. Not too good. Ah. Why? Tan was extremely regretful. It's just not good for us pure earthlings. Su Yi explained. Doing these things requires emotional cultivation. Not just overnight or temporarily. That's disgusting. I'd rather not touch it. Tan Mai is thoughtful. She took out her mobile phone and checked love, as expected. Things like positive energy are given to each other only when both parties have a foundation of love. Only those with bad energy will be given overnight. And Tan Mai is a good boy. She definitely wouldn't force her to give it overnight. So she thought hard for a while, and suddenly her eyes lit up. She came to Hala in an instant. Then he held Hala's hands and said, Then when you accept it next time, can you give me a little to pretend? Just a little. Please, let me taste it. Hala shook her head immediately after hearing it. Why should I share my milk deluxe with you? You are my friend and I can't share your good things. Don't do it. Hala refused very simply. Dot. 136. Hungry Tanmai. Phoenix lollipops. Hearing Hala refuse. So you breathed a sigh of relief. Ah. But I'm really hungry. Tanmai held Hala's hand and said, I haven't eaten for months. No, it's fine if I watch from the side. Don't eat all of it then. Can you save some for me? Su Yi. It's not just Su Yi anymore. Hala's eyes widened when she heard that. What the hell? Are you so fierce? Hala looked at Su Yi. Anyway, Su Yi shook his head first. This is too much bullshit. He felt embarrassed. So Hala immediately shook her head too. So does she. Seeing that both Da Su Yi and Hala refused, Tan Mai was immediately discouraged and exhausted. She looked at Su Yi. Looking at Su Yi with watery eyes like amethyst. Although Su Yi thought she was cute, but still shook his head firmly. No, some things can only be done after passing the line. That is, they can only be done after passing the time, as long as the line is crossed. Both parties are willing and did not refuse. You can play as many BTs as you want. Where did Su Yi play? But some things just can't be done before crossing the line. If we meet each other, we will do it once a day. Then he really is not a thing. The two are not the same. Any stallion will do. See one before the other. But the harem is as long as there is love, and both parties love it. It is not casual and has no emotional basis. It's two different things. Do you understand now? After Tan Mai heard Su Yi clearly said number, she wanted to cry immediately. You are not her. You don't understand how she feels when she's really hungry. Hunger is one of the most painful things in biological instincts. People will eat anything in a famine. Bark, dirt, rotting meat and even animals will eat and sleep. So hunger can really be a crazy feeling. Not to mention Uncle Tan and Sister Tan. They are even more frenzied when they are hungry. It's going to be crazy, and Tan Mai has nothing to do with Su Yi. The moment she saw Su Yi, Tan Mai knew that this guy might be stronger than her father, because she knows the energy density of her father. But Su Yi's energy density is even stronger. So Su Yi disagreed. Tan Mai can't force others to be difficult. This is very tragic. But, Su Yi looked at Tan Mai. Hunger 11 will drive Uncle Tan and Sister Tan crazy and it's painful. So Su Yi thought about it. 
He stretched out his hand and gathered a small group of Phoenix Rebirth energy and said, This will give you a pad, Attilda. Su Yi hadn't finished speaking yet. Tan Mai came over in an instant and swallowed the energy on Su Yi's finger in one gulp. Zizizi Tilda. He even mumbled a few times. Su Yi twitched in fright. Then he took his finger back with a bang. He looked at the drool on his fingers. Well, the helpless Su Yi sighed. Then he walked over to Hala, picked up her clothes and wiped the drool off. Ah, uh, Hala was taken aback for a moment and immediately pulled back her clothes and said mentally, This is my favorite dress. I bought it. You, I'll buy you more. You wipe it. Facing Su Yi, Hala was almost always handled easily, and lost her integrity very quickly. Get it right. Su Yi wiped his fingers with Hala's clothes, then looked back at Tan Mai. At the moment, she was chewing with satisfaction, and he raised his fists with both hands, as if trying to eat Nei Ai with all his strength. It's necessary. Su Yi looked strange. Can't you just swallow it? Non 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 tilde Tan Mai immediately shook her head. Then opened her eyes and looked at Su Yi and explained, This is so delicious, it's a pity to just swallow it, I want to eat more. Su Yi, poor child, this must be starving. Galactus used to be hungry too. The bone-eating hunger would drive Galactus, one of the five gods, mad. So you can probably imagine how outrageous the physiques of Galactus and Tanmai are. Absolutely homey. And this bit of energy from the rebirth of the Phoenix is just a little bit of energy from Su Yi. Phoenix forces Nirvana rebirth is a bonus energy. When you are about to post till post, you will use this energy to nirvana, but it's not useless. Rather, it will recover. It is equivalent to the passive of the LOL ice bird. If there is cooling, it can be nirvana. If there is no cooling, it will be really dead. But after Su Yi reached the multi-universe level, he is still cold. But his energy is enough for him to nirvana countless times. Equivalent to 100 phoenix passives first. Not enough to say. But just this little energy. Tan Mai is like a treasure and it melts in her mouth. It's hard to imagine how as trained Tan Mai was before. Or how much hunger I endured. It's too awful. At this time, people came in from outside the small universe. Wanda came in with a watering can to water the flowers. But she saw Tan Mai. This is, a, an alien. No, she is not considered a human being strictly speaking. But now she has transformed her energy into a human being. So Yi explained to Wanda. Do you remember the five gods I told you before? Wanda nodded. Then a little surprised, she wouldn't just be. Yes, she is one of the five gods, the daughter of the planet Devourer, Ganata. God's daughter? Wanda put down the kettle upon hearing this. Then he walked over and looked at Nata curiously. Same as human beings. Her energy has now been converted into a human being, so she is exactly the same as a human being now. So he explained. But when she transforms into her main body, she will turn back into a mass of energy. Wanda was quite surprised when she heard that. It's amazing. And Tanmai saw the hostess coming. She put the phoenix energy that had turned into a ball into her cheeks, so that one side of her face puffed up like a lollipop. Then he stretched out his hand to Wanda and said, Hello, my name is Nata. Just treat me as a normal person. My name is Wanda Maximov. Wanda shook her hand. Then it was a little strange to watch her bulging cheeks. What does this child eat? So ye saw Wanda's doubts. So I told one day about the special physique of Tanmai and Galactus. Wanda opened her mouth in surprise. Then she's a little too. The word miserable, because I still haven't said it face to face. Yes, somehow, Tanmai is not as happy as Gwen at all. You can only compare with Wanda and Hala if you are miserable. Gwen's family is the best of the three. Love her parents, harmonious and friendly family, a father with a good job and income, a mother who cares and understands her, and so on. This throws off Wanda and Hala by a large margin. The real happiness and love are not the level of ability, nor the rights of position, but a wonderful family, loving parents and wife and healthy and sensible children in the future. This is happiness. Abilities and rights are just for the means to get them. Anyway, good superheroes must have beautiful families when they were young, and bad superheroes definitely didn't cough when they were young. But it doesn't matter now. At least Tanmai is happy now. So you looked at Tanmai. I looked at the time again. Ganata, we're going out to buy groceries. How about you? Tanmai is happily eating Phoenix brand lollipops. Heard, she asked blinking her eyes. Then can I follow along? She uses energy to change. Then the whole body turned into a daily girl's outfit. That is to say, he put on the brown sunglasses again, to hide her bright purple eyes. As for whether you can follow, so Yi doesn't care about it. She is obsessed with ancient times. And Wanda saw Tan so pretty. She thought for a while and said, then you follow along. Let's chat. Good. So a group of six people went out and went to the supermarket to buy vegetables. The six people are Yi, Wanda, Hala, Tanmai, Wu and Ling. Fortunately, so Yi shielded the presence of the dancers relatively high, and the group of people who belong to the active communication will be discovered. Otherwise, it will only be discovered by acquaintances. In other cases, it is a passerby NPC, and others will just treat it as a passerby, and grocery shopping is just to add inventory. That way there would be enough food for Nora to cook. So Wanda usually buys everything and stores it in the kitchen. Walking on the road, when choosing dishes, Wanda is also chatting with Tanmai, and Haley will interject from time to time. How long have you been on Earth? Tanmai thought for a while. It's not much, 
Is it? I don't know. Then what have you been doing all this time on Earth? We have never found you. Tanmai was a little embarrassed when she heard it. I usually research technology to counteract the pain of hunger. When the hunger is unbearable, we will use technology to capture viruses and alien viruses around the world to fill our stomachs. Definitely. Sometimes I can't help stealing. Wanda is puzzled. Steal? It's just stealing some monsters. Ganata sighed when she said this. There are too few monsters on Earth and they are getting fewer and fewer. I used to be able to secretly eat a few mutants, or quietly absorb a little energy from the seeds of the celestial group. But now that the mutant race is gone, I don't have anything to steal. Goodbye. Su Yi listened to it while picking vegetables. It turns out that you also ate mutants secretly. And Wanda got more and more curious to hear this. She picked up a piece of fruit and asked Tanmai. Then how do you feel about eating these? Is it delicious or not? Good. But Tanmai shook her head and said. The fruit you took is only 40 life energy. That piece of meat has 300 life energy. That skinny guy has 14 billion bio energies. That fat man has 22 billion life energies. The one holding the kitten has 4 billion life energy. And the earth has a about 975 billion trillion living energy. So the energy of dead creatures will be much lower, and the energy of living creatures will be higher. Tamai's words. Tell Wanda and Hala directly. She can actually see everything she sees as life energy. This is too amazing, right? What about me? Hala immediately asked Tanmai curiously, then how much life energy will you get if you eat me? Tanmai looked at Hala. The higher the strength, the higher the numbers I get. In your case, it's probably close to quadrillion to a few trillion. After talking, Tanmai looked at Wanda again. And you have at least a few gigabytes to tens of thousands of trillions, and you don't grow richer. After speaking, Tanmai looked at Suyi again. I can't do what you say. I can only feel that your energy is very high, very high, like an ordinary person standing near the sun. According to this comparison, it's really about the same. If she looked at Gwen, that is at least ten trillion levels, or even hundreds of thousands of trillions. How many trillions? Suyi didn't know how to calculate this. Anyway, it should be about the same. Next, wait until everyone has finished shopping. As soon as everyone goes out, Wanda used magic to open the scarlet portal to the kitchen. Then tell everyone, just put it in, it's too troublesome to carry it. Everyone nods, then put all the vegetables in. Papa Tilda. Then Su Yi clapped his hands and said, okay, we're going home to cook, and you, Ranata. Wanda looked at Ganata and said the same. Yes, would you like to come to our house for a meal? Ganata actually thought about it quite a bit. Whether it's eating, or she knows that she needs to increase her relationship with Su Yi. Otherwise, Su Yi wouldn't have given her the Heather energy. But Ranata also knew that it was not good to stick too close. And today is enough to bother people. So Ganata waved her hand and said, Then I'm going home too. I'm 887 going home to eat this energy lollipop. And I'll go play with Hala tomorrow. I heard that Nata can find me to play tomorrow. Hala's A's lit up and she waved her hand quickly. Okay, then come over at noon tomorrow and I will teach you how to play games. I can play games. Tanmai said definitely, I'm very good at playing games. Really? Hearing that Tanmai can play games. Hala is as excited as an internet addicted girl meeting an internet addicted girl. Then you go home quickly, you must come tomorrow. Okay Tilda, Tanmai sees hope for tomorrow. She waved her hand, put her hands in the windbreaker pockets and went home. And Hala was overjoyed. Wanda joked after seeing it, I have a real gamer friend Tilda. Hala. Hala is really happy. This is equivalent to that the Odaku not only met friends outside, but he also has the same hobbies as you. The two can still play black together in reality. This is uncomfortable. The best match in the game is a friend. The best match for friends is not only friends online, but also in reality. Then the five of them returned home. Dinner or something will be ready in a while. Washing the dishes Hala just takes the dishes to the kitchen and gives them to the fridge Nola. Simply not too convenient. But Suyi, who had finished dinner today, did not lie on the recliner. He was making a trip to the thick soft grass. After Wanda came to the small universe, she habitually recruited Su Yi. Wanda almost didn't see him when he was lying in the grass, but she went on. Then he sat beside Su Yi's waist and walked back. Su Yi stretched out his arm. Wanda was lying in his arms, and then Wanda turned slightly to one side, resting on Su Yi's chest. Su Yi entered from the side, squeezed and smiled. I delivered it to my door today, Miss Witch. Wanda lightly bit Su Yi's collarbone. Yes, win first, question mark. Su Yi was taken aback. Mr. Succubus? About me? Su Yi immediately picked up Wanda and put it on his waist angrily. Are you bold, Miss Witch? Isn't it your fault? Wanda rolled her eyes. Whoever tells me to do that, I'm fascinated by your obsession. This is what Su Yi should have said. As a result, today's Wanda contrasts with him. Su Yi used Phoenix Force to directly modify the clothes of the two of them, then do some reverse push-ups. Wanda froze instantly. Then he fell down slowly as if hit by an electric shocker. Su Yi smiled. That's it, Miss Witch. HMPH. I still have Lixia. After an hour. That's it. The Tide Witch. A Tilda. I still have the Horse Charm. I forgot to use it before. Chirp is a cute little sneeze. Also the button to use the horse charm. Seeing the green light flashing on Wanda's body. Su Yi smiled. 
isn't this challenge coming soon? He immediately started accumulating energy. Okay, today I will tell you what it means that you have the way to die. 137. Thanos goes after the soul gem. Tanmai's new idea. The next day, after Su Yi woke up, he finally stretched comfortably. Then get up and take a shower. It was really fun last night. At least happier than ever. Wanda first used physical strength to fight with herself, and waited until the end. It will use mana to restore physical strength to fight with itself, and wait until the mana is also used up. He will use the spirit of the twelve talented horse charm to fight against himself. As long as Wanda goes limp, he will make a chirp tilde, with a flash of green light. Wanda will quickly recover her stamina in a short time. Under the blessing of this three rounds of buff, Wanda finally had the strength to fight Su Yi. Definitely, she was completely defeated in the end. Because this is not the reason for lack of energy. Wanda's psychic power is enough to spell the horse many, many, many times. But Wanda's tongue out was a big reason for the rout. It was her willpower that couldn't hold on. Simply put, just happy to be in a trance. When Su Yi saw this, he let her go. Take the way of death. Ahem. Wang Yin is really about to die in a certain sense at this time. Hatilda, after applying the hot towel to the face with the dance, Su Yi regained his energy. Then come to the kitchen to check out this burning refrigerator. Master you finally came to see me. Don't pick food Tilda. Pick me Tilda. Eat me soon Tilda. Su Yi picked out vegetables. Also sighed at the same time. Eat you, eat you if you have that function. You can transform me Tilda. I will definitely serve the master well Tilda. Forget it, your performance hasn't accumulated yet. Su Yi waved his hand, and then said after finishing the dishes, Let's make noodles today, but I want wide noodles, said this sentence. Su Yi left just before the refrigerator continued to go mad. The same is still the same sentence. Ling, I will take it down later. Okay, employ people. Wait until you get into the office. Su Yi went to the reclining chair. Then take a long breath. Going to work in the morning is physically and mentally exhausting Tilda. Even if he has a silver super template. But if you don't want to go to work, you don't really want to go to work. But if you don't work, you will want to work again. Summary. Whether a person is cheap or not has nothing to do with strength. People who should be cheap will be cheap no matter what. For example, little bitch. At the same time, in a certain depth of the universe, the Titan Star. After recapturing the fleeing Gamera, Thanos forces Gamera into a brig. Gamera came in. I saw my sister Xenian being hung up in pieces, unable to move her whole body. Only her consciousness remained. Gamera looked at Thanos in shock. What are you doing? She's your daughter too. Thanos pressed the button in Gamera's presence. Artilda. Nebula suddenly suffered the pain of tearing the soul. Failure is failure, it has nothing to do with whether she is my daughter or not. Thanos' voice was extremely cold, or no emotion at all. When he pressed the button, there was no fluctuation in his eyes. Gamera saw it. She also knows. Thanos is the executioner who can slaughter his own planet first. So what else can't he do? Daughter? Just adopted. Gamera was trembling with anger, but still calm. She looked at Thanos resentfully. What do you want to know? Thanos' hand rests on the button. Tell me the whereabouts of the other infinite gems. P.S.S.T. Gamera laughed when he heard this. You were pushed flat by the shapeshift in King Kong civilization. So you took your anger out on your daughter? Ahilda. Gamera had just finished speaking. Thanos just hit the button. Nebula suddenly let out another scream. And this time Thanos is on the button. So Nebula kept screaming. Enough. Gamera was more than angry. Thanos let go of his hand and asked Gamera again. Tell me. The whereabouts of the other infinite gems. Gamera took a deep breath. Then shook his head and said. I only know where the reality gem and the power gem are. But they've been taken away by the shapeshift in King Kong. Artilda. Gamera just finished speaking. Nebula was pressed again. Why? Gamera looked at Thanos angrily. I told you. You're telling a lie. Thanos looked at Gamera indifferently. Don't try to deceive me. It's useless. Thanos waved his hand into the air. Suddenly, a blue-skinned woman in a white robe appeared from the void. She has been invisible just now. It didn't show up until now. Gamera looked at her. Then it is immediately guessed that she is the fifth general that Thanos has been hiding. But the name Gamera does not know. But Gamera noticed that her brow was glowing. Gamera reacted immediately. You're testing my spirit. Yes. If only Supergent was reading her brain. Then Thanos doesn't even have to ask her. And now you can see if she's lying. That means Supergent is testing her mind for lies. Creatures must have mental fluctuations when they are lying. So you could also see this at a glance. You can even read your brain at a glance. And Gamera knew that she would be found out when she lied. Her pressure instantly reached the point where she was out of breath, and Thanos' last words made her even more stressed. Tell me, Gamera. Gamera clenched her fingers. I still don't want to say it. As long as she said it, Thanos could really get infinite gems. Until then, there is only disaster. And after Thanos saw Gamera was silent, he just pressed the button without letting go. Ahilda. Nebula howled again in pain. Gamera clenched her fists. I don't know what to do. And Xinian endured the pain and said intermittently, Kamora. Don't say. Nebula's words were the last straw that crushed Gamera's heart. Gamera yelled at Thanos with tears in his eyes. Enough, I tell you. Thanos let go. Then quietly looked at Gamera. Gamera wiped the corners of her eyes, 
took a few deep breaths and said, Vomistar. Thanos looked at Supergent when he heard it. After Supergent indicated that there was no problem, he tugged Gamera and said, Set off. On the other hand, Cybertron, in the core of the planet at the moment, on a huge amounts of platform, there are three infinite gems placed in one breath. They are Power Gem, Reality Gem, Space Gem. Shapeshifting King Kong has collected three infinite gems. And outside the platform, the duplication of the twin dancers and the collector are all watching from the side. At this time, said a 15 meter tall scientific research type shapeshifting King Kong descendant manipulating the instrument. Dear Elders, the energy harvester and storage are ready for experimentation. The Elders asked after hearing this. Large starport preparations. Shapeshifting King Kong transferred to starport to report. The starport that the Elders said is a supergiant portal. It is an oval portal with a height of 15,000 meters and a width of 12,000 meters. It is directly suspended and positioned in the universe, so no self-respecting worries whatsoever. However, the middle of the oval is still empty, as if waiting for the energy map to start. I saw that the starport was built. The offspring of shapeshifting King Kong will report. Everything's ready. Here everything is ready. The elders all set their eyes aside on the twin dancers who were tiny in comparison but still so elegant and calm. Definitely it is not necessary to wait for the consent of the twin dancers. Instead, wait until the twin dancers cut in. After the twin dancers recorded all these, they started to simulate the state of global video recording, and then stretched out their hands to signal. It's time to start. Start. The elder replied instantly. Immediately afterwards, the offspring of shapeshifting King Kong began to manipulate the robot to pick up a space gem. Then walk over to a spherical instrument. Then put the space gem into the stand. Finally, close the instrument again. Then the robot started the instrument in an orderly manner. Next moment, the blue light in the stand is great. It's as if a blue oversized light bulb lights up. But among those present, except for Collector turning his back, the rest of the people stand in place and watch the instrument change. The space gem is still shining super brightly. But after a while, the light seems to have faded. Then it got weaker and weaker, and weaker and weaker. Wait until the Collector is weak enough to turn back. He looked over to the instrument, then exclaimed, We succeeded. The stance has controlled the gem energy. The energy is running under pressure. The elders see here, continued to follow the plan. Open reservoir throttle. The robot stepped forward and opened it. Immediately, the energy controlled by the position began to drill into the storage. After a while, a layer of gaseous matter like smoke flows from the bottom of the reservoir, and wait for these energies to accumulate for a while. The elders ordered again. Activate starport. The shapeshifting King Kong offspring is once again manipulating robotic operations. Next moment, the stored energy goes into an instrument. Then the instrument began to transport energy to the starport. Don't look at the smoke provided by infinite gems seems to be only a little bit, but as soon as these energies reach the starport, the 15,000 meter portal immediately began to flicker. The shapeshifting King Kong offspring saw this amplify the energy input. He added slowly, the supergent portal of Xingen gradually stabilized. After a while, with a wave of huge amounts of fluctuations, it surged out from the portal. Collector clenched his fists excitedly. Successful. Yes, Supergent's ultra long distance portal is ready. With this, it is equivalent to shapeshift in King Kong. The door is opened in the middle of the universe, to know. The solar system is in the entire galaxy, just a suburb within a suburb. So if you want to mine, you have to waste the distance and time you need. But now it's different. This Supergent starport is the anchor, although once opened it cannot be easily repositioned. But shapeshifting King Kong put it near the center of the Milky Way. In other words, it was directly opened in a mining area. In this way, whether it is collection or support, it will be many times faster than before. At the moment, if you're on the edge of Cybertron, then you can see a blue behemoth suspended in space. It at the moment is exuding as your light. It looks so magical. And it's starport. It can currently teleport shapeshifting anything and buildings the King Kong civilization has. Except that the planet cannot be teleported. All other ships including transports and senators can teleport. See here. The mood of the elders is also very surging. Immediately after they voted, they ordered. Dot fleet. Danfer. Next moment, the engines of the mighty fleet started. Then they lined up in front of Xingling. One after another, the ultra-long distance leaps began directly. This jump is too fast. Wait until dozens of transport ships have entered. The elders said while looking at other gemstones. Continue to study, and the duplication of twin dancers is recorded here. Globe, North Building. Ling in the twin dancer body turned around and looked at Suyi and said, Master, the shapeshift in King Kong civilization has developed instruments and supergiant starports to absorb, store, and use the infinite energy of space gems. The terminal of the starport is erected near the center of the galaxy, and the application of other infinite gems is currently being studied. Finished. She came to Su Yi's side, then hold out your palm. Immediately afterwards, her palm started to project, speeding up all the process and details just now to Su Yi. These accelerations were requested by Su Yi. Otherwise, he couldn't spend the same amount of time watching the process. And he can see the acceleration clearly. That's all. After a long time, 
Tzu Yi finished watching the video in about a minute, after reading, Tzu Yi smiled interestingly. The research is so fast, and the portal has been built. Then the scope of activities of the shapeshift in King Kong civilization has directly expanded to the entire Milky Way, and expanded to the entire galaxy. It means that shapeshift in King Kong can get in no matter what happens in the Milky Way. Ox nosed, it's getting more and more hanging. Tzu Yi nodded, it seems that the little guy should be thrown over to Hone earlier. Cosmic Godzilla. Here we come. Until noon. With the sound of the elevator outside, then there was a knock on his door. Button tilde. Enter. Next moment, a young girl with silver gray hair, still wearing tea colored sunglasses, and sleeping purple stars walked in. Today is different from yesterday. Today's Tunmai is wearing slacks, a polo lining, and brown, Wang Zhao, sunglasses, which looks very much like a tourist in New York. So you looked at her and raised his head to signal. Hala is up there. I don't know if she is awake. You go call her. The authority is given to you. Then what dot 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 cough cough. Hala is not in a hurry. Tanmai coughed twice, then took her off her sunglasses and said, I researched you give me lollipop energy last night and came up with a whim solution to my hunger. Oh? So Yi felt very interesting when he heard this. You say. Tanmai took out her phone. Then there are various formulas, energy conversion, and other miscellaneous things written in it. So Yi understood at a glance. You want to try the power of creation. Is it possible to create a ratio of 1 to 1 dot x to the energy of life that can be devoured? After Su Yi said it, Tan Mai stared at her purple star pupils. You understand it at a glance? Then react immediately. That's right. You might be stronger than my father. Remove maybe. How embarrassing if you can't beat Galactus. In the Marvel Universe, what Galactus are you qualified to publish a solo comic? You can only appear in other people's cartoons. Keek. Just kidding, back to reality. So you looked back at Tanmai's phone and smiled. You have a bold idea. She is indeed a Tanmai who dares to hold a Marvel lighter, which is the ultimate eraser, and wants to clear the worms in her stomach. What she did at that time frightened her father. Because of this kind of operation, Tanmai is almost certain to die. So Galactus was forced to tell the truth. Ha ha Tanmai scratched her head in embarrassment. She also felt bold. But her thoughts are all kinds of strange. But Su Yi shook his head and denied it. Forget about it. The output value of one is less than the harvest value of one, which can be achieved, but other substances are consumed in the process. But if I want to create a value of one less than the harvest value of one, I can do it, but the balance of the universe will be destroyed. In other words, the universe will collapse. Commonly known as playing the universe badly. 138. Tanmai renews lollipop. Visit Tony's house. Yes, you heard that right. So ye can do what Tanmai wants. That is, a little creative force creates 1.5 things. He can modify it like this. But just like the three bodies and the law of conservation of energy, it's okay to do this. The amount is not large. But just a little more and the universe will collapse. And this crash time is determined according to the amount you create. Remember Stephen's crossing in Doctor Strange 2? His arrival and use of magic alone caused the two worlds to slowly integrate and collapse. It's slow. But that's why Sorcerer Supreme is weak, and Su Yi is multi-universe level. His creative power is multi-level. A single universe simply cannot withstand such destruction. Once he modifies it, it will definitely collapse. Unless it is maintained, it is time-consuming and laborious. So don't say it can't be done. It is impossible to try. It's so scary. Hearing the consequences of doing this, Tan Mai felt a little ashamed. I still want to try. Okay, try and die. Su Yi smiled helplessly. She knows Tan Mai's character. She has many brains, many ideas. She is smart and likes to try. It's kind of like Gwen's character. So he suggested, you can learn from the gods. The birth of their new celestial group requires nearly 100,000 trillion biological energy. And you can try to use your own technology and energy to gradually transform and cultivate a planet with life potential. Then when it's ripe, you swallow it in one gulp. In this way, the energy cycle is the same as the Damshan group. The matter is conserved, and self-sufficient. Yes. That's what the Tengen group does. It creates and destroys, and so on in an infinite loop. Is the Tengen group doing this? Tanmai was very surprised after hearing the operation of the Damshan group. So Yi nodded. You can ask your father for details. He has greeted the Damshan team. There must be information. At that time, you can transform other planets, or use the moon as an experiment. Tanmai nodded immediately when she heard it. Good. Since this thing doesn't work, Natan's sister will also study other methods. But, ahem, Tanmai suddenly said a little embarrassed. My candy is almost finished. Tanmai leaned forward, raised a finger and asked, Can I continue? After she finished speaking, she was still afraid that Su Yi would not believe her. So he opened his mouth to show Su Yi, with red lips lightly parted, so he could see Tanmai's teeth, tongue, throat, and the last point of Phoenix Force on the picture. Can I learn? Seeing this, Su Yi couldn't help laughing. Okay, okay, 
I'll give you another refill. So Yi flicked his finger. An energy ball with the same file size as the lollipop flew into Tanmai's mouth. Matilda. Tanmai closed her mouth immediately after feeling it, as if afraid that it would run away. Then he closed his mouth happily and said happily. It's so fragrant. Although it doesn't have the fragrance inhaler's stomach, it is the best energy I have ever eaten for the time being. So Yi, number. You eat this. Can you compare the smell inhaler's belly? Then you are a real cow. Finished with refills. So Yi waved his hand and said, Haler is probably playing games on it. Go find her. Tanmai opened the door of the equipment and left while chewing on the lollipop. Sunglasses. Oh, oh, oh. So you reminded. Tanmai came back immediately and put on her sunglasses before leaving. Wait until Tanmai leaves. So Yi was also thinking. Is it only you who have energy? Are there no other multi-universe levels or other levels? Only you have it? No one else? That's too weird. What causes this? There has to be a reason for this, right? You can't say that your testicles are different from your kidneys, can you? So Yi put his arms around his arms thinking and thinking. He looked at the twin dancers. You scan my body to see if the organs are different from normal people. The dancer shook her head. Master, our scanning function cannot penetrate your body. Your life is so powerful that technology can no longer reach this level. Well, he forgot. Tanmai from level single universe can't even watch it. The twin dancers will definitely not be able to watch it either. So what is the reason? So Yi thought about it carefully. Sudden, he had an epiphany. Could it be affected by the rewards I received for checking in? So Yi looked at his previous check-in rewards. Ricochet, Comics, anime, weapons, eating and drinking, playing, ability, using, quang dine aging, jumping candy, etc., etc. Quang dine aging? This thing is not difficult, so Su Yi learned it at a glance that day. Now he took it out and looked at it again. This turned out to be a two day exercise. If he can inhale, she can inhale. Ah, inhale the essence. So it wasn't just Hala that was effective at the time? But Wanda and Gwen have it too. Pinch numb. It turns out that the effect comes from here. I said why is my thing useful? BDCG. It turned out to be a two day exercise. And Su Yi is so powerful. So he didn't feel much when he used it. He is using it all the time. But it never felt better. But others have. However. The improvement of Wanda and Gwen is not obvious. And the perception of Hala's divine power is obvious. The feeling of swallowing sister is also more obvious. So it caused the reasons for the lack of clarity and doubts before. Gan. Now I understand. Then learn it all. So you looked at the Yellow Emperor's internal classic in his hand, then threw it into the system and said helplessly, Forget it, that's it, learn everything. Isn't it the nutrition of the milkshake? Take it as a good deed. Well, that's right. After figuring things out, Wu Tilda, so Yi stretched himself. It was two or three o'clock in the afternoon again. This whole day of small pen class is finally coming to an end. Do beep Tilda. Then the phone call came. So Yi picked it up and took a look. It was Tony calling. Line connected. Hello. I've finished your gravity chamber. When will you come to pick it up? Forehead. So Yi suddenly remembered. It turns out that there is still such a thing. But Gwen doesn't seem to need it anymore. If she slaughtered the gods, would there still be problems with exercise? From now on. She just catches the villains and slaughters them. But let others help. Just treat it as useful. Aren't you going to use it? Tony frowned on the phone. How can it be useful? Gwen doesn't need it, but it can also be used. Then when will you come to pick it up? This is a big guy. Tony smiled at the other end. I don't include delivery. How about coming to my house for dinner? Hear Tony's invitation. So ye thought about it. Gwen seems to have it today. And Wanda has time almost any time. That's fine, no problem. Yes, so ye agreed. I will take Scarlet Witch and Miss Spider the that night. Two? Cool brother. Tony immediately exclaimed when he heard that it was two. I've never found two people who love me at the same time. I still need you. I'm not. I don't. Suyi immediately retorted. Don't talk nonsense. Okay, I understand Tony chuckled. To be honest, this is still a symbol of ability. But the love of the rest of my life is for the hurt pepper, you know. I understand. Suyi nodded. Between men, understand and understand. Nodding to each other, they should understand everything. A real man. Give her love, bad man, give her scum. So now Tony is a real man, responsible. Cough cough so ye too. That's fine, let's not talk about it. If you come at night, I will go to prepare vegetables with pepper first, and we will grow many of them by ourselves. After Tony finished speaking, he remembered something again. By the way, what time do you guys come, and I'll see what's prepared. So ye thought about it, about 5.30 to 6 o'clock. Eat something, save the dishes, and let Wanda and Pepper cook together. Tony is not hypocritical. He will do what he says, he said ill secretly and humorously. Then shall we go out and play something else? Ahem, we're discussing business, understand? Yes, let's discuss business. Then hang up, wait for get off work. Okay, after hanging up the phone, Su Yi was opening the address book to send a message to Gwen. Su Yi, come to me before 5.30, I will take you to Wangda and Tony's for dinner. After a few seconds, Gwen, Tony's house, didn't he announce that he's living in seclusion? 
Oh I know. Let's go to where he lives in seclusion, shall we? I'll go. So ye? Yes, then you can come later. I'm going to call Wanda. Then Su Yi asked Ling to inform Wanda. Unexpectedly, Wanda opened the door and asked after knowing. Wanda, isn't your name Hala? She's playing games with Nata. Don't call. Let her play with the baby after Tony has a baby. Wanda, wait. Stark has a kid? Come on. It's been a few years. Wanda, then I lied Pepper's phone number. I'm going to see the child if it's okay. Anything is fine. 17. The portal closes. Wait until 5 p.m. So Yi appeared on time and locked the door. After the mind checks in, he looked at the dancer and said, You can move freely. The dancer nodded, and then gracefully went upstairs with her hands behind her back. Ding tilde. Then the elevator doors opened. Wen has jumped out of it and said happily, Success. Su Naiu for sure. The curfew is gone, and I can move out. So Yi smiled. Free? Free spicy tilde. Wen jumped on Su Yi happily. For a middle school student. The moment of freedom begins in college. Anyone who has been to school will know and look forward to this moment. This can't wait to be free and grow up. It will give you hope for the future. Can't wait to grow big. So Yi dragged Gwen's upturned tuft with both hands, then patted and laughed. Isn't it that I'm going to your house for dinner again in a few days? Definitely. Gwen picked up Su Yi's face and scented it several times. Mua tilde exclamation mark Mua tilde exclamation mark Mua tilde. I have had a tentative chat these days, and my mother and George both want to see a doctor. Okay. Then I'll go after my weekend break. Great Tilda. Gwen couldn't be happier. He slapped Su Yi a few more times. At this moment, Wanda just opened the portal and came down. She saw Gwen clinging to Su Yi's body. So she raised her hand. After Su Yi found out, he let go of his hand to get out of the way. Wanda slapped him again. Crack Tilda. Ah Tilda. Gwen was taken aback. Quickly jumped off Su Yi's body and covered Tana. It turned out that it was Wanda who hit him. Okay you. Gwen went over to take the picture right away. What she focuses on is not to suffer. How could Wanda be willing? She immediately hid beside Su Yi. Gwen he grabs a few times and Wanda dodges. Wanda, if you don't let me call back, I will bully you at other times. It seems that Wanda can't be caught up. Gwen spoke harshly. Wanda knew exactly what time it was when she heard it. But how can you be weak at this time? Then you try? I have a way to last longer. Huh. Try it then. Crack Tilda. Crack Tilda. Seeing that the two of them still have to turn to each other. Su Yi grabbed the two of them and slapped each of them. This slap is a bit painful. Ah Tilda. Hiss Tilda. This is just great. Gwen now covers the two fields with both hands. Wanda cried out in pain. Okay. Stop playing. Su Yi clapped his hands and said. We're going to Tony's. I agreed that you and Pepper will cook together when the time comes. So remember. Ahem. Do you want to make something more delicious than others? Although I am so good. But my main thing is comparison. Hey Tilda. The food my woman cooks for me is better than yours Tilda. Hey Tilda. Ha ha ha. Gwen didn't understand at first. But after seeing Wanda Ming Wu's eyes. Gwen he got it too. Comparing. Do not worry. Gwen patted her chest tremblingly and said. Be sure to take it. Wanda also gave Gwen an okay gesture. It was an accident just now. We sincerely cooperate now. Take the victory between women and women. After watching the two women get ready. Su Yi raised his hand and snapped his fingers. Next moment. Three hours. Then appear outside Tony's reclusive home. Gwen looked around at the scenery. Isn't this our low profile version of the small universe? SHH Tilda Su Yi immediately held Gwen's mouth. Ahem, don't tell the truth, and don't compare yourself. Wanda couldn't help smiling when she heard that. I still want to compare myself at home. He is a gentleman on the outside. Then, Su Yi led the two girls towards Tony's house. When the three approached, Friday had already reminded Tony of the visitor. So Tony came out sideways with some logs. Then he raised a log in his hand to say hello. Hi, it's so early. I'm still preparing materials. Su Yi looked at the wood in his hand. What can you cook with wood? Tony smelled the wood. Then walked over and handed one to Su Yi and said, This is a log of fruit wood, and a steak at night will have a fruity aroma. Su Yi took the wood and smelled it. It really is. He skimmed off a sniffing gap, and handed it to Wanda and Gwen. Ask Tony again. Apple wood? Yes. Tony raised his eyebrows. It's very fragrant, and I cut the wood myself, and it has been stored for a long time. Good. Su Yi nodded, then turned his head and said to the two women, Our family also grows a piece of it and it will be used for barbecue when the time comes. Gwen nodded. Now that we know that the log barbecue of fruit wood has this effect, Nagwin and Wanda have no reason not to plant. But Tony didn't understand it. Can you plant a piece in your house? This is an apple tree. Planting a piece is at least calculated by Mew. Sure. So Yi smiled and joked. It's not that I don't know the mayor of New York. Just ask him to flatten a piece of Central Park and plant it for me. Tony curled his mouth when he heard it. Fried. Again pretended in front of me. Eleven. But Tony didn't really doubt it because Su Yi could do what he wanted, but he was just joking. Next, Tony took the fruit tree and put it at the door of the house. Then he brought Su Yi and the others into the room and said, Pepper, come out and get acquainted, and his mates are here. Remember, yes. Dot. 139. Inspired by Trans Armor, Barbecue Stall Owner Tony, 
With Tony's call, Pepper also came out of the kitchen. She's wearing a scarf and looks like she's already cooking dinner. Did you make dinner? Tony asked. No. Pepper wiped his hands on the scarf. I'm doing the dishes. Okay. Tony clapped his hands and introduced. This is Sue, the best psychiatrist in Mimi. This is Wanda Maximoff. You can also call her Scarlet Witch, who used to be a member of Avengers Tilda. This is Gwen Stacy. You can also call her Miss Spider, the hidden superhero in the city. Tony gave a brief introduction to everyone with humorous words. But it does not matter, because Pepper knows them all. She looked at Suyi and the others in surprise. Especially Wanda and Gwen who are both women. Both are superheroes. And the same man. I buy Karma Tilda. Pepper was astonished. She hurried forward to introduce herself. Hello, I'm Pepper Potts. Tony's partner. After Pepper introduces himself, Wanda and Gwen also stepped forward to introduce themselves. But Wanda finally laughed. Stop thinking of me as a superhero, now I'm a housewife like you. Really? Pepper was even more surprised now. This is too amazing. Superhero is willing to be a housewife. Is this answer more explosive than the others? So what is the reason? And what did you decide for? But that's not all. Gwen added at the end. I'm going to be a housewife too but I still have to go to university and have a part-time job fighting urban crime and stuff. When Gwen said this sentence, as soon as Su Yi's mouth twitched, he knew he was going to suffer, as expected. Going to college? Pepper was taken aback. Then you are not a middle school student now? Definitely. Gwen nodded, but the beginning of school is university. Pepper looked up at Su Yi. In those eyes, he felt that Su Yi was very powerful, and at the same time he felt that Su Yi was very powerful. Tony also turned his head to look at Su Yi, then nodded the kind of nod that expresses your strength. Su Yi, he really wanted to say it. Is it possible? How much older is he than Gwen? She's about the same age as Wanda. Gwen is at most five years older? That's not too bad. It's just that middle school students do sound dot 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 truthless. Then your academic performance is really good. Pepper nodded appreciatively. Compared with herself, Gwen is indeed much better than her and she has done a lot more. Now she is almost overwhelmed with just telecommuting. This is something that was dealt with again on Friday, that's all. The three girls chatted quickly. Tony turned around decisively when he saw it. Let's go, give them the kitchen, and let you see one. A woman can't stop talking. Su Yi nodded in agreement. Let's go. So Tony took Su Yi to his basement. The two came to the study first. Tony clapped his hands first. Crack tilde. Then the right angle link surface at the corner is opened up and down together. Then the dark room full of technological style came out. Outside is a wooden study. Inside is a technology lab. How to say. Very right. Aren't you surprised? Tony was a little unsure. What's unexpected? So he shook his head and said definitely. Isn't that what tech nerds should be like? Tech house. Skilled people engage in technology. Engage in scientific research and be a good at various technologies. Build an esports room without technology. Then aesthetic style or RGB light pollution. Right? All right. Tony sighed helplessly. Then he brought Su Yi into the scientific research laboratory. Su Yi came in. I saw several steel battle suits walking around. Some battle suits also deliberately wear the white coats of scientific researchers. It looks so wrong. These steel battle suits are really doing research for Tony. Tony also explained at this time. In the beginning, I did all the research by myself, and I could even stay up for two days and two nights. But that was when I was young, and now I'm old. So I let them do the decoration, simulation, cleaning, and inspection, and now I am much more relaxed. Hear this sentence, Su Yi said seriously to Tony. Then you finally understand the ultimate meaning of technology. Question mark Tony was stunned. What is it? It's lazy. Tony opened his mouth to try to refute and at the same time show off his knowledge. But he thought about it for a long time. Then he clapped his hands and nodded. Well, you're right. Let's go. I'll take you to see the gravity room. I can see it. Tony is really convinced. Then the two came to the gravity room. This gravity chamber looks fine. The space inside is not small. There is a touch screen outside the door. Tony introduced from the side. Don't look at the small inside but actually use bigger equipment to increase the million. It can not only simulate zero gravity in space, but also simulate dozens of times the Earth's gravity on a huge planet. But it can only be dozens of times smaller, and the tolerance of a larger instrument will not be able to support it. Su Yi nodded after looking at it. He knows that it is very simple to reduce gravity, just pump out the air, or find a way to escape the gravity of the Earth. But adding gravity is hard. The gravitational force of the universe is generated by its own weight. So if you want to increase it out of thin air, you have to rely on equipment and huge amounts of energy to drive it. So among the people on Earth, only Tony can do it. Nice. Su Yi walked in, hung the special gate, and stretched out his hand to pull it 30 times to try the feeling. The instrument starts to get heavier. Hello. Su, Tony was startled when he saw it, and he wanted to stop it immediately. 30 times the gravity is no joke. And suddenly 30 times. Normal people will faint when suddenly encountering 3.5 times the pressure. A trained F1 racer can stick to about 5 times. And fighter pilots can stick to 7 times. Only astronauts can stick to 9 times. But that's all slowly getting used to. Tony's steel battle suit will also have a G value of 12-13 times when making a sudden sharp turn. 
which is also gravity. But he was able to push through like this because of the pressurization and decompression system in the armor. This is why he has been exercising all the time. And Su Yi directly filled it up by 30 times. Tony wanted to stop it. But the device he designed starts up very quickly. In a short period of time, the gravity inside is rapidly increasing. Su Yi waved his hand to keep him from worrying. And Tony looked at Su Yi Feng's calm look, and thought it was because the instrument hadn't started. But he looked back. My special hair. Current gravity. X15 plus X16 dot 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 X17. The gravity inside was rapidly increasing as Tony watched. He immediately looked back at Su Yi. Su Yi had already turned around and took a walk inside. Um, is one of the display and effector broken? Tony stepped aside, looked at the monitor inside. X20 dot 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 X21. Not bad. That is to say, Su Yi has no pressure on this gravity. Nest. Soon, under Tony's gaze, gravity has hit instrument peak. That is 30 times. Su Yi saw the top. He picked and picked in place, as expected. Although it seems that there is no change. There is indeed a force that seems to be pressing down on his whole body. That's why you jump higher on a planet with low gravity. You can't jump on a planet with high gravity. If the Olympic Games are held on two planets, and the gravity of the two planets is not the same, you will definitely have two respective criteria. The world's first long jump of 8 meters, and the number one in the world may be 15 meters. This is also normal. After Su Yi wandered around inside, he reached out and closed the gravity chamber. Immediately afterwards, the instrument slowly stopped. Gravity also slowly dropped from 30 to 1. That's normal. Kai Tilda, with the gates open, Su Yi walked out from inside without any fuss, and Tony walked around Su Yi twice with wide-eyed eyes and asked, You have abilities too? When did I say I didn't? Hiss. Tony took a breath. I saw your shapeshift in King Kong, and thought you were also a tech nerd. Tony sighed. This day has not been posted. It's all about ability strengthening. Are there so few people playing technology? Actually not. Many bigwigs at Marvel are tech savvy. But technology is only part of the story, ability is the main means. How is it? Tony tilted his head towards the gravity chamber and asked, It's not bad, but how do you move it? Simple. So Yi took a look, because the gravity chamber is added later. So Tony used a modular design. That is, it is separate from his laboratory. Then Su Yi snapped his fingers. Crack. Next moment, the gravity chamber shrinks. Then it turned into a figure file size and flew into Su Yi's hands. Then Su Yi lost it. Just throw the reduced gravity chamber into the space. Tony stared. FK. He scratched his head immediately, and said with a collapsed worldview. I can't live through this day. Your magic, aren't you? I'm going to learn magic. I'm going to combine mechanics and magic. After watching Su Yi's operation again, Tony's sad one. Just like the scientists in the Trisolarans whose technology was blocked by softens. Definitely, Su Yi didn't use magic, but ability. Magic is a kind of ability, and ability is ability originally. It's not the same. But don't tell me, there is a saying about magic plus machinery. Tony only has anti-hulk armor in the movie. But in the comics, there are all kinds of awesome anti this anti that armor. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Even the anti-god armor. That. The code name of the armor set is, God Killer MK2. There are even symbiont armor, Prometheus armor, true infinite gems armor, and so on. That is the real human body, comparable to gods. What is the use of light play technology? It takes technology plus mutation to come together. Can you do it in the United States without stacking buffs? The ending in the movie is more about willpower plus personal dedication plus heroism. But this is not ability. So Su Yi patted Tony on the shoulder and said, It doesn't hurt to learn more. You lit up the technology tree of iron armor. Then you should learn various abilities to perfect the iron armor. Haven't you ever developed anti-hulk armor? Then why stop learning some magic and get an anti-magician armor? Tony thought about it. And in the process his eyes grew brighter. This seems to be really possible. Tony began to think excitedly and rigorously. Anti-magic armor, anti-thor armor, anti-all kinds of armor. As long as I go to learn. I will join when the time comes. That's right. Join if you can't beat it. You play and I play too. How fun is this? After pondering for a long time, Tony raised his head, nodded seriously to Su Yi and said, Su, thank you for your guidance. Otherwise I haven't thought of this aspect. Many scientists who have reached a dead end just did not expect that there is another way. Sometimes it's a flash of light. On the contrary, it is the most critical step. Like Tony saving his life by discovering the treasure his dad left him. Definitely. This is actually something that Tony will find out sooner or later. Dot 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 zero. It's just that Su Yi let him know in advance. Isn't that what it means to live in seclusion? If it wasn't for Su Yi's influence, Tony wouldn't have retired so soon. So Su Yi waved his hand and said, It doesn't matter, I'm just talking casually. This will be your reward for helping me build the gravity chamber. Let's go. Let's go up to the barbecue and try the effect of the fruit wood roast. Tony clapped his hands and followed Su Yi. Then I still make money. Your idea is enough for me to go on for the rest of my life. Is it that exaggerated? Definitely. The two went back outside. Then the two went first to lift the big grill over. Carry it into Tony's yard. So you looked at the lawn and lake in front of Tony's door. Such a good location. Why don't you raise two dogs? 
How fun, Tony thought about it and nodded in agreement. That's right, how about I buy two blue bay sheepdogs another day? Do you want it? You want me to buy two more? So Yi waved his hand, forget it, I can't keep a dog for the time being. Blue bay sheepdog. This is a shepherd dog that has just been bred, because he looks like a wolf, and he is very loyal and obedient with a good temper. So now there is a gold of hundreds of thousands of meters. After moving the grill, the two went to the timber room to get wood. As a result, so Yi came to take a look. Nima, all the trunks are thick as thighs, there are no short ones, and there are no thin ones. Su Yi immediately looked at Tony, who was a little guilty. So, you suggested the barbecue because you wanted someone to chop wood for you, right? Cough, cough, cough. Tony felt guilty all of a sudden, and he pursed his lips, but the meat I buy is very good, and it's all USA Prime plus beef. After finishing speaking, Tony nodded vigorously and said, Really, if you don't believe me, I'll take you to see it and it's standing still now. Yuzad Pram is the highest level of the United States beef grades. That is excellent grade, Tony said bring a plus. It is likely to be a batch of top beef cattle that the farm specially feeds for rich people and political executives. So look on the part of Prime plus. So Yi nodded, rolled up his sleeves and said, okay, let's hack together today. Compare at the same time, time it for half an hour, whoever chops less will go to barbecue today. Tony nodded, no problem. So the two began to move the whole fruit tree to the yard. But in fact, there are only a few thick ones per person. Barbecues don't use much fruit wood. Then Tony called the steel battle suit to get two alloy axes and wooden pads. Two people one by one, and then divide the wood. During the period, Tony also made gestures. I deliberately picked fruit trees that would be easy to cut in advance as a result of mental calculations. And Su Yi didn't care, because today's barbecue stall owner Tony is a must. When ready, Tony and Su Yi took off their coats together, leaving only a t-shirt. Then Tony looked at the smart steel armor and said, Mark, time 30 minutes. The countdown begins. 27. After Mark heard the command, he started counting down. 3.2.1. Chop tilde. PSST. Almost instantly, Tony picked up the alloy axe and slashed at the fruit tree. Tony has been in the gym anyway, so he chopped down nearly half of the trunk in one fell swoop. But he heard the feedback from Su Yi's voice was wrong. Tony turned to look. Boil. Su Yi stacked up several fruit trees, and chopped down three black wood trunks with one axe. 140. Luxurious barbecue feast. Arisham from the Celestial Group is here. When Tony saw Su Yi strike three times with one axe, he knew it was over. But Tony has a heart that refuses to admit defeat and never gives up. So he quickly picked up the alloy axe and continued to chop wood. But Su Yi cut three at once. Not that he can only cut three. The blade of an alloy axe can only cut three. He also doesn't use ability. It was cut with a little physical fitness. Although this physical fitness is terrifying. After the three women in the kitchen heard the sound of chopping firewood, he came out curiously to have a look. In the end, I saw Su Yi and Tony chopping wood. Chop tilde, PSST. Tony took an average of two three strokes to chop a piece of wood. But Su Yi cut three pieces with one axe. Wait until after Tony has chopped two logs. Su Yi has already erected the wood to prepare for the final vertical split. Under the gaze of the three women, both have muscles holding up the t-shirts. Especially the muscles under the short sleeves. This makes it even more masculine. Just. Pepper looked at Su Yi's perfect muscles and Tony's normal muscles and laughed. Tony. You've already lost your body display. What? Tony straightened up and wiped his sweat, just in time to take a break. Hear Pepper's words. He turned his head to look at Su Yi's upper body. When Su Yi swung the alloy axe, you can see that the muscles on Su Yi's body bulged slightly, and then just bulged out the t-shirt. You can also roughly see the shape of the muscles on the body from the outline above, especially when the hands are stretched upwards. T-shirts will be slightly lifted. Then you can see a section of abdominal muscles and side muscles of Su Yi's waist. Tony hadn't been able to see this. He didn't care either. But Pepper insisted on mentioning it. Then Tony took a look. Compare yourself again. Vomit Tilda. Well, Tony sighed sadly. He looked at 340 to see the wood Su Yi cut. It's only a few minutes. Su Yi is almost PSST PSST finished chopping the three logs. Wait until this moment when Tony rests. PSST. With the last piece of wood split vertically. Chop Tilda. The alloy axe also happened to have the tip of the axe stuck on the stake. So Yi clapped his hands. Papa. Then he looked at Tony who was still breathing slightly during the intermission and said, I'm done, you grill today's meat. Tony turned his head, found that Pepper was still laughing. He sighed helplessly. You are amazing. Well known. When your friend utters the phrase you're great, that's when he loses. And this is the highest praise. Saying you are awesome is not necessarily a compliment. But if you say you are great. He must be convinced. Tony's last log is endless, and the wood that Su Yi cut was enough to be baked several times. So the game ended prematurely, and Su Yi won completely. Tony had to go back and move out a table, then take out the prime plus bullheads mentioned earlier one by one. But when Tony really took out the beef, Su Yi stepped forward to take a look, also nodded with satisfaction. Good. Tony raised his eyebrows when he heard it, meaning it was a good product. Su Yi pressed the beef with his hand, according to the proportion of fat and meat content, as well as the color and quality of meat. 
These meats are really good meat that money can't buy. During Tony's preparation, Wanda and Pepper went back to making dinner. Wanda winked at Suyi before leaving. Well done. And Gwen came over to look at the beef and said, It's rare for me to see meat of this quality at George's banquet, so should I just roast it? Otherwise, Suyi smiled, This is meat for frying or roasting. Gwen thought about it. She knew it too but it just felt a little weird. Mainly the meat is so good. Generally a little reluctant. Immediately afterwards, Tony has brought in other parts of meat, knives and forks, seasonings and other things. So ye saw someone holding a flamethrower. So I took it and prepared to use it. Tony had just put the chopped fruit wood into the grill, and when he saw it, he stretched out his hand and said, Light the fire first, these logs need to be roasted for a while. So ye didn't say anything. He rang directly. Crack. Coax Tilda. Immediately. The wood in the grill in front of Tony started to burn evenly. Tony froze. He sighed again and closed the wire tray to prepare the barbecue. This day really hasn't happened. I really have to learn magic. The wood ignites with a snap of the fingers. It looks so flammable. Anyway, Bibo burns. After snapping your fingers, so ye first picked up the kitchen knife, and then took a piece of sirloin beef and began to cut it. This sirloin is a thick cut of beef. The thickness reaches 3 to 5 centimeters. If it is done normally, this piece of meat can only be fried, because if the fire is too high, the meat will definitely be useless. But so ye swipe the kitchen knife, divide the thick cut into two halves, then collectively chopped into small pieces of meat 1.5 to 2 centimeters thick. Tony said helplessly when he saw it, you are so extravagant, use the best part of the meat as a piece of meat. So ye put the knife back indifferently. Anyway, you have to eat and the flowers you make are delicious. And Gwen watched Su Yi's operations curiously from the sidelines. After Su Yi cuts up the whole piece of beef, there is a small pile of snowflake beef cubes on the table. Looks full of appetite. Immediately afterwards, Su Yi brought over a basin. Yes, it's a pot. Then he poured a little olive oil in it, sprinkled a little black pepper, and a little other condiments. Yes, it's all a little bit. Too much will not work. Too much will affect the taste of beef. Wait until the dressing is sprinkled. So ye directly put all the beef cubes in. Then start grabbing. Wait until the surface of the beef is covered with oil. So ye brought another baking tray. Then spread the beef cubes on top. Wipe your hands at the end. Pick up the handheld flamethrower. Spray. Coax tilde. So ye drove directly to the fire. Touching the musket immediately spurted flames. Then so ye started spraying and grilling the surface of the flattened beef cubes back and forth. The sliced beef was very thin, so Yi only sprayed for a few minutes, then turn off the flamethrower. After finding a cover and covering it, he said, Okay, let it sit for a minute and you're ready to eat, huh? Gwen was starving now, why did you wait for three minutes? Because we have to wait for the reaction of the meat quality and the center to be half cooked by the residual heat, so Yi explained. Oh Tilda Gwen understood, three minutes later, so Yi opened the lid, immediately, the grilled meat that reached the peak of vision and taste came out. Gwen couldn't help swallowing. This looks too gluttonous. She hurried to pick up the fork. Then he handed one to Suyi, and took another one and quickly forked a piece of meat to taste it. The moment the grilled meat is imported, Gwen stared like a fawn. She quickly ate it and said to Suyi, Eat quickly, Su, it's really delicious. Hearing this, Suyi also picked up a piece and put it in his mouth, as expected. The moment you eat it, Suyi knows whether a dish is good or not. Apart from having a lot to do with the chef, it also has a lot to do with the ingredients originally, like these prime plus roasts from Tony. Even if you cook boiled beef and dip it in some oil or soy sauce, it will be delicious. And now with the addition of Su Yi's craftsmanship, that would be even more delicious. Tony looked at the two eating happily, and he was eager to have two, but Pepper wasn't there. He could only let go and run over to grab two pieces and put them in his mouth and then ran back to continue grilling. His dot 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 um dot 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 wow, Tony got burned first. Then it tastes delicious again. Swallowing it feels so delicious at the end. At the same time, he was still screaming and roasting the meat in his hand. Really dedicated. Here Tony screaming. Pepper and Wanda also came out with dinner one after another. Pepper asked as he put the dinner away. Tony, what the hell are you screaming about? Tony looked at the barbecue. You'll know it once you taste Sue's grilled meat. After putting the dishes, Pepper and Wanda come to the barbecue together, then fork a piece and taste it, as expected. The two also praised the delicious food. Hurry up and eat. So Yi continued to fork up pieces of meat to eat. You can't eat the roast meat when it's cold. So Yi said so. Gwen, Wanda, and Pepper quickly ate with him. Tony looked anxious immediately. Little Pepper, hurry up and dazzle me with it. It's okay Tony. So Yi reassured Tony. There will be a few dollars left for you on the plate. Your identity today is the owner of the barbecue stall. Ha ha ha. Tony. Fuck. He called Su Yi Lai today. That must be a mentally wrong decision. But in the future it was a turning point decision. Wait until Tony Tony's finished cooking a big roast. He sweated and put the barbecue on everyone's table. Then pick up the clothes. He wiped his sweat with one hand and quickly put the barbecue piece into his mouth with the other. Is it delicious? So Yi took Tony's barbecue and ate it. It turned out to taste pretty good. Delicious. Tony nodded honestly. If it's delicious. Eat more, question mark.
Tony thought about it, and there was nothing wrong. So go ahead and eat it. Dinner is ready Tilda. Finally, under Pepper's toast. Everyone held wine glasses and clinked glasses in the darkening sunset. Cheers Tilda. Everyone toasted and clinked their glasses, and then drank it all in one gulp. Pepper looked at Gwen after finishing her drink. She was also afraid that Gwen could drink. As a result, Gwen finished drinking at the same time as her. Joke. She's already used to getting a little drunk in Su Yi's place. Okay? Before the exam period, she would come to Su Yi's house every three to five nights to be happy. No, to practice drinking. So drinking a little bit is no impression on Gwen at all. Definitely. In front of loved ones, you will get drunk if you drink plain water. We don't know what's going on. That's all. Everyone from Su Yi arrived at 5.15. And now I have dinner around 6 o'clock. It was 5 o'clock and the sun had not yet set. Sunset is just beginning now. So everyone is accompanied by the sunset eating meat and drinking together. Happy ruthless Tilda. Tony was tired all day. He stuffed his mouth when he ate meat. Then he still held the wine glass and wanted to clink glasses with Su Yi. Swallow what's in your mouth first, Su Yi said. Tony chewed quickly and swallowed, but choked. He hastily clinked glasses with Su Yi. Then he drank a bottle of whiskey worth at least tens of thousands of meters of gold. Who Tilda finally let out a long breath. Nearly choked to death. You are still the best. Su Yi took a sip helplessly. Wanda is chatting with Pepper. Women chatting wildly. Almost all countries are like this. In fact, men are similar. But men talk about politics, technology, and then relations between countries and weapons and cannons and so on. In fact, it is almost the same. After chatting and chatting, Tony suddenly remembered something and asked Su Yi. Some time ago, my satellite detected several high energy fluctuations on the Earth, but most of them are in the sea, you know. Nautical mile? Su Yi thought about it. Could it be Godzilla? Su Yi used Phoenix Force to directly perceive the previous events. After confirming that Tony was talking about Godzilla, he nodded and said, I know, it's okay small problem. It is nothing more than that the energy fluctuations are too large when Godzilla exhales several times. Also, when Gwen absorbs it, the energy fluctuates greatly. That's all, no more. That's fine. Hearing that nothing happened, Tony was also relieved. Although he lives in seclusion now, he still cares about the affairs of the Earth. After all, it is their own home. No matter what Tony does, he has a strong sense of responsibility. The discovery missile from Iron Man 1 is the start of a home, to the changes made for Pepper and so on, and rushing into space with a nuclear bomb. You said he completely gave up on the crisis outside the world? That is impossible. Then it wouldn't be Tony Stark. Otherwise, Marvel would not have his thick strokes. That's all. The evening sun shone on the table and the five of them. The clouds in the sky were dyed red by the sunset. But suddenly, so you looked at Hong Yun with a premonition. Others thought it was the red clouds in the setting sun, which was too good. So we all watched together. It's beautiful. Pepper admired. But the next moment, all clouds are pushed back. It seems that there is a giant slashing in the middle. Then all the clouds and sky split into two, scattered to the left and right at the same time. For a moment, the clouds that were originally full of red clouds disappeared. But a huge head appeared outside the earth. It is six huge red eyes. It looks like the six cylinders in Mahjong Kof Kof Kof. Mark. As soon as Tony saw this, he immediately shouted the name of the battle armor. Then the lawn around the house suddenly opened up and then many battle armors flew out together. 1.0 What is this? Pepper also asked with a little fear. A head bigger than the earth. Who wouldn't be afraid of this normal person? At present, only Gwen and Wanda have seen the big world with Su Yi. So don't panic at all, Su Yi explained lightly. The judge of the celestial group, Alan, at this time, so just finished. The eyes of the Damshan group lit up slightly. Immediately afterwards, Su Yi saw a few small black shadows flying towards the Damshan group in an instant. It's the people of the eternal race. At the same time, there was a circle of light that caught Su Yi and Gwen in an instant. Then I wanted to pull Gwen and Su Yi over together. Su. Pay attention to yourself. When Tony saw it, he quickly reminded him. Su Yi raised his hand and swiped. Next moment, these two apertures shattered like glass. The celestial group outside the Earth also felt it at the same time. Um? He wondered that someone on Earth could break his control. Who is this? Gwen walked to Su Yi's side. Then he looked at the head of the God group and asked. He is the judge? So he wants to judge us? Why? Is it because of the seed I slaughtered? Gwen sees that seed is similar to this one. And they are all called the Tangent Group. Judge us. Su Yi smiled when he heard this. Who wants to blow up whose house? Su Yi shook his head helplessly. Then talk to Tony and Pepper first. You guys wait here. I'll deal with it and I'll be back. Su Yi is going to take the two girls to deal with it. Give them a long insight and broaden their horizons in the Marvel Universe. And Tony looked at the appearance of the God Group and knew that his armor was not qualified to help at all. So he could only look at Su Yi and nodded seriously. The real meaning is not in the words. Su Yi nodded after seeing it. He snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda, gone. 141. Tanmai helps out. The Tenjin group fled in a hurry. Bring two more girls. At the same time, on the top floor of the northern building, Nata was still happily playing games with Hala at the beginning. 
The two sat on the thick carpet, each is holding a handle and is fighting and killing. Hala's technique is actually pretty good. If the fight is fierce, the body will be one with the machine. Cough cough. It means that the body and the handle are tilted together to play the game. And Tanmai's technique is also very powerful. People originally are very skilled. And it's great for gaming too. Halo exclaimed after playing with her team for an afternoon. I approve of you, Ganata. You are the best teammate I have ever met so far. I am overflattered. Tanmai was happily playing games with Halo while chewing Phoenix brand lollipops. What a happy day for Tanmai. As long as the stomach is not hungry, it is a good day. And a pot friend, that's a great day. More hope for the future never to go hungry. What a great day ahead. Not much to say, the future can be expected. But the next moment, Tanmai, who was playing a game, was suddenly taken aback. Then she looked out the window. Hala was taken aback. She suddenly had a bad feeling. The two looked at each other. Then at the same time, they dropped the handles and ran towards the floor-to-ceiling windows. Wow Tilda. Pull the curtains. A huge six-barreled head appeared in front of the two of them. It appeared out of earth. But the head is already almost the size of the earth file size. Who is it? Wait. I remember. Halo didn't remember who it was at first. But as soon as he recalled what Su Yi said, she and Tanmai looked at each other. Tenjin group, and from the corner of Halo's eyes, he saw that the people under the building were not unmoved. She looked again at the crowd elsewhere. I looked at the six cylinders as big as the outside of the earth. Why aren't people in the city afraid? Aren't they afraid of this big six barrel? Halo now wonders why these humans are not afraid. Such a big six barrel. Don't you scream when you encounter a crisis? That's because they can't see it. Tanmai explained after looking at it. It's all life energy. What if the celestial group let them see that they all commit suicide or have a battle in episode 13? Besides, the celestial group is a high dimensional creature and it's normal for normal humans to not be able to see it. You must have the strength, or the god group will take the initiative to let you see it, so that humans can see it. Oh Tilda, Hala got it. It turned out to be like this. Isn't this very similar to Su Yi's reduced presence? When I don't want you to see it, you don't even know they are talking in front of you. It's like Mei Sakurajima in youth pig-headed boy doesn't dream of bunny girl senpai, directly ignored by most people. Definitely she is passive, but Su Yi and the Damshin group are both active. At the same time, under the gaze of Tanmai and Hala, they also saw a few tiny black figures being caught. Sister Tan thought for a moment. The celestial group won't trouble the earth, will they? That won't work. The earth is in trouble. What will happen to my future Tulansu? No, Hala, we have to go and see. There may be a threat to the earth. I can force the celestial group to leave. Facing Tanmai's invitation. Hala thought about it, nodded and agreed. Okay, Su may have gone too. Let's go. So the two hit it off. Tanmai took Hala directly to the judge of the god group. Alim. Others on Earth, even the surviving Odin and Ancient One might be afraid of the Celestials. But Sister Tan is not afraid. Don't ask why. The Tangent Group is nothing more than a level single universe. Tanmai is now equal to them. And Tanmai's father is the Five Gods. What is Tanmai afraid of? The other side. After snapping fingers, so you brought the figures of the two women to the periphery of the Earth. Wanda set herself a lair of the Chaos Shield from the Book of Vishan Emperor. Gwen instantly put on the symbiote battle suit and pulled out the Black Death Sword. So you didn't have to do anything. He just stood not far from the Damshin group, watching Alan quietly. Arishamov at the moment just got the rest of the Eternals in his hands. He seemed to be saying something. Definitely also possible under cross-examination. But it's not the same as the plot. This time, the judge of the Celestial group, Alan, directly extracted the memories of these Eternals. Then it is absorbed instantly. He looked at Su Yi and muttered to himself, Symbiont, Black Death Sword. To be honest, when seeing these two things, other god groups may commit PTSD, because the ancient memories of the Damshin group are all shared. Every celestial group knows the information and history of the universe from the predecessors. But when he looked at Su Yi, Arisham was indeed silent. Symbiont, Black Death Sword, Origin Magic Power, and Alim looked at Su Yi. I can't see through you. Hearing this sentence, Su Yi smiled. At the same time release the breath of ability, as expected. The Tenjin group recognized it instantly. Phoenix Force. At the moment Celestial Team Alim can probably feel how powerful this Phoenix Force is. This is far more powerful than the Origin Magic Power owner next to him. And Arisham saw Wanda, Gwen, Godzilla, Eternals, mutants in the memories of the Eternals. But I just didn't see Su Yi. And now Alan knew. This is the mastermind behind the scenes. Alan waved his hand. People of the Eternal Race have been pushed into the universe for temporary existence. And Alan turned to look at Su Yi. It was you who planned the plan to destroy the Celestial Seed, the humans chosen by the Phoenix Force. It really is. Su Yi nodded, indicating that Alan was right. 18,2. Your Celestial Seed will destroy my home and my job. Alan, just kidding. Work is important. Okay, how can Suyi open without a job? The safest place in the universe right now is nowhere. It's the North Building. Work. Alim's voice was very cold, as if there was no emotion. So his work seems to be interrogative. It also seems to be a definitive sentence. The order of the universe needs to be maintained by the celestial group. We create planets, fixed stars, nebulae, galaxies, black holes, 
and even everything in the universe, so for the normal operation of the universe, a new celestial member must be born every billion years, and the celestial group planted the celestial seeds when the earth was born. Tiamat's presence is very important, but you destroyed him not so long ago. The Tenjin group first talked about their duties, then he talked about his own importance, and finally how important what he did was. In the end, you ruined it all. It's like talking again. You are damned. Why don't you die? Can't you die for the sake of the universe? Hear hear. Both Wanda and Gwen shook their heads in shock. They said to Su Yi, I thought there was no right or wrong in what you said, only a simple position. But now it seems that this is too contradictory. Wanda said, I don't agree with this position. I can sacrifice for the survival of the earth because I, Gwen, have feelings for the earth but you can't force me to sacrifice for the earth. Those are two different things, Gwen said. Yes, they were right. Everyone has the freedom to choose. Everyone does not have to choose selfless dedication. Even at that time, I would like to. But it cannot be forced. But the meaning of the Tenjin group is, for the universe to work, the people on the earth are to die, and then to be born for Tiamu. And the purpose of doing so, it is to continue to make the universe rotate normally. But only if you die. Isn't this bullshit? Why? What does Thelma have to do with us? Do we have feelings for the universe? Yes. You can live for billions and tens of billions of years, but ordinary people don't even have a 30-year mortgage. Superhero threw out my 10-year loan car in a fight. It's okay if it hits, at least it can be on the camera. If you can't hit it, then there is nothing. Now you tell me again that you want me to sacrifice for the love of the universe? FKU. Shit. You. Cantonese version. So Su Yi didn't even have the mood to argue with the god group. Debate? What else is there to argue about? Your position is for the earth to work, and the sacrifice of the earth is necessary. My position? My home is here, my work is here, and now you let me die? So what else is there to say? Cool. So Yi let out a breath, shook his head and said, Huh, Alan, I take a firm stand that the earth must function properly. So the conclusion is simple. 1. You agree, and then take your eternals to find the next living planet. 2. If you object, refer to one for the result. Facing Su Yi's words, Alan still thought about it, because Su Yi posed a serious threat to him. What's more, next to Su Yi is a magician from Chaos Force and the other is a warrior wearing a symbiote battle suit and holding a black death sword. Without any exaggeration, if only Gwen and Wanda had grown to full size. Even if Alan finds any one of them in a duel, it is hard to say who will win. Arisham would probably win, but it is also possible to be decapitated by the black death sword or crushed into atoms by origin magic power. This is no joke. As a group of gods with powerful technology, powerful ability, and full of wisdom. After Arisham thought about it, he knew he couldn't do it. The odds are slim. But he went straight away. Then the meaning of his god group judge would no longer exist. Yes, devas are abstract entities of energy, so his way of thinking is different from that of human beings. They don't think their own things are right or wrong. They only judge whether they can do it now. What is their job? Can they do it in the future? This is how they think. So Su Yi has always thought that there is no need to, to debate with a god group. The way is different and it is now that we do not conspire with each other. Just at the time of Tenjin group hesitation, suddenly, a purple light flew over instantly with a person, and flew directly between Su Yi and the Tamshin group. The three of Su Yi took a look. Nata, little Hala, Wanda quickly asked, Why are you here? Tan Mai first stood between the two. She looked back at Su Yi, and immediately led Hai to stand by Su Yi's side. Then this is standing in line. So Tan Mai said directly to Alan, I'm Ganata, the daughter of Galactus. If you don't change places, I will send messages to my generation. In fact, there is no need for Ganada to say. The moment Arisham saw Tanmai coming, he realized that Tanmai's energy source was very familiar. Listen to Galactus name again. Arisham didn't even say a word. He reached out and shook it. The eternal race was instantly held in his hand. Then the huge figure of the Damshan group began to flicker. Finally, it gradually disappeared. Su Yi, TSK, for so long with me. Then he ran away when he saw Galactus' daughter, right? Are you not a judge? Su Yi sighed inwardly then snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda. The sky does not transmit sound. However, Alan, who had just escaped, had snowflake-like debris all over his body, then let out a dull heavy exhalation, finally left like pieces. So Yi just snapped his fingers casually, and Alan was severely injured in an instant, let alone a short time. It will take at least tens of thousands of years to recover. But if I knew it earlier, I might as well just find a reason to pinch him to death. Just say you want to destroy my earth. I can't live with each other. Run away. Gwen looked at the fleeing celestial team a little puzzled. Grow so big and run so fast? Besides, 443 who is this girl? Seeing that the Damshan group had already run away, Su Yi turned around and introduced Nata the daughter of Planet Devourer, one of the five great gods of the universe, the celestial group just now is not her father's match at all, so she just ran away, after Tanmai heard it, she knew that Gwen was the last woman she had never met, but she was the closest woman to Su Yi, so she stretched out her hand brittly, hello, my name is Nata, just treat me as an ordinary person, I ran away from home, so I lied to that god group just now, but don't let my father know where I am, 
11. Wen heard that Tun Mai had run away from home. She immediately put away the symbiosis battle suit, then shook hands with Tun Mai and said, My name is Gwen Stacy. You actually ran away from home. I thought about it before. I wanted to elope with Sue, but I didn't have a chance. My parents were too kind to me. Um, what is this nonsense? So you looked at Gwen helplessly. Every good girl has a heart that wants to be presumptuous, right? And Tun Mai heard that Gwen actually thought about running away from home. She immediately asked curiously. Then why do you want to run away from home? I'm because my dad is too muddled and bad, and he just wants to eat this planet and then eat that planet. Gwen thinks Tun Mai is too high level. My parents are too strict with me. There is a curfew every day and I can't be with Sue at night. That's why I wanted to run away from home, but later Sue settled down with my parents. Sue Yi, you can't talk nonsense. Didn't you see that Wanda's two fingers and has reached his waist? Sue Yi quietly pushed Wanda's finger away. Ahem, since everything is over, you should go home first. I'll be back with Wanda Gwen later. Right now eating barbecue at Tony's. Hala was originally fishing, but as soon as I heard the barbecue, I immediately became excited. Question mark. For a while, two more pairs of eyes looked at him. Sue Yi sighed. Okay take you with me, anyway, Tony's family doesn't like two of you, add one to today's goal, eat up Tony's BBQ, so Yi snapped his fingers, crack, next moment, so Yi brought four girls to Tony's yard, Tony was still in his armor and looking at the sky, when he saw Su Yi coming back, he opened his face and wanted to step forward and hug him, Tony was taken aback when he saw that there were two more girls, what, aren't you going to save the world, ahem, it's saved, so Yi coughed a few times in embarrassment, these two were brought back by the way, and they have a meal. Tony tilted his head, curled his mouth, and his eyes suddenly became strange. In other words, you mainly went to bring two girls back, and then saved the world? Ah. This. Yes. So Yi nodded. Snap tilde. Tony clapped his hands, hands up to schedule. This is what it means to have an abnormal mentality. This day, destroy it. 142. Tony's drunk words. Gwen wants revenge on Wanda, after Tony was depressed. The battle armor is already close to the appearance of nanometers and begins to shrink, then condensed into a piece of metal, and finally flew away by breathing fire. So I appreciate it after seeing it. It seems that nanotechnology is about to be completely conquered by you. What's the use of that? Tony waved, grabbed a piece of beef and took a big bite. Compared to you, I'm still a lower. So Yi called Tanmai and Hala over. Then he smiled and said, Then why are you comparing with me? Isn't your life a complete failure if you compare with me? You should find lower level ones to hang and beat them. Hearing such hurtful words from Su Yi, Uck tilde, cough cough cough. Tony gulped and choked on the beef he had just swallowed. He quickly picked up a bottle of whiskey and drank it. Tan tan tilde, wait until Tony swallows the choked meat, he said out of breath. Confronting you is really bad. So Yi shrugged innocently. It was supposed to be fine. Compare and compare. Isn't it the dimensionality reduction blue? Low? Cough cough, what's the point of comparing each other evenly? So even if Tony is pissed off here, he would not be able to compare with Su Yi. He should be compared with a lower level. This is the skill of comparison. Cough cough cough, come and eat. Su Yi called Tan Mai and Hala over to eat meat. Then the two were introduced by the way. This is Hala, as much as good as Thor and Loki. This is Nata. Ah. Just treat her as an alien. Nata's status is too big. Speaking out, Tony and Pepper didn't understand either. So just call it an alien. Anyway, that's right. After Pepper and Tony met, they both introduced themselves to each other roughly. Then it's time to eat. Wanda can't eat, so Yi is not greedy. But which of Gwen, Tanmai, and Hala can't eat? Gwen might be better off. She can just choose the symbiote battle suit to help with digestion. So she can also digest food and drink with a symbiote battle suit. But Hala and Tanmai are different. When these two meet delicious food, they will eat it. So the amount of beef that Tony brought out was so much that he couldn't even eat it. But after Tanmai and Hala came, show off to you. This dinner went straight to 9 p.m. Utilda, after eating, Su Yi and Tony rested their comfortable hands on the wooden railing to watch the moon. As for why not look at the scenery, I thought Tony was in the protected area tonight, and everything was so dark and sloppy that it didn't look good. So just look at the moon. And the women all went to the kitchen to clean up together. They just happened to be chatting together. Four girls, Tony said suddenly, looking at the moon. Huh? So you looked at Tony. I said you brought four girls in one go. Tony looked at the moon depressedly then picked the non-existent shreds of meat between his teeth with a toothpick and said angrily, you are so damned, so Yi fell silent, so you really wanted to say this, but he didn't refuse either, it means being brave, although one of them is not counted, but they all have a beginning, and the ending is almost fixed, how could Su Yi hand over and send him away, well, Tony sighed again, then went to fetch wine, drank a bottle of Su Yi, and recalled, when I was young and frivolous, I felt that love was infinite and I could control it at will, but in the end I couldn't recognize what love was, after finishing speaking, Tony and Su Yi soldiered the bottles. Then Gulu Gulu took a big sip. Su Yi followed suit. But he doesn't speak, just listens. Then Tony finished his drink and continued. It was too late to realize who really loved me, but luckily I met Pepper who was willing to wait for me and accompany me. Speaking of which, 
Tony shook his head self-deprecatingly. Then he took another sip and continued. If I hadn't woken up, I could have continued to be a playboy, but I wouldn't be where I am today, who I am now. So I'm glad I woke up and at least had a chance to live a new life. So Yi nodded. You are right. Either you will never wake up after a dream, or you will change your life with an epiphany. Tony falls into the latter category. The two continued to clink bottles and drank. It's over, Tony said drunkenly. I am a little jealous of you, Sue. Huh? So you looked at the drunk Tony and said with a smile, tell me, where is it? It's good to be jealous. This shows that he has completely surpassed the opponent in one point. So being jealous is not a bad thing, love. But what Tony blurted out was love. Then he pointed to the kitchen with a dangling finger and said, I can't see the one with the purple eyes, but she is very dependent on you. But the other three girls really love you, I can see it now. Okay, so Yi nodded, thinking Tony was right. So Yi had to admit whatever reason he had for this point. Then why are you jealous? Jealous that they all love me? So Yi asked. No. Tony shook his head drunkenly, then looked at the moon and sighed. What I'm jealous of is that you can get many sincere loves, and a beautiful daily life. Ever since Tony listened to Su Yi's proposal to live in seclusion, what he found Iron Man, what History Stark Corporation, is not even the most important, to put it bluntly. They are just tools for their own good life. Without them, Tony would not be able to live the life he is now, nor would he be who he is today. So Tony found out that his previous goal was wrong, and Su Yi has been like this for a long time. His life has never suffered any influence from the outside world, and also harvest with love. That's why Tony felt a little sore in his heart. Nor is he a saint. He also has a heart, and is also a normal human being with emotions and desires. So when Tony saw, understood, and understood that Su Yi had always been on the right path, it's normal for him to be envious. It's no big deal. It's like you hate the rich and hate the rich. But this is not the reason why you want to harm them. And when fortune knocks at the door, can you promise yourself not to? Okay, Tony. After hearing this, Su Yi shook his head helplessly and said, Then let me tell you the truth now. What truth? Tony asked. If you compare a tree to your life, the best time for him was ten years ago, followed by now. But can you go back and plant the tree ten years ago? Su Yi said these words lightly. It also made Tony ponder for a long time. Life includes all good factors such as love, ability, career and family affection, although it is right to plant sooner. But can you go back and plant this tree? You can only choose to plant now. Tony nodded slowly while drinking the wine in his hand. You're right, the past is long gone. Now you let me go back, I may not even hold that nuclear bomb again. Indeed, it is already different now. But even if Tony said so, if he really went back, he would still hold the nuclear bomb. But before hugging him, he will definitely confess his love to Pepper. That's the difference. Part a part a. At this moment, the five women in the kitchen finally finished their work. Pepper wiped her hands and came outside the cabin. She was taken aback when she saw how drunk Tony looked. Tony, why are you drinking so much? Pepper hurried up to support Tony. Tony smiled and put his arms around Pepper and said, Happy. Seeing this, Su Yi knew that Tony had realized a lot. So he waved his hand and said, Let's go Tony. See you another day, see you another day. So Yi raised his hand and snapped his fingers. Snap tilde, after one sound, everyone returned to the north building. Tan Mai looked at the time and said, That's it, see you later, another day. Hala was reluctant after hearing this, See you another day, who will my teammates look for tomorrow? Why don't you go home tonight and play games with me all night? No, no. After hearing this, Tan Mai shook her head resolutely. I still have research to do. After she goes back, we also need to study why Su Yi's one has energy. Also study why you are always hungry and so on. So Wanda patted Hala on the shoulder. Don't disturb other people's rest of the time, and play by yourself at night. Hala nodded understandingly. Then I'm leaving. Goodbye. After Tan Mai said hello, she flew away with a flash of purple light. She estimated that she could fly home in a second. 1930. Su Yi and the others finally returned home. After entering the house, Halo went to play games. Su Yi took off his shoes first. Then he stumbled into the small universe. One last trip to the recliner. Ah tilde cool tilde. After going out, I threw myself at home. It feels like being recharged and replenishing energy. The result is, Gwen and Wanda also followed Su Yi. Then go to Su Yi. Paji Paji. Two large pieces of delicious meat were poured on him. Su Yi stretched out his hands and hugged her. It happens that there is one person at the bend of the left and right arms. At this time, twin dancers came over and asked Su Yi first. Master, do you need a head massage to relax? As soon as this remark came out, the two women were also very moved. Good idea. But just two is not enough. Wait. Just pass on Cybertron's one. So Yi put his arms around the two girls. So instead of snapping your fingers, just move your mind. Next moment, another ling was sent over. Then So Yi said, click it, just one person per person. But for the massage pose, Gwen and Wanda could only get up and lie down next to So Yi, and then receive the dancer's massage. So Yi is here. Wu has stretched out his hands. Then he began to relax Su Yi's brows first. Her two thumbs started to scrape from the center of Su Yi's eyebrows. At the same time, 
press the index finger gently on the side of the temple. So comfortable, as expected. So Yi didn't say anything. When and wonder were the first to be happy. Next came head scratching. Then press the acupuncture points. There are also kneading, turning, scraping and other operations. Gradually, gradually, everyone became sleepy. As a result, Wanda fell asleep according to the instructions. The duplication actor who was in charge of pressing her slowly let go of her hand after realizing that Wanda was completely asleep. And Wanda just took a long breath and fell asleep. So Yi thought about it. Duplication Ling first returned to Cybertron. Then he and Gwen continued with head massages. The small universe fell into silence. I do not know how long it has been. After the twin dancers finished pressing, So Yi waved his hand to signal them to go back and move freely. The dancer nodded and walked gracefully with her hands behind her back, and the moment the dancer left, Gwen sat up and looked in Wanda's direction, as if confirming something, so you looked at Gwen a little strangely, what do you mean, who knows the result, Gwen left her reclining chair, came to Suyi and straddled it, hiss, Gwen, Suyi motioned to the side with his eyes, Wanda is asleep, Gwen put her hands on both sides of Suyi's head, and said in a low voice, wouldn't it be better if she was asleep, hiss, you are very brave, so you looked at Gwen with a strange expression, and then at Wanda, ahem, isn't this bad? What's wrong? After Gwen finished speaking, she thought of something, and said, with pouted red lips, a long time ago, when you said you were going to deal with the mutated rats, you came back, and you came back a long time later. Have you ever been to the Ferris wheel? Hiss. You know all of this? So Yi was surprised. The cabin you boarded for the second time happened to be the one where you stopped for the first time. There was still the smell of Wonder's perfume on it, and I could smell it. When Gwen said this, she became more and more angry. I didn't think of it at first. But when Wanda used this ability to help me confuse Mum and George, I realized it. It turns out that you have already been the once. Abra Abra Abra. So Yi was pressed down by Gwen, and now he really has nothing to say. So Gwen said harshly, You made me wait so long downstairs in the building, now I want to get my revenge. Beside her, but also in front of her face. So Yi hissed when he heard it. Sure, sure. Good. That So Yi said nothing. There was fire in his eyes, and so did Gwen's. The two hugged each other at the same time. After a while, Su Yi covered Gwen's mouth in fright and whispered, You shouted it on purpose, I want it. Hiss, are you crazy? You just have to fire up. Unlimited firepower, right? Okay, if you want to be crazy, make it even crazier. Lean your how, then shall I carry you to Wanda? Here here. Gwen shuddered all over, but she gritted her teeth. Hug me. Okay, Su Yi directly hugged Gwen and came to the sleeping Wanda. Then continued to output like unlimited firepower. But how could there be no response to such unscrupulousness, especially since the war has spread to Wanda? Wanda woke up in a daze. In the end, she hadn't waited for her to see her surroundings clearly. Gwen said, Sue, let me down, and I'll hold her up. Good. Oh Tilda. Hey, that's all. Wanda was pulled up directly in a daze to participate in the canyon team battle, and the magician will always be the target of fire. She immediately fell asleep again in a daze. It is said to be a horse spell. She forgot to use her mana. Wanda, what rubbish. Gwen looked at Wanda who was already kneeling and snorted softly, then whispered in Su Yi's ear, remember our agreement in Westview Town? Westview agreement? Su Yi thought for a while, but didn't react immediately, but he remembered right away, it's a leg shoulder stretch, his tilde, try it, Su Yi said nothing, change a set of operations and continued to manipulate the character output, his tilde, very deep tilde, that's all, after a long time, Su Yi looked at the closed door of the small universe, there is also Wanda who is now awake but pretends to be asleep to avoid fighting, even their horse charm is useless, he smiled cruelly, and then came to the big body, he crossed his arms, but still pointed to Wanda's nose and said, those who pretend to be asleep will be severely punished, Wanda opened her eyes suddenly, so Yi just smiled, late, he reached out and snapped his fingers, snap tilde, the venue was directly changed to the bedroom, World War II, upon hearing World War II, Wanda's frightened eyes turned white flags, dot, 143, Red Skull, Soul Gem, Thor and Loki arrive, the next day, wait until Su Yi wakes up again, he didn't even know what time he went to bed yesterday. Just remember yesterday till the end. He snapped his fingers down. They all went back to the master bedroom. As for we I, forehead, so Yi pushed away his hands and feet. Then looked at the surrounding environment. All right, looks like it's from we I, because the battlefield is in a mess. You can tell at a glance that you have fought a war. But it doesn't matter, so Yi snapped his fingers. Snap tilde, the whole house was clean in an instant. Part ta tilde, at this time. The master bedroom door was gently pushed open. So Yi turned his head to look. The dancer gently opened the door up and down. At the same time dance holds up a clock. And the time on the clock is, 8.45. Rub, we're going to be late. So Yi quickly got up, then go to the bathroom to Washington. This time the dancer knew he was in a hurry so he didn't intervene. They were waiting by the side with towels. So Yi hurriedly brushed his teeth, washed his face, got dressed, and then went to the kitchen. Oh Master Tilda, you finally came to see. Egg-filled biscuits, Ling will bring them to me later. I will go down first. Okay, 
Master, before Nora the succubus refrigerator finished speaking. Su Yi walked in half a step and left after speaking. Master Tilda, in Nora's retention. Su Yi hurried downstairs. Then at 8.58 I entered the door of the private studio. Hi Tilda, sit down in the boss chair. Su Yi let out a long breath. Then I took two sips of iced milk tea from the refrigerator. At this time, Wu suddenly said to Su Yi, Master, the shapeshifting King Kong Kuo found a pool of blood on a distant planet. After scanning, the blood is a Hubri people and there is still infinite gems energy left on the planet. Oh? Hearing this, Su Yi thought about it with interest. Go check it out. But his body cannot leave the north building. So, Su Yi snapped his fingers lightly. Snap Tilda. Next moment, a projection appeared in the office. This projection is very similar to Tony's 3D projection. And you feel empty too. A projection technique. It was a fictional projection created by Su Yi with his spirit. Be more specific. This is actually the same as the full system projection. It's just that he is completely free. Doesn't need equipment. Manipulates at will and so on. The main body can't leave, I use mental projection to see. Su Yi smiled, snapped his fingers again. Snap Tilda, after one sound. He is still drinking milk tea in the office, but the projection has come to the 657 position that Wu said. As soon as Su Yi's projection appeared on this planet, he looks around. Shapeshifting King Kongs are already scouting nearby, and he saw a cliff suddenly appear on this planet. Su Yi nodded. That's right. Voma Star. This is where the Red Skull guards the Soul Gem. Now the Soul Gem is taken by Thanos. The Red Skull should also be liberated. He projected for a moment. Go straight to the top of the cliff. At the moment Collector and some shapeshifting King Kong progeny are thinking about collecting data here. Seeing that Su Yi arrived in an instant, Collector was taken aback. He hurriedly bowed respectfully with other descendants of shapeshifting King Kong and said, Hello, dear Mr. Creator, the Creator. The difference between shapeshifting King Kong and humans is the way of thinking. The shapeshifting King Kong saluted and greeted the Creator with only one sound. But Collector said a whole sentence. So Yi waved his hand as a signal. He came to the edge of the cliff and looked down. Gamera's body was gone just a pool of blood. Collector also stepped aside and explained, The body should have been taken by Thanos. The blood test results are Zahubri, which should be Thanos' daughter Gamera. Thanos slaughtered the adopted Gamera as his daughter. As a result, he now kills his daughter with his own hands, just for Soul Gem. When it comes to this, Collector sighed while shaking his head. Su Yi also clicked his tongue helplessly. Psychopath. Bottom line, whether biological or adopted daughter, for ability and others, she will kill her own daughter. This was originally a perverted thing. No matter what reason you use, unless it's a situation. That is, death is a kind of relief. Otherwise, there will be problems in my heart. The start is abnormal level. Then, Su Yi stepped forward. At the moment of closing the other foot, he came to the bottom of the cliff. Look at the blood in front of you. There is also a flat stone platform. Su Yi smiled, taking the most loaded gem of all the infinite gems. What would become of Thanos? Thinking of this. Su Yi was quite looking forward to it. The magician Adam once caused a huge burden because of using it, and there are many reasons for it. But the next moment, he lifted his toes and stomped on the floor. Red Skull, come out. Collector at the moment just came down. He heard the Red Skull, and quickly looked around, thinking that there were people lurking around. But after two seconds, it's as if nothing happened. Who is the creator calling? TSK. Su Yi made an impatient TSK sound. Next moment, a man in a tattered cloak emerged from the bottom of the platform. He also acts as if incorporeal, but Su Yi could feel that he was just transformed by his body and soul gem. The collector saw that there were still people hiding here. He immediately became alert. The surrounding shapeshifting King Kong descendants also rushed over to set up their weapons. Red Skull turned bitter when he saw this. Wait, I'm just afraid to come out. Su Yi waved his hand. The descendants of shapeshifting King Kong put away their weapons. Su Yi looked at Red Skull's appearance. He is really miserable. Kicked to another planet by Captain America, and then stuck here for you know how many years. At the same time, facing Soul Gem is also elusive. Finally, I watched others take it away. You say this is a big bad luck. Retell the story of Thanos coming here. Su Yi said, Oh cock. Red Skull nodded, wearing his tattered cloak. He's been with Soul Gem for a long time. So now Red Skull can feel how powerful Su Yi's spirit and soul power is. Even if what is in front of him is just a projection. But Red Skull still feels like he is standing in front of a sun. This feeling made him feel extremely humble and small. So he said right away. Not long ago, a purple man titan came here with a green woman. They're a father-daughter relationship. I told them about my request for the soul gem. Then, finally, after Red Skull had finished speaking, he added, in the end the woman's body was taken away. But the soul gem is not so easy to control, even if it can be taken away. That's not just a gem. There's a whole consciousness in it. It will cause the user's spirit to become extremely chaotic and dangerous, 
and finally seek death. Only those with a very strong will can use the gem. N. Tzu Yi nodded after listening. Red Skull was right. Of all the infinite gems, only the soul gem is the most dangerous. Because this gem originally has a soul, it's best to suppress it unless you get other gems. Otherwise you will be fully exposed to the side effects of this gem. That's not good. So this gem is the most dangerous gem power. You have no defense at all. Only those with strong willpower, spirit, and soul can use it all the time. And none of these three abilities can be easily powerful. The magician Adam in the comics is deeply troubled by soul gem. Then Thanos is slightly better in willpower, spirit and so, but he is Yifu after all, impossible not to be affected by infinite gems, so just look forward to it, after Su Yi finished reading, he waved his hand and prepared to leave, okay, then you guys continue, I'll go back first, wait, my lord, at this time, Red Skull stopped Su Yi, Su Yi turned around and looked at him, explain, Red Skull thought about it, finally asked uncertainly, are you from earth, my lord, this is not to blame, for Red Skull's conjecture, because Su Yi's clothes are earth clothes, only a century older than what Red Skull knew. But, Su Yi didn't answer this question directly, instead, asked rhetorically, How many years have you been trapped? Red Skull thought for a while, finally shook his head and said, At the beginning, I was still recording, and there are so many later that I forgot. I remember that when I left, the Earth was still in World War II. BFBF, that's around the same time as Captain America. So Su Yi said, This is the 21st century. As soon as this remark came out, Red Skull's eyes widened as expected. At the moment Su Yi had already turned and left. Seeing Su Yi's last figure, Red Skull asked hastily, Then Hydra, gone. After speaking, Su Yi's figure disappeared, and Red Skull fell to his knees with a plop. Wait until Su Yi retracts his mental projection. He's already eating pancakes in the office. But one more person in the universe has a mental breakdown. There are two reasons for keeping Red Skull going. One is ability, such as infinite gems, and various powerful ones. Two is Hydra, he wants to go home and reunite with the Hydra organization. But now both are gone. You said Red Skull crashed not crashed. Trapped for decades. In the end there was nothing left. What is the difference between this and being imprisoned in the 45th of the last century to being released in the 20th of this century? It's all about nothing. After Su Yi left, Vomistar, Red Skull despaired for a long time, then slowly stood up. Collect us see here. He walked up to Red Skull and said, This planet will be dragged back to the parent star by the shape-shifting King Kong civilization for research and decomposition. What are you going to do next? Although, although I am asking you what to do, but in fact it means telling you that it is time to go. And Red Skull stood up slowly, then make the hood deeper. Answer at last. The Earth's Hydra no longer exists, so I will go to the universe to build a new Hydra. Collector, you boy. Ambitious. Hear the words of Red Skull. The Collector gave him an unexpected look. He would have liked to leave. But Collector thought for a while, took out a badge from the vault of folding space, and threw it to Red Skull. Red Skull held the badge and looked at Collector. Collector said as he left, it will lead to a galaxy called the Marauder Organization. It's full of marauders, outlaws, and space mercenaries. With this badge you can form a marauder team and complete your Hydra plan. Finished. The Collector teleported back to the interior of the battleship. The offspring of shapeshifting King Kong also turned into fighter planes and flew back. Soon after. The planet will be dragged to the starport for dismantling. Then they will be directly scattered and transported back to the solar system through the starport. And Red Skull looked at the badge in his hand, then slowly hold it tightly. Finally, his body changed into a soul state and flew away. But still wearing the tattered cloak, the screen returns to Earth. After breakfast, Su Yi wiped his mouth with a piece of paper, then sat on the chair, and turned on the TV to watch the news. As for why not kill the villain Red Skull, he's sick. It's unnecessary. Red Skull has no enmity with him and will not affect the earth anymore. He only goes to eliminate harm for the people when there is something wrong. And this Hydra is actually just a real branch of Hydra. The Cosmic Hydra organization is not called Hydra. It's an evil civilization with an octopus head civilization. Just because someone from this civilization was thrown to the earth. That's why it created the Hydra organization to dominate the planet and come back home. But then he disappeared and plans changed. Hydra becomes an organization of individuals, not a group of wills. Well, that's the reason. Anyway. Don't care about Su Yi. He sat comfortably on the chair and let out a long breath. It doesn't matter, did he tilde? At this time, Su Yi's cell phone rang. Before Su Yi got up to get the phone on the table, Wu stepped forward to take it and handed it to Su Yi. Su Yi took the phone. The above caller ID is Natasha Romanoff. How? Are you free? Connected. Natasha Romanoff, Su, did something dangerous happen outside the earth last night? Ah, you saw it. But where did you get the news from? Natasha Romanoff, we counted. Last night Thor and Loki and Vision said they saw it. But some people didn't see it. They say there are huge amounts of heads outside the Earth. But no one else noticed. Oh Tilda. That is, last night's Damshan group only shielded the weak. Powers like Loki and Thor and Vision can see. But those without a special ability cannot be seen. Su Yi nodded. There is such a thing. You just need someone to record it. 
Don't worry about other things, there is nothing wrong with it. Natasha Romanoff. You already solved it, so quickly? Quick, I've said it all, I'm fast when I should be fast, and I can't stop when I should be slow. Natasha Romanoff, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot. After all, I didn't experience what happened last night. Maybe the experience will be remembered. This girl, I really owe it. After hearing this, so Yi said harshly to the phone. You'd better not hope for the chance to experience it. Natasha Romanoff, that depends on whether there is a chance for the next task. Well, let's not talk about it. I have to report goodbye. Goodbye. Hang up the phone. So Yi threw the phone on the table. Nanas. I knew that there would be no chance later. Then he should have found a chance to get things done on that cruise ship last time. Well, the proposed bathroom is not out of the question. Forget it, it's all over. Don't let him take the chance next time. Otherwise, your left leg will not be able to recognize your right leg. Until noon, Tanmai was invited by Hala to play games again. Before she came, she came over to say hello to Su Yi. Su, here I come again. Go, Hala is up there. Watch Tanmai go up. Su Yi definitely doesn't mind. Ahem, isn't the more girls in the family, the more sloppy they are? But Tanmai just left for a while. The door was knocked again. But until the enter, as the door opened. Two people who were clearly the first generation of Avengers came in, but they had only officially met for the first time. Namely Thor and Loki. Definitely Loki is not the first generation of Avengers, but he has been praised by all the first generation of Avengers. So let it be, and after Thor came in, he looked a little nervous. He stroked his beard and greeted awkwardly. Ah, hello, Dr. Sue. 144. Show power. Honor of Thor Loki. Pay attention, among the two people who came in, the thin one was called Xiozwai and the strong one was called Ashkwai. They sneaked in to find out the truth. On the one hand, in order to find out the status of her own sister. On the one hand, in order to find out that man's status. Cough cough cough. In short, after the two came in, with Thor's greeting, Su Yi sat up, and with a wave of his hand, the two chairs automatically moved over for Saul and Loki to put in place. So the two pulled out the chairs and went up. Then Ling went to open the refrigerator, took out two bottles of iced milk tea and put them in front of them, meaning that they would each have a bottle. Both Loki and Thor reach for the milk tea at the same time. Thor looked and sniffed curiously. Loki kicked his shoe from below. Only then did Thor react and hold it. So Yi smiled helplessly after seeing it. You can drink it. This is milk tea. Natasha Romanoff and Tony agreed after drinking it. Exclamation mark. Here the names Natasha Romanoff and Tony. The two of them looked at each other and knew that Su Yi knew his position completely. Loki opened the milk tea first, and said politely. I am a Loki Odinson from what was once as good. Thor also learned to nod politely. I'm Thor Odinson, he's from a place, and he's his big brother. This Su Yi knows. Thor and Loki are compared with Hela's character, so they are called the second princess and the third kilometer. This is quite normal. Compared with the previous Hela, it is so cruel. Thor at the moment, like Loki, began to taste milk tea. The two took a sip first. Then he was as surprised as they were all. Wow, this is so delicious. That's right, better than as good wine. When the two drank the milk tea, they were slightly surprised. Definitely it's also just delicious. For Thor who likes to drink, his favorite is definitely wine. After two sips, the two put down the milk tea. So Yi stretched out his hand to signal. Seeing a doctor or consulting, I can tell you what you need when you come here. Here here. Thor and Loki look at each other, in case Thor says the wrong thing. So it was Loki who decided to speak first. Actually, we came here mainly to find traces of our sister. Thor nodded sincerely when he heard this. After Ragnarok, there are only more than 30 as good people left. So every 10 as good people who are out now are worthy of our cherishment. She may not have to come back, but we want to know how she's doing and be able to keep in touch. Loki nods in agreement. They came here to inquire about Hala's current life experience. Two is really want to keep in touch, after all, are as good people. So Yi nodded. He can understand the situation of these two people. These two aren't the same Thor and Loki they were before. Hala is not the old Hala either. She should be doing well but whether she is doing well or not should be up to her. So Yi waved his hand and said to the twin dancers, go and call Hala down, and tell her what's going on here. The dancer nodded, then go up and call Hala. Thor and Loki watched the two leave. All Thor has in mind is seeing Hala soon, how is the princess of Asgard doing? And Loki got it. It turns out that Hala lives here, and this is also Su Yi's home. Then such, Loki carried Su Yi on his back, but his pupils shrank slightly. That means Hala already has a new home. Then take this time. Loki turned around, pretending not to know and said in surprise, it's nice that our sister actually lives here, Thor held it and was still basking in the joy of his sister's arrival, he cheerfully picked up the milk tea and took another sip, there is still a smile on the corner of the mouth, but as soon as this milk tea enters the mouth, Thor reacted suddenly, Wootilda, he almost spit out the milk tea, but still held back, then he turned to look at Loki, who was looking at him with idiotic eyes, only then did Thor understand, my sister is getting married, occasionally by karma, seeing the two of them, so Yi was almost amused, these two are so stupid together. He shook his head helplessly. 
He spoke directly, as you might think, Taylor lives here, but she's not alone, see, it means calm down, and Su Yi can be considered straightforward, there is more than one woman in this family. Loki and Thor look at each other again, but they all that nodded, it doesn't matter, as long as Hela is happy, then she was so happy, every day I just eat, drink, sleep and play, and drink some deluxe from time to time, can you be unhappy, still playing games now, and the reason why both Thor and Loki can accept it, and Hela has never suggested that she is the last one, that's because they are all from Norse mythology, how many Odin women are there, the sea is gone, his father could not allow his son to participate in silver climbing, but is it a matter of participation or not, but why is there a silver climb, do you think the modern internet is very yellow and violent, no, that's the rest of the Norse mythology play. People have already played it. Definitely. The real Asgard might be less chaotic. It's also possible that it was Asgard in time of war. But who knows? Odin has a lot of women anyway. So in the eyes of Asgard, it is normal for an attractive and powerful man to have more women. Conversely, women still do. So Hela does not suggest that he is a latecomer at all, because she has surrendered to Su Yi. This is why Thor and Loki say, as long as Hela is happy, and the other side, informed by the dancer, Hela also knows that her two stupid younger brothers have actually come to the house, what are these two thinking, sorry Nata, I have to go down first, Hela put down the handle, and went back to the bedroom angrily, she changed her dress, then put on the normal Cosmo lady style and put on the boots and go downstairs, for Hela, the dress is for Su Yi to see, because back then Su Yi bought Hela the most skirts, so if she meets other people, she won't wear a skirt. Then Hala went downstairs. As soon as she reached the penultimate floor, he just pushed open the door with a cold face, then looked at Thor and Loki who turned their heads and cursed. What are you two trash doing here? Asgard can't stand it and has the face to run to seek asylum. Now that the place has been arranged for you, what do you want to do? As soon as Hala comes over, directly scolding Loki and Thor. Although Hala doesn't look big now, she has the temperament and taste of the elder sister. He directly scolded Thor and Loki until he shrank his head and dared not look at Hela. Seeing the attack power of Hela, Su Yi agrees. This combat power is fine. And wait until Hela finishes cursing. She came to Su Yi's side, then looked at the two and asked, Tell me, what are you doing here? Thor and Loki let out a sigh. Then Thor looked at Hela and said, We want to see how the life of the Asgardians outside is, and whether they are doing well. After Thor finished speaking, Hela shoots Loki a look. Loki said immediately, There are also your physical problems and so on. After seeing how small you have become, we thought it was something wrong with your body, and we always need to find out. Um. Loki hesitated for a moment, and secretly glanced at the kind Su Yi. Then he gritted his teeth and said, Learn about your sister's family situation. After listening to his two words, especially the word family, La nodded. It was considered that the two were sincere. And anyway, Odin sent it. Asgard is gone too. So Hela just said it. Don't you guys know that old fellow Odin is always afraid of me going back? Did he not tell you about my situation? Thor and Loki look at each other. They all shook their heads. No. He just raised it a few times at the end. That's it. Then Hela didn't want to say too much. The past is the past. Let me just say it briefly. My divine power comes from the continent of Asgard. So after my divine power disappeared, my body shape became what it is now. If you want to recover, you can only increase your spiritual power again. Hela's recovery is actually proportional. No, it is calculated according to the past time. As long as the energy is sufficient, she can grow up day by day. But it takes time. So ye heard this and glanced at Hela. It seems that it is. Hela seemed to be a few centimeters taller now than when she first got here. And the most obvious change is the previous bra. No, the tube top is not enough anymore. Soon you can directly wear B's bra. What's this? The more absorbed the greater? What succubus physique? After hearing Hela's words. Thor and Loki also breathed a sigh of relief. It's not Hela's physical problem. That's good. Know the reason for Hela's small size. So now there is only one puzzled about Thor and Loki. Family issues. So ye knew that they wanted to figure out their general strength and influence. How to say that? In fact, say no. Let them experience it. I know what you're curious about. So ye raised his hand and said to Thor and Loki. Go and experience it for yourself. Snap your fingers. Snap Tilda. Next moment, a portal appears under Thor and Loki's stools. Um, the two were taken aback. Then he grabbed the chair and fell quickly. Our Tilda disappeared with the startled sound of the two. The portal closes. Hale asked curiously after seeing it. Where did they go? So ye waved his hand. Go immersive. Dot dot ask for flowers. With a wave of his hand, a projection on the table. Show up. The angle is the third perspective. The background is the universe. And Thor and Loki at the moment just sit on the chairs and accelerate time and space. Artilda, the two left the earth together, then go to Cybertron, they circled Cybertron three times in chairs, together, we have seen the magnificence of the planet Cybertron and the majesty of the starport, then suddenly time and space accelerated, next moment, they sat in chairs and came to the deep space of the universe, passing by dozens of magnificent transport fleets and legions of the shape-shifting King Kong civilization together, then go to the universe, 
the two sat on stools and came to Cassandra again. There is prosperity here, but there is still a place where the smoke of war remains. Do you think this is all you need to watch? Number. A gate of time and space appeared in front of the two of them. After they go in, the one who came was Xandar not long ago. At the moment Thanos Legion is attacking the Nova Empire. Then the shape-shifting King Kong fleet suddenly cuts into battle. Finally beat the Thanos army to the brink. After watching the historical battlefield, the two sat on chairs and traveled back. Then it traveled to the vicinity of the Earth and entered the past again. Aritham, the judge of the Celestial Group, approached the city. It seems to destroy the Earth, but time jumped. Alan, who was still domineering just now, ran away in a hurry. In the end, before leaving, Tsi Yi snapped his fingers and severely injured him. The two of them traveled back in chairs. Fly to Earth at last. Halo exclaimed when she saw this. This is kind of fun. Zero. It's fun with your mouth. Also, 17. After a while, two portals opened in the midair of Su Yi's office. After two bang and bang, Thor and Loki are back in time, clutching their chairs. Who, who, who? The two gasped heavily. Just now, I was holding my breath and crossing. Not breathing at all. Play is exciting. After waiting for a long time, Thor slowed down first touched the little heart and said, the shape-shifting King Kong civilization is yours, and you drove away the giant god yesterday, Hala shoots Thor a look at this, it's called the Celestial Team, and you're further rode and fought with one of them, it's lucky that he didn't get beaten to death, Thor gasps and nods, indicating he understands, and Loki at the moment said slowly, some time ago, there were rumors in the universe that Thanos army was crushed, I thought it was fake, but I didn't expect it to be true, Thor looks over to Loki, why didn't you tell me, I said it all, I thought it was fake. Loki also once had a deal with Thanos. Thanos gave him a command that wasn't even an official formation. So Loki thought Thanos was very strong, and the news from the universe is outrageous. What shapeshifting King Kong Legion crushed Thanos Legion with zero damage? Why do you beat me once? Get the shit out of me. These mentions are really like the news of those cosmic marketing accounts. Do you understand? So Loki really thought it was fake. How can Thanos be that trashy? Who knew it was true? In the face of real strength, it is so rubbish. The two gasped for a while. He finally calmed down his heartbeat. At the same time, when looking at Su Yi, his eyes showed a lot of respect. That's right. If it is based on the generation of the Earth, Su Yi can be regarded as their brother-in-law. How can I show some respect without looking away? Su Yi looked at the eyes of the two of them. Satisfied nodded and said, How about it? Is your sister's family still satisfied? Satisfied and satisfied. Hear Su Yi's words. The two nodded as if they were pounding garlic. That Cybertron star, that shapeshift in King Kong civilization, that shapeshifting King Kong fleet, that super large starport, that embarrassing celestial group. These were too shocking for them. Without any exaggeration, even the Asgard civilization in its most prosperous period, as long as there is no Odin present, then shapeshifting King Kong civilization can flatten Asgard civilization. They can see this. It's like playing Starcraft. The difference in combat effectiveness between the two sides is too great. Only Odin can turn the tide, and for the current Asgard civilization, Hela can have such a family. This is a great thing. Watching Thor and Loki adoringly, Hela put her arms around her arms and smiled happily. As long as the remaining people of Asgard stay on Earth, they are safe, and your Avengers Alliance can protect them. Don't even think about rebuilding the Asgard continent and civilization in the Nine Realms. If you still have the ambition, just rebuild an Asgard town on Earth. Here here, Thor and Loki look at each other. Seems like rebuilding an Asgard town would be nice too. The two nodded, Thor agreed. Well, let's slowly rebuild an Asgard town with our own hands. 145. The embarrassing two girls. Moon Knight. Egyptian gods. It seemed that the town of Esgood's plan had something to do with both of them. But also right. If you are surrounded by strangers, you will definitely not feel at home. But if it's rebuilding an Esgood town by itself, then that's enough intimacy. And this was built by the remaining 30 people. Since then, Esgood is completely settled on the earth. And the ten realms became the nine realms. And the nine realms became the eight realms. As for why there are ten realms? In fact, there is another world called Heaven. But the former Queen of Heaven angered Odin so she was directly exiled by Odin, so the Ten Realms became the Nine Realms, but that's not the point, after learning about Hela and family, Thor and Loki stand up under Hela's menacing gaze and speak, if that's the case, then we can rest easy enough, let's go first, goodbye, Su Yi nodded, goodbye, and Hela said nothing, he directly frowned and motioned for people to leave quickly, so Thor and Loki hurried away, wait for the two to take the elevator downstairs, Utilda, the two let out a long breath at the same time, it was fine at first, later, after I could feel Su Yi's strength, Thor and Loki knew that Su Yi's strength was definitely higher than that of his father. The feeling of letting them go for a ride in the universe with a snap of their fingers is still unforgettable to this day. Loki brushed his hair, muttering to himself, What level is this? Thor spread his left hand, shook his head and said, We probably won't reach the level in our lifetime. But the good news is that as long as we don't make mistakes, people will definitely protect us. Loki nodded, looking at Thor. I have an idea, listen to me, huh? Upon hearing this, Thor suddenly put away his smile, 
and looked at Loki seriously. You'd better not try to play any attention and cleverness, otherwise don't blame me for turning my face. Loki shook his head. 163 I mean I'm going to be mayor. Thor's mouth twitches. You do what you do. I don't want it. So in this frivolous decision, Loki finally got his long cherished wish to become the king of Asgard. No, the king crossed out, is to become the mayor of Asgard. The screen returns. After seeing Loki and Thor leave, Hela immediately put away her world weary expression. Then he turned his head and said with a smile, Ganatu is still waiting for me, I'm going up to play games. Go. So Yi waved his hand. Hela immediately ran upstairs. It's like you open a game to go to the toilet. Come back to see the match and wait for confirmation. So Yi helplessly went to the armchair. It's almost noon now. I have been busy all morning. TSK, I'm so busy. The 10th of November 2012, three hours of continuous work, too tired. Swing. At the same time, until noon, of the two girls in the master bedroom, Gwen woke up first. She opened her eyes. I found myself hugging Wanda. After Gwen found out, she slightly shyly tried to push Wanda away. At the moment, both of them are in the state of full fruit. If in war, it doesn't matter that Gwen and Wanda's minds are close to blank. Even if they were stacked together, they couldn't react at the time. But waking up is two different things. But, Gwen just pushed back a little. In a daze, Wanda thought that Su Yi was leaving her. So I hugged even tighter. Sleep again. But this hug, Wanda also sensed something was wrong. In the past, the touch was tough muscles, and even a hot spear was placed between his legs. She sometimes makes things difficult on purpose. But this time, how so soft, and slippery, etc. Last night, Wanda opened her eyes suddenly, just met Gwen's eyes. The eyes of the two are only 10 centimeters apart, they hug each other, even in deep sleep. He regarded the other party as Su Yi. For a while, neither of them knew what to say. Wanda thought about it. Change first. Good. Gwen nodded in agreement. Then, ah, don't grab all the quilts. Just a quilt. Why don't I get sores? If you snatch me, it will be fruitful. It's not like I haven't seen it. Then give me back the quilt. I don't. Give me. Gwen used her strength. Wanda used twelve spells. Zilla tilde. So in a tearing sound, the quilt is regarded as the result of your lottery. Quilt middle dot fragment. It's over. After seeing velvet flying all over the sky, Gwen and Wanda looked at each other earnestly. They are not shy anymore, but I know it in my heart. Something bad. The two quickly got dressed, and then discussed countermeasures together. What to do? Gwen asked as she got dressed. Let me see. Wanda got dressed and started thinking. Suddenly she thought of a way. Said to Gwen, you cook and send it to Sue, just pretend nothing happened. I'm going to learn the magic of reshaping now, and bring the quilt back to its original shape. Gwen listened. You already have two divine books, and you don't even know the spell to turn the quilt back. Wanda rolled her eyes after hearing this. How can I learn every spell? and even learn the spell to repair the quilt. This spell is still about recovering these feathers, I have to change the spell on the spot. Gwen nodded dubiously when she heard it. Okay, I'm going to cook now. But, outside the door of at the moment, after Wu heard the tearing sound, she stood in front of the door, scanning through a directional wave. Then she knew what was going on inside. That is the most loyal maid, secretary, and housekeeper of the master. That dance choice is it, report. So Wu hurriedly went downstairs. She just left. Gwen opened the door and went to the kitchen to cook. Facing Nora's hot talk, Gwen said quickly, Come on, Nora, and make a nice lunch for your master. He's hungry now. Really, Mistress Tilda? Then I must pour my love. Let the master eat well Tilda. In the bedroom of at the moment, Wanda was wondering if she could use magic to frame the scene. It's like the quilt that Gwen tore. It has nothing to do with her. But Wanda thought about it or forget it. Good sisters. Share the blessings, let's talk about the difficulties. Wanda still cast spells, gradually restore the quilt, and downstairs, Wu stood beside Su Yi. Su Yi has been told all these things. Su Yi's mouth twitched when he heard it. In order to grab the quilt, you tore the quilt, sure, say. Su Yi thought about it, whether it was intentional or not. Wu replied, it must have been accidental, they were very nervous at the time. It's right to be nervous. Su Yi nodded, and smiled cruelly. I tore up the quilt just to grab the quilt, then will you tear it up in the same way in order to grab other things? Then if we grab the cow in the future, will the cow be torn up too? So Su Yi knew, this must be taught, wait until you find a chance. After a while, Gwen came down with a smile while carrying the meal. She opened the door and said with a smile, have lunch, Su. So you looked at Gwen's appearance. Obviously, it's a bit too normal to act like I haven't lied before. If normal, Gwen slowly opened the door angrily, then whispered to eat Tilda. Where will it suddenly become gentle like with Wanda now, with the meal on the table? So you looked at Gwen and smiled. Aren't you going to call Wanda? R? Oh, Gwen suddenly reacted. Wanda said she would come later. So let's eat first. Sue Yezzy nodded. Then what's the matter with her? She will come later? A. Gwen wanted to make up now, but she had never lied, and after thinking about it for a long time, she had no idea. Suddenly, she remembered Wanda's brown fur. So he said without thinking. Wanda was in the bathroom dealing with her fur. She told me not to tell you. She wanted to surprise you. Okay, got to know what you said. I, Su Yi, 
we'll realize it for you one by one. Then let's eat first. Su Yi nodded and started eating with Gwen first. Period. Gwen was looking for topics to delay while eating. By the way, mom wants me to wait until you rest to take you home for dinner. Is that okay? Yes. Su Yi nodded. Then this Saturday. Okay. Gwen nodded happily and said, I'll be able to go to school after a while. I'm really looking forward to college life. Although Gwen said so. What she was looking forward to was actually freedom after college. Then you'll experience it right away. The two continued to eat. After a while, Su Yi asked suddenly, Why hasn't Wanda come yet? Did she want to clean up Mao Mao because she saw your state? Was asked this. Gwen blushed embarrassingly. Yes, she has no fur. Su Yi knew this. So smooth, so cute. At most there is only a layer of fine fluff. But Gwen thought about the reason he made up. Tan nodded and said, Right. Okay, unrepentant. Then both of you will be hospitalized. Patter. At this time, the door was pushed open. Wanda came in from outside. She hurriedly sat down at the table and prepared to eat. So Yi asked with a smile after seeing it. Finished? A. Eh? Wanda didn't know what was over. When she saw Gwen wink at her, so Wanda nodded in agreement. Um, okay. So Yi smiled and looked at the two of them. Let's lie to my husband together, right? Wait for you tonight. Hard to eat. Wait until the meal is over. Wanda magically put all the dishes into the kitchen for Nora to clean up. And Su Yi smiled and looked at the two of them the whole time. Wait until the two go upstairs. Gwen came to the bedroom first to see how the quilt was doing. The two came to the room to have a look. The good news, the quilt was repaired. The bad news, good ones are as good as new. Gwen was taken aback when she saw it. It's so new, Sue will definitely ask at night. What should I do? Wanda thought about it. Just wash it off. Are you sure it will work? Gwen was dubious. I'll cling to Sue at night. Even if he finds out, we'll work hard together. Wanda suggested, as long as tonight is over, he won't care about it tomorrow. Gwen thought about it, and he was right. But she hugged her arms, shook them with some unease and said, but I always feel like I'm going to suffer. Wanda looked over. Your shock. Yes, shouldn't it? Can you feel it? I hope it's wrong too. That's all. Nothing in the afternoon. So the whole afternoon fishing passed quickly. And Su Yi was already thinking about something to play at night. I definitely need the blindfold. And I will return it every day. Soft whip. Forget it. This is too BT. Don't play. Rope. This is fine. Simply bind it. Low temperature candles. Forget it. This is also BT. What else? Su Yi absorbed all kinds of knowledge on the internet. Then he flipped his tail again. And it's not a pendant. It's a plug-in. His tilde. Yes. Yes. The tail can also be straightened. In the end, Su Yi chose for a long time, memorized all the appearances, and finally planned to create by himself. But he ended up picking a lot. Su Yi said regretfully after looking at it. I guess they can't finish it all at once, and they can't bear it either. Forget it. Let's get two sets of blindfolds and ropes first. Did he tilde? At this moment, suddenly, another text message came from his cell phone. Pick it up and have a look. From Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff. Hawkeye was found to be declining during the physical examination. What can you do? Su Yi, I'm a psychologist, not a near doctor. Natasha Romanoff, that's right, but I want to chat with you, so I have to find a reason. Su Yi saw this. He looked at the soft whip and low temperature candles in the computer next to him. It seems that it is not useless. Su Yi, it's okay, don't go crazy, if you miss me, come to me, I'll play with you, play something real, and talk about other serious things. Natasha Romanoff, no fun, remember the superhero registration law. Now the underground SHIELD and a Heavenly Sword Bureau are vigorously investigating all super ability users in the United States. Natasha Romanoff, Gwen was on the white list because of you, but we recently discovered a mentally abnormal super ability user. He is sometimes an ordinary person, works normally, but has, from time to time, he will turn into a white warrior, go to all parts of the country and come back. Natasha Romanoff, after investigation by SHIELD and the FBI, this person seems to be schizophrenic and related to Egyptian mythology. So let me ask you if you understand this kind of thing. White, go crazy back and forth, go abroad from time to time, and go to work from time to time. Natasha Romanoff, by the way, he is currently consulting with various psychiatrists in New York. But others are at a loss. It is estimated that they will find you in a few days. 5.2 Got it. Isn't this the Moonlight Knight? That is, the spokesperson of the Egyptian mythology, the moon god Kong Zhu. Su Yi thought for a while and replied, Su Yi. It's just a pawn in the battle between the gods. The problem will not happen in the United States, but in Egypt. Don't worry, Natasha Romanoff. So the gods of Egyptian mythology have also been revived? Definitely thank you anyway. So ye, you can ask for it, Miss Black Widow. Natasha Romanoff, but I just want to ask for you Tilda. Bye, I hope we meet in reality next time. So ye turned off the phone after reading it. At the same time, he also took a last look at the content of the page on the right. Then close the web page and delete the browsing history. Wait. Jia Ding doesn't have your juice. Until 5 p.m. when I got off work, 
That's when Su Yi appeared outside the door. After closing the door, Su Yi led the dancers upstairs. He first let the dancers move freely. Then I came to the small universe by myself. At the moment Gwen is planting trees. Su Yi smiled as he looked at Wanda, who was pouting and working hard. Wanda, why are there feathers at the door? As soon as this statement came out, both Wanda and Gwen were shocked. Wanda pursed her lips and said, Really? The magic has been restored. Where are the feathers? So Su Yi clapped his hands and said, It seems to be wrong. Call Tilda. Gwen and Wanda breathed a sigh of relief. Then Su Yi left. Seeing Su Yi leave, the two women quickly came together and asked, What should we do? Was this discovered? Let's take the initiative to admit our mistake. Wanda suggested. Gwen shook her head suddenly. She lied the most. What if she was found out? It's easy to bloom in the back. Then what to do? Before Wanda finished asking, Su Yi's voice came again. Hey, why is this quilt new? The two women looked at each other. It's over. 146. Punish Wanda Gwen. Thanos Legion expands. The two looked at each other. I knew it was over. Forget it once. Both times are related to this matter. That means Su Yi already knew about it. Bei Ayuma Wanda obviously collected all. Su Yi can still say that he saw it. Now let's talk directly about the quilt. How could it be such a coincidence? Gwen reacted and said hurriedly. Su knew it a long time ago. So he knew it from the very beginning. Gwen thought of Su Yi's problem when he was eating. And that mysterious smile. That's what I've been waiting for her to take the initiative to say. And she's still lying there. Wanda panicked too. What should I do? This got caught and got it. Wanda thought about it and still suggested, go and admit your mistake, just say that you accidentally tore the quilt, Gwen clasped her hands in confusion, but our problem is that we will fight, not the quilt, and I said you didn't come at noon, but shaved in the bathroom, Wanda wondered, Mama, Gwen looked down, Wanda reacted immediately, Gwen tilde, you, oh, let's find a way, Gwen quickly changed the topic and said, holding Wanda's hand, what should I do, admit, Wanda withdrew her hand and walked towards Su Yi actively, Gwen struggled watching Wanda's back, but there is no good way, Besides, if Wanda had admitted her mistake earlier, she would not have admitted it. Then something will go wrong. So Gwen didn't hesitate, just followed and ran over. Finally in the master bedroom, with a bang tilde, Su Yi stood and sighed, smiling as he watched the two women squeeze in. After Gwen and Wanda are in place, the two of them forgot what to say for the first time. But Su Yi said lightly, close the door first. Wanda was shocked when she heard it. Gwen could only turn around and close the door. Pat tilde, with the door lock closed. Su Yi nodded in satisfaction, stepped aside motioned to the side of the bed and said, don't explain, I know everything, let's all lie down and try to hit Yushin big board, Gwen and Wanda exchanged glances, I know it's time to send it, Wanda checked the time, it's only 5.30 in the afternoon, how many hours does it take, the two can only submit obediently, let's do 15 honestly together and follow what Su Yi said, there is no way but to withstand the attack, Su Yi raised his hand, twice violently, but after one person and two people, no one screamed, Su Yi took a look, everyone was biting the quilt, and their hands were still clenched tightly. It seems that they are afraid of shouting out and losing face. After one person hits twice, both Wanda and Gwen let out a sigh of relief. Su Yi smiled. You don't think this is over, do you? Wanda, Gwen, woo woo woo. Immediately afterwards, Su Yi looked at Wanda first. Gwen said that you are taking care of the grass. Show me how it is done. Do you want me to groom it? Wanda shook her head. Su Yi narrowed his eyes. Wanda hesitated for a moment but still knew that she could only show it to Su Yi. But the pit is definitely not taken care of. Su Yi smiled and shook his head and said, It's not repaired. It doesn't look good. I'll fix it for you. Wait, myself, Gwen. Here we come Tilda. Gwen, who was lying on the side, heard Su Yi calling her. She offered her allegiance immediately, and he skillfully pressed Wanda's hands left and right with his legs. Then hold Wanda's legs with both hands and fix them. You, but it doesn't matter what Wanda says. She couldn't be stronger than Gwen. Su Yi stretched out his hand to grab it in the void. A push button for shaving hair appeared in his hand. Take it easy on Wanda. Trust my artistic side. Start the power push, Buzz Tilda. The cutter head of the electric push starts to work. Su Yi stepped forward to paint. Wanda. Woo 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 tilde, ham tilde, after a while, all right, following Su Yi put away the pusher, he looked at the masterpiece in front of him with great satisfaction, by the way, I also blew it, Wanda suddenly trembled into a sieve, all right, Su Yi patted, let me see, let me see, Gwen immediately let go of Wanda and turned to take a look, even if Wanda wants to curl up in a ball right away, but it was also seen by Gwen, wow so cute tilde, turn out to be, Su Yi flattened Wanda's fur first, leaving only a thin layer, then I shaved a ligature of love, this difficulty can be high, in fact, the electric push can't shave at all, but Su Yi made a slight move. This ligature of love is done. The words are not big, but they become very clear with the light from the side. Love means love, and Su Yi has two kinds of love for Wanda. One is to make your heart melt, two is to let your body melt. Wanda looked at it by herself, and immediately blushed as if she was about to bleed. The ears are all red. It's like it's going to burn. Well, the appearance is very dignified now, 
But Mao Mao is really hot when you look at it again. The main thing is the contrast. What about her? Wanda wrapped herself in a quilt. Then he pointed to Gwen and said, Sue, she lied to you several times, and this bad girl has been punished repeatedly. Wanda, you. Gwen stared at Wanda with wide eyes. Bad things we did together. You betray me. And Su Yi smiled, and gave Wanda a reassuring look. Do not suffer from scarcity but from inequality. Su Yi knew this. So Gwen must be punished more severely. Don't worry Wanda. Do you want to put the big dishes last? Wanda's eyes lit up. Then I will help you. After she finished speaking, she glared at Gwen again. Tell you to cast decisively into the city. Need your help? Gwen snorted. She directly laid down in front of Su Yi with an empathetic nakedness. Then take the initiative to swing your legs out like a horse. Tilda. Although Su Yi's face didn't change, his heart took a deep breath. This looks a little excited. But the next moment, Su Yi stretched out his hand to grab it in the void. Just take out a marker pen. Gwen didn't react until he saw it. I have no fluff, so can't shave. Su Yi is going to paint. Su Yi smiled. I have enchanted this marker pen. As long as I don't want it to disappear, what it writes will never disappear. With Gwen's legs trembling, Su Yi added one last point. And it's still pink. If you want to get rid of it, you have to find a way to make up for it. Finished. Su Yi squatted down and began to paint. Gwen. Woo 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 Tilda, looking at Gwen's eyes that were about to cry but without tears, Wanda was wrapped in a quilt and walked to the side, gloating and smiling, Tilda, Gwen endured the strange feeling, he glared at Wanda again, then she saw the surprised look in Wanda's eyes as she turned her head, Gwen reacted immediately, Su Yi's painting may be very good, as expected, okay huh, following Su Yi put away the pink marker pen and blue, Gwen immediately looked down, ah Tilda, she looked down, a pink love heart appeared where she had no fur, she looked carefully, immediately blushed, just like Wanda. Why is my drawing so much bigger than Wanda? Why? Su Yi smiled. That's because you know you're wrong and still make mistakes, and that's the punishment you deserve for trying to pass the test. But, Gwen looked at the heart. Shame on dead man. If the love is covered, Gwen looks like a pure and innocent girl. But once this love is revealed, then Jade becomes desire. Gwen immediately covered it with her hand in embarrassment. After seeing it, Wanda insisted on going up to take her hand away and said, Show me, show me don't want, look at it, you're so cute, I do not want, this is just great, the two women scrambled to see the painting, so he laughed beside him, then clapped hands, then took out the props, okay, I have a new job today, whoever helps me catch the other party first, the other party will try first, Wanda and Gwen looked at the props in Su Yi's hand, the two instantly turned against each other, but Wanda still suffered a physical loss. After a while, Gwen clasped her hands behind her back and knelt down in front of Su Yi. Su Yi smiled, directly put control on Wanda but no blinders yet. So you looked at Gwen again, and put it on her again. Ah! Didn't it say that the winner is king? Yeah, aren't you the next one now? You play with words. Just now, it's too late. You're lying. So after a while, Su Yi took out a marker pen that could be washed off. Today he wants everyone present to know how to write orthographic characters. At the same time, in the depths of the universe, the Titan Star, after a gravel ring, Thanos wears the Infinity Gauntlet in his left hand and the Soul Gem from Infinite Gems in his right. Seeing this, Ebony Moore knelt respectfully and celebrated, congratulations, Lord Thanos, for becoming a distinguished owner of infinite gems, others looked at it, including Corvus Clay Ivan Proxima Midnight also knelt down respectfully, Supergent is on its way, she is almost always on information seeking missions in the universe, but this time Thanos gets infinite gems, then she must come back to celebrate, but Thanos can't wait, he was under the gaze of the crowd, Thanos slowly brought the infinite gems in his right hand closer to the groove of the infinity gauntlet in his left hand, then after a ding tilde, the soul gem self homes to the back knuckle position of the pinky finger in the infinity gauntlet. But the next moment, boom tilde, a burst of power huge amounts of explosive shockwave burst from Thanos' body. The three generals around him were instantly knocked into the air. Then it slammed into the surrounding stone piles with a plop, then slide down slowly. Master Thanos. Ebony Moore looked up on the ground. He looks at Thanos. And Thanos at the moment is holding his head, showing a ferocious expression. He gritted his teeth and wrinkled his face tightly. It can be seen that Mishi is resisting something in his head. Boom tilde, and another explosive shockwave burst from Thanos. Ebony Moore waved his hand. He pulled the stone pile over to block the three generals. This weakens the explosive shockwave. But, what happened to Lord Thanos? Corvus Clay I've looked at Ebony Moore and asked. Ebony Moore thought for a moment. The side effects of infinite gems are very large and the side effects of each gem are different. Power gems require physical strength, and soul gem requires soul strength. In other words, 
Thanos' physical strength and mental strength are estimated to be sufficient. He would have no problem at all getting other gems. But the key now Thanos' first gem is the Soul Gem, and the most dangerous of all infinite gems. Soul Gem is self-conscious. Vomistar's test is generated by the gem itself. So the Soul Gem actually has remnants of the Nemesis Soul in it. So would you say it has a big impact? Originally there was only one set of true infinite gems in the entire multi-universe. And there's a seventh the self gem. These seven infinite gems are the reason Nemesis is tired of herself due to loneliness, so she splits herself into six gems with great power, collectively called infinite gems. As long as seven gems are united, Nemesis will regenerate. But these seven gems originally only existed in parallel universes. Later, it was ruled by the life court that it was not allowed to use and become a set for every universe. But there is always only one ego gem. This is constant, because it's the heart of Nemesis. 710. The screen returns to reality. Boom tilde. After another explosive shockwave was issued, Proxima Midnight looked at Thanos and said anxiously, What the hell, Ebony Moore, can't you help Lord Thanos? Ebony Moore explained, the soul power can only be relieved by the Supergent General. Neither Ebony Moore explains his powers, because his power is ability which can be regarded as a super ability, or psychokinesis, after everyone knows, can only wait for the arrival of Supergent, fortunately, Supergent is already rushing here, after a while, upon arrival, the Supergent discovers that Thanos is resisting a wave of souls, Master Thanos, Supergent immediately casts ability to appease Thanos, her psychic powers and the mind control are strong, although it can't completely suppress the side effects of Soul Gem, it can also relieve Thanos. Supergent releases psychic energy remotely. After a while, Thanos' expression was much better indeed. He slowly put down his hands, with a loving expression on his face. Supergent continues to unleash psychic energy. After half a sound, Thanos opened his eyes again. But inside the eyes, a flash of orange light, which is the light of Soul Gem, flashed by. He looked at Supergent and waved his hand. Supergent stops releasing energy. Thanos looked at the people who came out again and said, where are the other infinite gems located? Supergent replied, according to previous reports from the Chitauri civilization, the mind gem on the mind scepter is in Midgard. And according to information reports, the time gem is also likely to be within the magician holy land of Midgard. Thanos frowned. Tell me about the ancient one. Supergent nodded and replied, according to Midgard's information, Ancient One is dead. Here, here. Ebony Moore immediately stood up and proposed. As good civilization has perished in Ragnarok, the magician's sanctuary in Midgard is not garrisoned by the Ancient One neither. This is our chance. As long as you get two more infinite gems at one time, Lord Thanos, you will be the person who got the most gems at the same time in history. Ebony Moore is also right. They now only think that the shapeshifting King Kong civilization only has power gems and space gems. So only two, and after Thanos gets two more, it will be three which surpasses the shapeshifting King Kong civilization. Although Ebony Moore didn't mention it, everyone knows it. Think here. Thanos looked at the five open spots on his glove. Suddenly, an ambition to collect all the gems surged in his heart. And he has vengeance on all who stand in the way of his infinite gems. It's about you. Shapeshifting King Kong civilization. He wants revenge. There was a hard look in Thanos' eyes. He retracted his gaze, looked at several generals and said, Supergent continued to investigate the situation in Midgard at the moment. Incorporate the Chaitori civilization into Legion. The rest of the generals go to expand the army. To expand into a bigger, more, and stronger army. All the generals knelt down to take orders. 147. Sister Tan said it was delicious. Future female Hulk. The next day, Su Yi woke up in the gentle countryside. But this time when he opened his eyes and stood up, there were no limbs on his body. Get up and look around. Wanda was lying on the right side, with her legs stretched out all the time and her legs were bent into a crossed position when she passed out. The font of love is still there, but the side and legs are full of orthography. But, where's Gwen? So you looked around. It turned out that Gwen was lying on her stomach on the thick carpet below, and there is a pillow under the lower abdomen. Only then did Su Yi remember. Gwen seems to have fallen asleep with the last movement. It's just her action. Forehead, unsightly. The door is wide open. The damage suffered by this action is the highest and the deepest. So Gwen was directly broken. Just fell asleep with this action. And her forehead, back and even her face were written with orthographic characters. I can see it. So Yi targeted Gwen last night. Not for Wanda, because the positive in Gwen is at least twice that of Wanda. All right. So Yi looked around. The blindfold flew off. The soft rope dangled on the ground. It was as if a world war had been fought in the house. Sin. Sin. So Yi stretched out his hand and snapped his fingers lightly. Snap tilde. For a moment. Damp sheets and dry floors. Even the ceiling. Ahem. No ceiling. But there are on the wall dry on the wall. At the same time, all props from last night were also destroyed. This thing Su Yi can change at any time. So it's all one off. Use once and throw away. After cleaning the bedroom, Su Yi put on his nightgown, opened the door and walked out. The dancer followed after seeing it. Then Su Yi went to wash up. It's 8.50 in the morning. It turned out that he didn't find out until he came out. Tanmai and Hela didn't come home last night. 
The two are now asleep on the sofa. One fell asleep on the rug. Both of them were covered with quilts, and they looked like they had been taken out of their own bedrooms. How to say? In fact, it's all right. But why can't they bear to look directly at their sleeping positions? Tanmai fell asleep on the sofa. Do you think it was sideways? No. Half of her body was hanging under the sofa, and her head was about to slide down. Then the waist and legs hang on the sofa. So the quilt only covered the place above the sofa. And Tanmai's t-shirt also fell down due to gravity, and piled up on her neck. No under her neck. Nor is it. In short, the roll of t-shirts is already dispensable. As for Hala, the skirt covers the head. Then the quilt covers the skirt. But the problem is, so you remember that he bought briefs for her? No. Is it because Oscar doesn't have this thing? Or so you didn't buy it for her? He obviously bought a lot. Don't like to wear it? Never mind. Watching Hala sleep, so you was afraid that she would suffocate to death. So I went forward and prepared to turn the quilt over for her. As a result, he lifted the quilt. He saw a pair of smiling eyes looking at him expectantly. So Yi stopped. Hala noticed the puzzled look behind him. Why did it stop? After knowing that I have been tricked. So Yi smiled with the corners of his mouth pulled, narrowed his eyes, and looked at the time again. 8.55 a.m. It's too late, but it can be in the office. So Yi smiled and stretched out his hand. Hala smiled and reached out. Then, So Yi hugged Hala up and put it on his shoulders, then said. While walking down, Ling, I won't have breakfast today. Gwen and Wanda may not wake up at noon. Just ask Nora to make lunch for me. Dance, come with me. Okay, master, follow Su Yi downstairs. Hala finally realized Su Yi's unhappiness and the imminent consequences. Whoa, wait a minute. Hala patted Su Yi's back on Su Yi's shoulder. Don't call me Wu, or you're too cruel. Wait a minute. Wait. Su Yi chuckled, it's late. I want to see how old you are today. So in Hala's eyes a fear and little expectation. Su Yi opened the door of the office, and carried Hala in. Wu followed into the office and locked the door with his backhand. Immediately afterwards, Su so Yi's order came from inside. Dance. Press her head back and forth. Okay, Master. Wu. Triangular lock her feet and head together to face me. Okay, Master. Wu. Hold her down. I'll try to find another way. Okay, Countryman. Wu Utilda. An hour or two passed. When approaching noon, a portal opens in Hala's bedroom. Then a girl with her tongue stuck out fell from the air, with the portal closed. The figure between the girl and the Lila couldn't even escape a little bit. In the living room, the sleeping Tanmai moved her nose. Then the instinct of the body made her sit up first walked to Hala's room, and then opened her eyes on the way. Smell Tilda, it smells so good Tilda. Tanmai's eyes lit up. She hurried to Hala's bedroom door and opened it. It turned out that there was exactly what she had dreamed of in the bedroom. Part R. Tanmai quietly closed it. Then come to Hala. It turned out that Hala Yanya had fallen asleep. Hala? Tanmai poked Hala's cheek. As a result, Hala was already unconscious. But Tanmai looked at the corners of Hala's mouth. Dot. She teleported back to her lab and then teleported back again. At the moment she had the test tube in her hand. Then Tanmai quietly collected the excess. And I couldn't help but tasted it with my fingers. For a moment, Tanmai was almost stunned by this super high energy energy. Is this multi-universe energy? This is too delicious. It was the best thing she had ever eaten in her life. Tanmai at the moment eyes full of love. She stood on tiptoe happily, clenched her fists happily, and narrowed her eyes. After a while, when Tanmai recovered, she looked at little Hala and said slightly sourly, Don't give me any points. In fact, it doesn't matter to Tanmai that the body shape of a human being is fruitful, because her body is not human, it is an energy form, so her innate consciousness is not human, it's just that she is human now. At the same time, she didn't know what it meant to be shy. Aren't all people the same? There are two eyes, limbs, a nose, a mouth, and two ears. The biggest difference is, Sue is so strong, so strong, so strong. Sue is so fragrant, super 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 fragrant. Important things must be said three times. So Tanmai looked at Hala's stomach, it bulges slightly. There must be a lot of food. Too bad it's not mine. Tanmai sighed regretfully. She took out her phone and pointed it at Hala to click again. As expected, under the perspective view of the phone, there are three groups of super high energy life energy in Hala's belly. Three groups? Tanmai was puzzled. Aren't there two groups last time? Where can I install the third regiment? Tanmai took a good look at the three-dimensional model of the woman. Then oh Tilda I understand. It turns out that you can still pretend like this. Those three regiments are indeed the most pretentious. Hala is so smart Tilda. Tanmai praised Hala, according to human beings. The fastest absorption is the top one, followed by the back one, and finally the front one. So Hala's installation method is extremely efficient in Tanmai's eyes, and use them all. Tanmai nodded, but she watched Hala's body grow more and the more greedy, compared to what's inside Hala's body. What's in the Tanmai test tube is just a little bit, but she can't help it. Well, Tanmai sighed. Let's find a way to get along well with Sue. I hope he will give it to me sooner. In the midst of moaning and sighing. Tanmai teleported back to her underground laboratory, then began the research of ultra-high energy life energy. She did it secretly. Be sure to research it quickly. Then devour the rest. 
The screen returns to the office. Crack. After snapping your fingers to refresh the office, Su Yi sat comfortably on the seat. Wu opened the locked door. Part R. Then he returned to Su Yi and said, Master, if you need to release the pressure, the dancer and I are always on call. It's not that Su Yi doesn't want to, but that he really can't find the time to try this Ben. You can't. I thought about it and tried it. That's too dot 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 impulsive. Su Yi thought about it. You can only find a period when you don't get pressure relief. Then only at this time. Wait for Wanda and Gwen's menstrual period. Remember to remind me, and help me remember by the way. Wu nodded. Already in backup, Miss Wanda's and Miss Gwen's menstrual periods will coincide with each other next week. Master, Su Yi was taken aback. Is this such a coincidence? Real or fake? Seeing Su Yi's puzzled expression, Wu explained. It has been scientifically proven that the menstrual periods of women who take a man at the same time will gradually become consistent. Research has found that this is the biological synchronization, which is very similar to the principle of the beat effect. Su Yi knows the beat effect. The principle is to put a bunch of metronomes together. Even if you start shaking the scrambled metronome in a different order. But they eventually become consistent at one point. Just never orderly. Then gradually become synchronous. But Su Yi didn't expect that he would be like this physically. All right. Su Yi nodded. Then next week. Wu nodded. And at the same time, she told Ling upstairs about the matter through the inner connection. Ling definitely has no comments. She was quite happy instead. I can finally serve my master Tilda. So now there is good news and bad news. The bad news. Wanda and Gwen have their period next Monday. The good news, he has two pens to replace. Ah, fine. It is impossible to fight bloody battles. So Yi absolutely didn't have such an idea. Instead he felt sick. So think about the good news. That's a little exciting Tilda. Cough cough cough. Until noon. Ling Juan brought Nora's lunch. It's lunch, my lord. Put it down. 17. Then Su Yi had a hearty meal. Then when he wiped his mouth and drank water, Su Yi remembered. Ah, by the way. I didn't watch the news today. Su Yi turned on the TV and looked for news. The result is a video. The video counts as a street shot video. It's night in the video. A man is running like crazy. But the cars around him will be suddenly attacked and rolled aside. Well, another sad ordinary person is born. Immediately afterwards, the man was violently beaten by an invisible creature that didn't seem to exist. Then a woman came out to help the man. But women were also beaten. The two seemed to be fighting wits with the air. Then after a while. The man transforms. His head was covered with white cloth. The whole body also changed a set of clothes. The eyes glowed white. Holding a white hood, the white crescent on his chest just formed a sharp contrast with the moon above his head. He is Moonlight Knight. Immediately afterwards, the man who was beaten up just now seemed to be a different person. Suddenly he started beating invisible creatures. The Moonlight Knight wields a curved crescent blade. Then he grabbed the air and beat him violently. Finally the battle is over. The man walks away with a woman. Air didn't know whether to die or run. Isn't this the plot of Moonlight Knight? After a while, this man will go to Egypt, then take part in the battle between the angels. To put it simply, the crocodile god and the moon god of Egypt f's each other. Then the man who is the envoy of god will fight another envoy of god. In the end the hero won. The two souls in his head also coexisted. Like Hulk, look at the news presentation again. New superhero, who is he? Why is it not registered? New York is in crisis again? After reading it, Su Yi shook his head helplessly. Still in crisis. Barring multi-universe chaos, the crisis of this universe is almost over. Definitely, the end is for ordinary people. Like now Loki is fine. That only takes a while. The time administration will surely find that this sacred timeline is abnormal. Then someone will travel over and make adjustments. At that time, Su Yi will still intervene but not necessarily. Wanda might be able to drive them away by then. So before Kang the Conqueror comes out, he doesn't seem to use his hands. Good King good. So for ordinary people, the only big crisis is the ineffective Thanos. Now Thanos is not a threat to the Earth. It's hard to say whether he can enter the solar system. So what kind of crisis is the Moonlight Night crisis? It doesn't matter, just go and play by yourself. So you went back to the chair and continued to fish. Wait a minute. At this moment, so you remembered. If Gwen killed that crocodile god in Egypt, will Gwen start to have powers? So Yi thought about it. There is still a possibility. Divine power is a good thing to increase ability. Then when the crocodile god recovers, I'll throw Gwen over the tequila god. After such a decision, So Yi started fishing happily again. Today is Friday. After finishing this writing class today, I can rest tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. With this joyful mood, in the afternoon, Su Yi also received an ordinary female client. It's just that Su Yi felt that she might not be ordinary. But until the end, with the door being opened, an urban beauty with long wavy hair walked in holding a document. She was wearing a lady's suit and her hair was tied up. She looks polite and very ladylike. Overall score. The full score is 100, and Su Yi gives. 8185 Marvel's appearance is average or above average. After coming in, Su Yi stretched out his hand to signal her to sit down. At the same time he checked the time. TF2 colon 10. Fortunately, there are nearly three hours before get off work. Look at her good looks. Su Yi can chat with her until after get off work to pass the time. Immediately afterwards, 
the other party began to introduce himself. Hello, Dr. Sue, my name is Jennifer Susan Walters, and I am a lawyer by profession. I want to know about the victim of a gangster case in my hand through you. The case will be in court next Monday, so I need to understand the victim's psychological damage to get more favorable evidence against the gang. Wait, what's her name? So Yi was a little familiar after hearing the name. Isn't this the future female Hulk? 148. Hulk's cousin Hulk, install infinite gems on both girls. When hearing the name Jennifer Susan Walters, so Yi hasn't remembered who she is yet. After all, the name is so long. It's not too familiar. How could he keep everyone in mind? But I heard it later. Lawyer, so Yi remembered after the gangster case. Isn't this Bruce Banner's cousin? That is, Marvel's follow-up female Hulk. And this female Hulk is greater than Banner Hulk in ability. Why? Because she can even break the fourth wall in the late game. That is to find out my editor and cartoonist. Then forcibly modify the ending of your comics. That is to say, the bad ending can be changed into a perfect ending. Definitely. The beginning, birth and process generally cannot be changed. This is already set. But the ending can be changed. At least it can change the bad ending into a good ending. So characters who can break the fourth wall are very troublesome, such as Deadpool Little Cheap Cheap, such as Genuine Spider-Man. For example, this female Hulk, and the last one, and a Deadpool version of Gwen. Yes, you heard that right. There is only one Spider-Gwen in the whole universe, but Deadpool Gwen has one too. She's just slightly different in appearance, but Deadpool Gwen is directly the existence that breaks the fourth wall. That is, as long as she exists. She has already read her comics, and this Deadpool Gwen is still a house girl addicted to the second dimension and unable to extricate herself. But she has a character. I like to make trouble. Ah this? Never mind. Deadpool Gwen is still far away from Su Yi. She had broken the fourth wall after all. So before she wants to enter the multi-universe, no universe has Deadpool Gwen. Only she wanted to come in. Then Deadpool Gwen would appear in one of those universes. So there is no her yet. Alright, back to business. Su Yi glanced at the folder of the future girl Hulk. So you want me to know the patient's mental illness only by relying on the physical data compiled by the hospital for the patient, Jennifer Susan Ah, uh, forget it, I will be called Jenny from now on, Jenny blinked, a little innocently, can't it, isn't it like this in all hospitals now, why is this lawyer a medical blind, you let me just look at the data to determine the patient's mental illness out of thin air, can you eat pancakes, alas, 113 inches Su Yi sighed and touched his chin, Jenny looked at Su Yi and sighed, she thought it was because of Su Yi's difficulties. So she added, My victim has been persecuted by the gang for a long time and his life is threatened. So she was judged to have a high degree of depression, as well as mental illnesses such as mania. Now she goes crazy from time to time and even wants to commit suicide. Ah, you also know? Then you ask me? Su Yi sighed helplessly. You also know that you have these diseases, so these are enough for you to win the lawsuit. Why do you still ask me? I'm not a dentist, ophthalmologist or gynecologist. If you give me a patient you can only read the data, you can only see a little problem. In the United States, freedom of life and spiritual freedom are placed at a very high level. Therefore, if depression is judged, it is forced out. Even if the defendant is the victim's parents, they will also be severely punished. Yes, you can't force your kids to learn something, as long as he does not learn to be bad, that is his freedom. Similarly, even if you are studying, you can't force it too hard. It's like forcing out depression. Then it was discovered by the school or neighbors. The parents will definitely be warned and punished. Oh, right. The victim has to be white. This premise is forgotten. But Jenny knew that too. So she added, The gang was very powerful and they threatened me not to represent my victim in court when I had to help her. So I have to come up with strong evidence. The court will be broadcast on television that day. As long as I can produce strong evidence to prove it on the internet, I will not be afraid even if the judge is confirmed. Because the whole network will pay attention to this case at that time, it is impossible for the mayor of New York not to deal with it. Well said. Jenny's plan was almost exactly right. And as long as Jenny finishes this legal defense, then her professional lawyer career will soar. The fledgling female lawyer destroys the entire underground gang with her intelligence and wit, and seeks justice for the victims. Oh Tilda, look at how righteous this is. How nice it sounds. But what Jenny didn't expect. It is the darkness of this society. Do you still have a chance to defend yourself in court? What are you thinking? Waiting to be assassinated on the road. So Su Yi shook his head helplessly to remind her. Miss Jennifer, even if there are superheroes in this world, there are places where the light doesn't shine. In other words, wherever there is light, there must be, pfeck, darkness. They are coexisting relationships, and there is no single light. So you accept all the consequences of attending this court appearance? The reality is very dark Tilda. Su Yi didn't say this directly but it goes without saying. It's like before a person goes blind. He'd never know what it was like to be blind. Do you think it's dark? No, it's an endless void. Jenny nodded seriously and said, I can accept. Well, since this is the case, I will do what I can. So Yi stretched out his hand towards the document. After hearing this, Jenny immediately handed the document to Su Yi happily. And what is Su Yi able to do? Help you analyze mental illness. No more. Play by yourself. Su Yi received the document, 
opened it and looked at it, good guy, the United States medical report is detailed, what data are there, and it's all based on data for you to see, even a psychological test, there are also special standards for you to draw, after all, the psychological test has a physiological response test and a brain answer test, so they can mark it for you too, for example, this person encounters various problems and reactions to tests, etc. Definitely, the test that Suyi said would cost a lot of money, cough cough, ordinary tests are out of the question, how much money you spend, you can test a few samples, the United States full physical examination is also expensive, especially mentally, and dentistry, that's all, so you made observation reports page by page, don't underestimate his professional ability, without Phoenix Force, he is still the top psychiatrist, and Zen Zen watched Su Yi's reaction nervously, after half a sound, Su Yi turned the report to the very first page, then point to the data in one of the columns and push it to Jenny, do you know what data this is, Jenny looked carefully, then read its name at the front of the serial number, visual physiological responses to recall physiological responses, yes, Su Yi nodded, it's called the active physiological and mental response for short, then Su Yi swiped down this column, then he turned it over and said, you look at this column and tell me how you feel, Jenny took the report, then he began to read Su Yi's active physiological and mental response report, look very carefully and seriously, after a while, she suddenly looked up and said, the active physiological and mental response is much higher than the passive response, and the response to question recall and envelope forms was extremely high, here here, Su Yi nodded, you're right, but Jenny was still puzzled, but what does this, Express? Express what? It's useful to you. It shows that your victim has an extreme fear of questionable memories and envelopes, and if you want to deliver the coup de grace in court, then you have to collect ahead of time what memories the victim is afraid of, and what kind of envelopes and picture leaves. Then at the opening of the court it was demonstrated that the victim's mental problems were out of his control, then indirectly elicits the existence of the fear of these two victims. Ultimately the victim's uncontrolled stress in front of the courts and broadcast, and your goal has been achieved. While this may cause secondary harm to the victim, it may also be your only chance for justice. Su Yi's plan was almost seamless, but only if Jenny can show up in court. Otherwise, no matter how good Su Yi's opinion is, there is no way for Jenny to appear in court when she gets caught by Garnon on the road. But Jenny said it was very useful after listening to it. After she heard Su Yi's words, immediately, he took out a notebook and a pen from his bag and wrote down the key points. Because Su Yi talked a lot, she needs to jot it down and plan it. See here. Su Yi also nodded in satisfaction. Anyway, at least people take this matter seriously. And Su Yi didn't feel neglected because he was very powerful behind his back, or because he saw such justice. Well, how should I put it? This is not a question of status, gender, or ability, but mutual respect. Just like rich people and ordinary people can have quality or not. After a while, Jenny has missed the point. Then he asked Su Yi a few more detailed questions. Su Yi told her, finally, Jenny put away the notebook like a treasure. Then he took out his bank card and said gratefully, Thank you very much, Dr. Su. Without your help, I would not have made such great progress. Su Yi took the bank card and smiled. You're welcome. It costs money. Thank you. After swiping the money with Jenny's bank card, Su Yi returned the bank card to Jenny. Jenny put it away, chatted with Su Yi for a while. But Su Yi is also a little strange. Hasn't this Jenny just graduated a few years ago? Don't you feel bad about such an expensive psychological counseling for ordinary people? It seems that the background of the female Hulk is not rich. Drip Tilda. Suddenly, Jenny's phone thought. She took out her phone and looked at it. Bruce Banner. So with an awkward smile, she stepped aside and connected the phone. Jenny thought that Su Yi would not be able to hear her. But actually for Su Yi, this is no different from cheating. The phone connects. Banner's voice came first. Banner. Jenny, why does my phone prompt that the bank card has deducted a lot of rice? Um, in order to collect more evidence for a case, I found a psychologist who was recommended to me. Banner, however, that is the salary card I gave you to keep on the day I became a superhero. If I die in the line of duty, you can receive a sum of comfort money, but I haven't died in the line of duty yet Jane. But he is a very powerful psychiatrist. The price is expensive, I don't have enough money dot 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 so I can only use yours. Sorry, Banner, okay, it's fine as long as you use it for business, and, wait, what's the name of the psychiatrist you're looking for, Yi Su, here in the northern building, Banner, what's wrong bro, Banner, phew dot 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 it's okay, I'll tell you when you come back, by the way, it seems that this matter is serious, I'll accompany you on the day you appear in court, R, come on, if someone finds out that superhero Hulk is my cousin, then my legal career will not be able to go on normally, how can I live a normal life, Banner, well, then I'll just take you to the court, okay, I won't go into the court, I'll wait outside for you to come out, that's no problem, you can talk about it when I go back, I'm still at Dr. Sue's place, I'm dead, Jenny hung up the phone, at this point, 
Su Yi also understood why Jenny didn't feel distressed. She uses Banner's salary card. Why does it hurt to suck his brother's blood? Cough cough cough. But it's not enough. It's just that Jenny takes this case too seriously. It's about her career, as long as it is done. At the rate that a lawyer in the United States makes money. After Jenny became famous in her business, she could pay back the psychological counseling fee that her brother just used in minutes. After Jenny hung up the phone and came back, she looked at the time, picked up the bag and said, I've got to go first. I'm going to the victim's house to check on her before it gets dark. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Pat Tilda. At this point, Jenny is gone. And Su Yi knows. Wait until the next time we meet again. It's not pure Jenny. It's Hulk Jenny. Although he knows that the plot in the middle may change. The female Hulk will still be born because of the closure of the sacred timeline. Unless the time administration is gone. After Jenny left, after a while, Su Yi, the time also came to 5 p.m. of work. Su Yi showed up outside the door on time with a dancer. Then lock the door with a click and then clock in. The thought of two days off tomorrow. Su Yi felt that there was endless time to spend tonight. Well, let's go see how Wanda and Gwen are doing. I don't know if they are awake. He came to the bedroom first. It was found that the two were not there. Then go around again. As a result, I heard the two of them playing and fighting inside. Gwen, you've washed off all the stains on your body. But it seems that the pink heart really can't be washed off. So you could hear it from outside. Wanda definitely said it gloating. You still have the face to criticize me. Is your love plush just beautiful? This Su Yi could also hear it. Gwen retorted in shame and indignation. But when I grow out, I can repair it all at once. At most a few months. But you are permanent. HMPH. Forever will be forever. I'll just keep it like this. This proves that Su loves me very much. He left a mark of his love on me. Then you. At this point, Wanda didn't know how to refute. Say no. Then she is really cowardly. Let Su Yi know that she can't bloom up and down. But say yes. Wouldn't that make Gwen proud? So Wanda thought about it, and was still stunned into silence. HMPH Tilda Gwen smiled happily after seeing it. You. Wow Tilda. Tilda. X2. Seeing Su Yi come in. The two girls were startled. No. We just finished washing our body, doctor. Then you misunderstood me. So Yi took out the two infinite gems from the blind box opened last time. One is the purple power gem. One is the yellow mind gem. This is the power gem. Gwen holds it. You slowly absorb the power in the gem. This is mind gem. Wanda holds it. You slowly absorb the spiritual energy inside. The two women hugged themselves. Looking at the two infinite gems, he said suspiciously. Then you put it away. We will come later. Cough cough. So Yi said at this moment in a daze. But the gem has a prerequisite for you. What? Package install. Ah, you are bad. 149. Firearms care and maintenance. Gwen saves the female Hulk. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I have changed it too many times. Please bear with me if something is wrong. I can't help it. I have deleted and changed a lot. 7.30 p.m. So ye helped the two girls and walked out slowly. Gwen holds the power gem. But the symbiote battle suit can swallow the power gem and use it as equipment. Wanda temporarily made mind gem into a necklace and hung it around her neck. In this way. Both infinite gems are equal to the state of equipment. Two women can use it if they want. After the two girls changed into their pajamas, Su Yi helped them to lie down on the reclining chair of Little Universe. Definitely not one chair per person. Instead, Su Yi walked in the middle, Wanda and Gwen half-legged on him, and then rested their heads on his shoulders. Do you understand the feeling of too soft, hot and fragrant lying in your arms? Why put it aside? Smell the faint fragrance between the hair tips of the two women. Su Yi took a long breath, intoxicated cool Tilda. At the same time, Fingers are still on their waists and hips, feeling the icy skin and jade skin. Mr. Pervert. Wanda's face was flushed and she leaned on Su Yi's body, at the same time looking at the moon in the small universe sky. Mr. Bardas. Gwen was different. She bit Su Yi directly and gently. A tilde. EST. Su Yi gasped for a breath that didn't hurt at all. Then he smashed Gwen's head with his chin. Be careful if you don't behave well. I will execute you on the spot. Hearing that he will be punished on the spot, Gwen immediately felt strange, and even applied her hand to the place where she was crying. A smile appeared on Wanda's face when she saw it. She thought for a while, and started to fire directly. Gwen, weren't you very proud before? Keep going. Wanda hasn't finished yet. So Yi, who heard that she was fighting fire, directly pinched her lifeline. And Wanda definitely chose to surrender. Sorry. Heard an apology. Su Yi let go of his hand. Wanda finally relaxed and breathed a sigh of relief. Do you still dare to fight the fire? Who did you learn from? Don't dare. I learned it from watching TV. Gwen looked at Wanda and giggled. Call you to fire. He he. Even so. But Gwen admits that Wanda is right. She was also scared. In the eyes of normal people, there are no plowed fields, only exhausted cattle. But here in Suai, there are no exhausted cows. Only land to plow back and forth. And this bull is still the bull of bulls. Just task if you are afraid. After playing around, the three hugged each other, blowing the evening wind from the small universe, and looked at the moon in the small universe. The small universe belongs to Su Yi, 
but it also exists in this universe, and so ye put it on the earth. So its projection and the orbit of the earth and the moon simulate the environment of the surrounding universe. If so ye put the small universe next to the sun, there is always light on one side of the small universe, and the other side is always dark, because the small universe does not rotate on its own. Think here. So ye looked at the garden and orchard in front of him. After wonder and when worked hard, the file size of the garden has expanded to several hundred square meters, and they've already bloomed. And it seems that because of the land and the environment, the flowers here are hard to wither when they bloom. It seems like it won't fade away. At the same time, the fruit trees in Gwen also sprouted new shoots and new branches. This means that almost all the fruit trees are planted alive. According to the growth rate of the small universe, just wait a few cycles. Maybe in just one or two months, these fruit trees will be able to grow and bear fruit. Then you can eat the fresh and juicy fruit. Artilda, so comfortable. Look at the flowers blooming and falling in front of the court and look at the clouds rolling and relaxing in the sky. So Yi hugged the two girls comfortably and closed his eyes to rest for a while. But then Gwen said suddenly, Sue, will you be on vacation tomorrow? So Yi closed his eyes and nodded. Yes, what's the matter? Then I'll go back tonight and tell my mother and George that you can come to our house for dinner at noon tomorrow. So Yi thought about it. Okay, then tomorrow at noon. He he, you are so kind. After hearing this, Gwen hugged Su Yi happily. Wanda was also half lying in Su Yi's arms. The two just met each other's eyes but there is no rivalry. Just feel very happy together, very happy, very happy. But well, the troublesome Gwen suddenly remembered something. She looked up to see if Su Yi had his eyes closed. After confirming that the eyes are closed, she looked at Wanda, then pointed her eyes down. Wanda looks down. It turns out that Gwen's little hands are dishonest and pickpocketing like a thief. Tilda. Su Yi took a deep breath inwardly. Can this move? His head grew bigger in an instant, but he just wanted to get up. Gwen pressed it down and said, you can't move this time. You have to act as a paralyzed patient except this one. Okay, if you don't move, don't move. So Yi sat on the chair comfortably, and still with eyes closed. But, even if he doesn't watch it, psychokinesis can also be seen as eyes when he releases his spirit. Ha 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 same. Then under the observation of psychokinesis, Gwen at the moment is doing maintenance for the sniper. The process of maintaining and maintaining weapons is very cumbersome and must be carefully maintained. So first of all, put on the gun oil. This point is the most and biggest step, and Gwen couldn't do it alone. A sniper is so long, it needs more maintenance. So Gwen looked to Wanda for help, signal to come over and help maintain this sniper. Wanda hesitated. She looked at Su Yi who was meditating with his eyes closed, so she became more interested and stepped forward to help. So the two work together, and each is responsible for maintaining a part of it. But we all know, maintenance is a technical work. The maintenance of the long sword needs to be wiped, polished, even polished and so on. Motorcycle and car insurance requires oil changes, car washes, polishes, and more. Otherwise, haven't you heard the saying that if you grind your guns in battle, you will be light if you are not fast? As long as you take care of it carefully, it will definitely pay off. That's all. I don't know how long it has been. Grunt Tilda. After weapon maintenance is over, Gwen bounced around like a normal person and waved away. Then I'll go back first, Sue. So I'll pick you up again at noon tomorrow. Bye. So Yi replied with a long breath. Goodbye, cool Tilda. After Gwen left, Su Yi just wanted to stand up, etc. The result was suddenly blocked by Wanda. Um, Su Yi turned his head to look at Wanda. What's wrong? Wanda looked at Gwen's bouncing back, and Su Yi's happy expression. She pouted. Then he started talking while tying up his hair. You snap your fingers first to get clean. Su Yi was taken aback for a moment. But who doesn't understand seeing hair tied? He snapped his fingers immediately. Snap Tilda, then instantly become the cleanest place in the universe. Immediately afterwards, substitute. So Yi reached out and touched her head. Give her encouragement. Then becomes A. E. Today is the happiest day ever. Well, so, and the other side. After changing her clothes, Gwen went downstairs and walked towards home like an ordinary person. She is wearing black slim pants, wearing a coat of white on the outside and powder on the inside. He listens to music with a blue Sony Bluetooth headset on his head. She walked so happily, at the same time in order to cut corners. Gwen just walked a few streets that are usually not visited by people, because the street lights in these streets are very old. The municipal government is too lazy to find someone to replace it. Otherwise, who can bear the exchange of hundreds of street lamps for millions of dollars? So gradually no one left here. Gwen crossed a few deserted streets, but nothing happened. She listened to the song on the earphones, bouncing and humming while walking. But the next moment, Gwen looked towards the alley ahead to the left with a little premonition. Bang Tilda, bang, as expected. First came the sound of suppressed pistol shots. Part a part a part a Tilda. Then there is the running sound of a person in front and several people behind. Die to me, Lawyer Walters. Boss knew you'd come to this bitch's house. We've laid an ambush for you before you come out. Stop running barrister. I'll send you to hell to be a lawyer. Ha 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 ha. As the crowd ran, cursed and shot, the crowd gradually ran towards Gwen. Gwen smiled, she took off her earphones and took her off her hood. Working overtime. Really, 
I just had a full meal and I need to exercise. Gwen had just finished speaking. There was another voice in the alley. You scum. I'll send you all to jail. R? Going to prison. Isn't that old age care? Ha ha ha. Barrister, we will only go to private prisons. We will oppose them outside. Next moment, the black, pink and white symbiote battle suit is instantly dressed. Then Gwen took the initiative to walk in the direction of the source of the sound. At this moment, Gwen went out. It just happened to collide with lawyer Jenny who ran to the end and was about to take off. Jenny from at the moment was so tired that she was about to collapse. Dot dot ask for flowers. She didn't look up either. But she said hastily after feeling the female figure run. The people behind are gangsters. Go to the police station and call the police. But the next moment, shashashasha Tilda, with the sound of the soles of the feet breaking suddenly behind a Jenny, another person fell down without stopping. Then there was a voice that surprised Jenny, Spider, Miss Spider, what should I do? Quick, shoot, focus on Miss Spider, visible, arrive, gangsters are not vegetarian, he won't just come up and run away, instead, trust the gun in your hand, when in order to protect Jenny, so she waved, go straight ahead, in an instant, several pink and white flying darts shot out, PSSD tilde, PSSD tilde, PSSD tilde, then all hit the gangster's gun wielding arm, a tilde, suddenly there were screams in the alley, Gwen was just listening to the song, now it's annoying, to hear the screams again, so Gwen thought about it, should she use the gem that Suyi gave her, thinking of this, Gwen walked to the center of the gangster who fell to the ground, she opened her hand, and the power gem emerged, then she shook hands, a wave of purple energy burst out, the gangsters all fell asleep, very fast, at the same time, the flying darts thrown out by Gwen are also recycled into the body, and Jenny had been panting just now, but she also witnessed the whole process, seeing each other is Miss Spider, Jenny said very gratefully, thank you, Miss Spider, or I'd be doomed, zero, Gwen waved his hand indifferently, then he took out the gangster's mobile phone, dialed 911 and handed it to Jenny, R, in Jenny's blindfold, she took the phone that had dialed 911, then I watched Gwen jump off the roof in twos and twos, at the moment tasked on the phone, hi, this is 911, ah, uh, I'm on 20th street in New York right now, and there's gangsters, and pistols, and, okay, the New York police are dispatching police officers near you, please find a safe place to wait, wait, I'm fine, but the gangsters are all passed out, and I don't know if they're dead or not, um dot 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 okay, the nearby police officers will be here soon, 11, okay, then I'll wait for you nearby, and the other side, Gwen had put on her headphones again and was walking down the street, she was listening to music, then he took out his mobile phone and sent a message to Su Yi, Gwen, just now, I hit another gangster, this group of people really can't finish it, just like flies, and in the northern building, look at the message from the phone, Su Yi glanced at Wanda who was practicing hard below, he is practicing rhythm with Wanda by hand, and challenged the limit of deep, so he could only use his mind to control the phone and replied, Su Yi, dot 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 very good, but that's it, even if this gangster is gone, there will be a new gangster after a while, so it can only be curbed, not wiped out, Gwen, well, I understand, I'm just lamenting that this world is still a bit too dark, it would be nice if it was less, so ye, well, even if this universe is less, other universes will not be less, darkness is an inevitable byproduct of human society, Gwen, other universes, will other universes be the same as us, is there the same me, so ye, his dot 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 it's not the same, at least you, me, and Wanda are all one, and there are twin dancers and refrigerator Nora, you will have a chance to meet, trust me, Gwen, okay, I know, but why do I feel that something is wrong with you, you are not bullying Wanda, are you, mentally seeing this news, so ye couldn't help but exert a little force on his hands, Wu Tilda, Wanda's throat immediately swelled, and she quickly patted Su Yi's tail, Su Yi let go immediately, Wanda immediately gave Su Yi a teary look, ahem, sorry, Su Yi apologizes first, then wait for Wanda to resume practice before replying, Su Yi, that's right, I was bullying Wanda so hard just now, it almost made her cry, Gwen, are you crying, so weak, he he, I can control all the muscles in my body, can she not compare to me, seeing this, Su Yi inevitably felt dizzy again, Su Yi, you can't say that, Gwen is definitely amazing, but Wanda is also studying hard, Gwen, HMPH, let her learn to catch up with me, Wanda just looks trustworthy, but in fact she is a crispy skin, a little bit, well, I'm home, don't talk about Su, wait for me tomorrow, message, goodbye, Su Yi, hiss, goodbye, Gwen sees the final goodbye, then he turned off his phone and entered his small bungalow, mom, I'm back where is George? I have something to say to you. 150. The beautiful scenery of the small universe, the new legion of Cybertron, follow Gwen back home. Mrs. Stacy came down the stairs, then looked at Gwen with a mysterious expression and asked, You still know to come back? You will be married to someone after me. Mother heard about getting married. Gwen was still a little shy. After all, this word is both far away from her and very close to her. Where's George? He just received a call from the police station, 
saying that gangsters had shot at number 20 street, so he went out temporarily. Well, the daughter's mess, the father cleans up. Not right either. How can this be a mess? It is obviously the performance of the daughter, let the father take it back. All right. Mrs. Stacy asks now. What do you want us to do? You don't want to go back to get married right away after you get the certificate, do you? No. Gwen was immediately asked about babbling. Then he took Mrs. Stacy to the bedroom and said, Aunt tomorrow and the day after tomorrow off, and I'm going to start school soon, so I plan to bring Sue to my house for dinner tomorrow. Is that okay? Really? Mrs. Stacy covered her mouth in surprise. Definitely yes. I'll let George take a day off and then we'll cook a big lunch ourselves. That's great. Gwen was very happy to hear that. Seeing mom so happy and supportive. Then Gwen didn't feel stressed at all. So the mother and daughter chatted quickly. And women talk. In fact, it's not that serious at all. On the contrary, it is more private than chatting with men. Mrs. Stacy asked Gwen directly. Gwen, how is Sue? Is she nice? How is it to you? Sure, mom. Gwen and Mrs. Stacy sat on the bed and said, Sue has helped me a lot. Without Sue, how could you have the daughter you have today? Question mark. Mrs. Stacy was stunned when she heard such a high evaluation. Then I realized that I wanted to mark 730 when. Then what you mean is that George and I didn't get educated well? R. Wait. Gwen immediately ran to the other side of the clothes and said. I can't say that education is okay. It's not moving. It's not in one direction. Okay. Hearing this, Gwen's mother put away her hands. It's okay. But then, Gwen's mother asked again with eyes that you understand. How about Sue's body? I don't want us to have no grandson or granddaughter in the future. Was asked this. Gwen blushed instantly. Then I connected to the painting on the belly. Gwen blushed instantly. She can be very bold to Sue Yi. But he was ashamed of any creature other than Sue Yi, including his own mother. So Gwen hesitated and didn't know what to say. Mother Gwen took a look. She took Gwen's hand and asked quietly, gesturing. Where? She gestured with her fingers for the position of the palm, the position of the wrist and the position close to the forearm. Needless to say, Gwen draws it out on the line. But Gwen thought about it. She gestured directly to the elbow. Girls' hands are not that long. The fingers aren't that long either, just slender. But this is still the level of 5XL. Oh Tilda. Immediately, Gwen's mother's small mouth was dark and round. You sure? Gwen nodded. Couldn't be more sure. For a while, Gwen's mother stared, then fantasized about it. He suddenly tapped Gwen's stomach and asked softly, Is that here? Mother, Zui Win was taken aback by being hit in the stomach. Then he hurriedly clutched his stomach to stay away from his mother, and gave her a shameful and angry look. Okay, okay, then I won't talk about it. I'm going back. Gwen was taken aback by her mother's audacity. She hurried to her bedroom. Listen to the strong heartbeat in your heart. But this is normal. It was the first time she fell in love, and it was also the first time her mother asked such exciting things. Ordinary girls can't accept it. Gwen was definitely too shy to take it anymore. At the moment, she even felt hot all over her body. Gwen looked at her crib. She jumped up and lay down there to rest for a while, then turned over and lay down to look at the ceiling. He obviously only went to live at Su Yi's house for two days, but she felt that she was not familiar with this place. Not strangeness. It is a kind of importance of this room. It is no longer as important as Su Yi's family. That's what it feels like. Gwen put her hands behind her head and played with her little feet on the wall, thinking of bringing Su Yi home tomorrow. Gwen was a little excited and couldn't sleep. And wait until the meal is over. I must bring Su Yi to this room to have a look. Let Su Yi see the house where he grew up. Oh, right. At this moment, Gwen suddenly reacted. I need to tidy up first. What if Su Yi Lai feels messed up tomorrow? One thought here. Gwen stood up immediately. Then start tidying up your room. Fold the clothes. Put away the unnecessary things. Arrange the necessary things neatly. And hope to see the important things. That's all. Gwen is looking forward to tomorrow's family reunion tonight. And the other side. After guiding Wanda to train for a while. Wanda raised her head and said weakly and wearily. Su. I'm tired. Su Yi patted her head. That's the last round. Good. Wanda actually listens to Su Yi very much. Basically, she can accept Su Yi's request as long as it is not excessive. Sometimes even ask to try. So Su Yi was very happy. It was also deleted. It has become stricter recently. Please understand. It is so difficult. Ahem. Finally, under a few coughs, Wanda fell back, lay down on the lawn and took a deep breath to rest. Su Yi snapped his fingers. For a while, everything around has become cleaner. Su Yi stood up and looked at the starry sky and the land. The small universe is really comfortable. There was a slight breeze and the temperature was just right. Su Yi thought for a while, then suddenly suggested, Wanda, shall we sleep in Cosmos tonight? Wanda didn't answer, just a nasal sound. Well, can, then sleep in the small universe. Definitely. It is not just like this. So you looked around, then snap your fingers in the garden. Crack. Next moment, a wooden bowl-shaped bed resembling a swallow's nest emerges, or it's just an oversized wooden bowl. It's just that there is a ladder going up at the same time. Then Su Yi waved again. An exclusive semicircular mattress pounced on it. Then there is a big quilt. Look at such a bed. Pop Tilda. Su Yi clapped his hands in satisfaction. Wanda tilted her head to look, immediately asked curiously, Is this? 
A bed? Yes, Tzu Yi nodded. Then he took off his slippers and fell asleep. Wait until people go in. There is a slope of more than 10 degrees between the position of the hand and the head. But this slope is not going to kill people. Instead it makes you feel comfortable, just right. It's kind of like a beanbag. Wanda crawled in curiously after seeing it. As a result, I lost my strength. The moment he climbed up, he fell into the bowl. Then rolled to Su Yi's side. Wanda immediately covered her mouth. Almost missed it. After a while, Wanda and Su Yi were lying together. Then look at the stars in the sky together. The wooden bowl bed has no top and ceiling. Microcosms are also free of various emissions and light obscurations. Why can't we see stars in big cities? but in rural areas. One is emissions to see the cleanliness of the atmosphere. The second is to see if there are too many lights in the city. Every star is a fixed star. Their light traveled an unknown number of light years to reach Earth. So it's already very weak. If only there were too many city lights, then it will make some already weak stars disappear. And Su Yi's small universe, you can even see most of the Milky Way. It's so beautiful. Wanda fell asleep next to Su Yi, holding Su Yi's arm tightly with both hands and resting her head on Su Yi's shoulder. I've said it all. Su Yi looked at Wanda. Wanda looked at Su Yi. Then the two laughed at the same time. Not as beautiful as you Tilda. Both of them laughed at the same time. Smile very happily. Wanda is not like Gwen. She has no home. So she regarded Su Yi as her last home. But Gwen has a family. But Gwen took Su Yi's family more and more seriously. It has even outgrown the original home. Definitely. This is not to say that the original home is not important. It's that you originally only had one hobby. But then you have another hobby. Although the later hobbies are gradually greater than the former hobbies, the weight of the former hobbies in your heart has not changed. At this point, Hala is actually pretty much the same. It's just that Hala doesn't like her previous home even more. And now she only has Su Yi as her family. Gradually, the two stared at the starry sky like this. After a while, a long breathing sound came from Su Yi's side. He turned to look. Wanda had fallen asleep with his arms in his arms, and her three-dimensional and beautiful facial features just faced her like this. Su Yi approached, then gently stabilized her forehead. Good night. Finally he fell asleep too. At the moment Cybertron Star, with the consent of the elders, the shape-shifting King Kong civilization successfully had a second legion. The reason for expanding the legion is simple. And this is proposed by Collector. Dear Elders, there are countless resources in the universe, and we also need more metal resources to upgrade weapons, homes, facilities, buildings, etc. So I propose to expand another shape-shifting King Kong army. This offer is quick. It got passed because the productivity, construction power, upgrade speed and demand of the Elders are increasing day by day. The metal resources consumed by Cybertron civilization every day are countless times that of when Cybertron first started. At the moment, Please watch the planet Cybertron. Fully automatic assembly lines are everywhere. Metal smelting, collection, melting, recasting, stacking, etc. are already a complete automatic assembly line. Even if something goes wrong. Also just take a look at the shapeshifting King Kong offspring. Then just let the intelligent robot do it. How many descendants of shapeshifting King Kong are there? Now almost all, all people have developed to the third and fourth generations. So shapeshifting King Kong offspring. Not counting the veterans, there are 3,000-4,000 shapeshifting King Kong. That is, shapeshifting King Kong like Tan Hu O. Cybertron has 3,000-4,000 of them. This is the complete Iron Legion. Then it is normal to divide into two legions. One is simply not enough now. So the expansion plan was almost unanimously approved. But then came the next question. Two legions left. Then you have to name it to separate the legion from the legion, right? What is that called? Collector proposed a solution. Each shapeshifting king can be given a name, and there are three votes to cast. So to the end, the names and camouflages of both regiments have been decided. The first legion is called, Optimus Legion. The second legion is called, Bashan Legion. And the main painting of the Optimus Legion fighters is red. The main painting of the Bashan Legion fighters is blue. Remember, this is the main camouflage. That is the main color at first glance. The other colors are mostly mixed and are matched by the shape-shifting King Kong descendants. So after the expansion of the Legion is completed, the Optimus Legion currently has 1,000 shape-shifting King Kong descendants, hundreds of transport ships and about half of the combat ships. Bashan Legion currently has 1,000 descendants of shape-shifting King Kong and the 10,000 meter transport ship and combat ship that will soon expand to a hundred ships are also the same. And the remaining descendants of shapeshifting King Kong still need to go through combat learning. Definitely shapeshifting King Kong can make everyone a fighter, but not necessarily everyone must be a fighter. So the remaining 1,000 to 2,000 shapeshifting King Kong descendants, some are reservists, some are just born, some are scientific, some are managerial. So it is impossible to expand as many legions as there are shapeshifting King Kong. There must be a margin. And also manage the planet and the fully intelligent assembly line. After the expansion of the legion is completed, the commanding elder looked at the two legions and the land of nothingness that had collected half of them. It ordered in a majestic voice, all shapeshifting King Kong, 
ready to go. With the Patriarch down, the shapeshifting King Kong of both legions began to prepare equipment and weapons. Two legions, hundreds of warships. Even if the safe is a mechanical life, it will take a few days. And it's estimated that it won't be long. The news of these two red and blue legions will be spread in the universe, and hiding is useless. 5.2 shapeshifting King Kong legion so big. And there is no need to hide the shapeshifting King Kong, is it? That's all. The twin dancers also recorded all these, and written in the chronicle of shapeshifting King Kong. But Su Yi is sleeping at the moment, so the twin dancer will inform Su Yi after he wakes up. Otherwise, it is not an emergency and there is no need to disturb the owner's rest. The next day, with the morning sun shining on the face, Su Yi was woken up by the sun. He opened his eyes and looked at the sun in the sky. I looked at the time again, plus 7 colon 30. So Su Yi knew that it was indeed a stupid decision to choose to sleep last night. Why? Because today is a F King Saturday. I don't work. Wake up at 7.30 for what? Ark. Matilda. And Wanda was obviously woken up by the glare of the sun. But she didn't open her eyes. Instead, he turned sideways and burrowed into Su Yi's arms. That way the sun won't reach her eyes. Well, Su Yi sighed. So he waved his hand. Immediately. A supersized sunflower grew beside the super large wooden bowl bed. It grows between the oversized wooden bowl bed and the sun. Then its big face plate is automatically aligned with the sun. So Su Yi and Wanda will not be exposed to the glare of the sun. Definitely. In fact, Su Yi can extinguish the sun by snapping his fingers or blowing his breath. Someone must be calling the end of the world tilde. Then crazy zero yuan purchase. So save yourself some trouble. Don't have nothing to do. Just turn off the sun and play. You thought it was a light bulb. Forehead. It seems that it can be the same for Su Yi. Never mind. Su Yi got up and walked out of the small universe. Then I saw the dancer walking over and speaking. Master, Cybertron has big plans. Explain. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.